family and friends for Easter and for Passover. Um, yeah, the roads are in a terrific shape, which is good and um, nice and dry. And uh, I mentioned this yesterday as well. The uh, OPP heading into this long weekend reminded uh, drivers, uh, Quebec drivers, that uh, there's going to be increased presence from the OPP on the roads. I know someone pulled over on the uh, on the Trans Canada yesterday as I was heading up to, uh, to Fairview. Uh, so yeah, so um, watch your speed. Uh, let's keep it a safe weekend, as safe as we can on these uh, these long holiday weekends. Right around the corner after the seven o'clock news, we'll talk to a Canadian history expert about uh, the marking of a um, the anniversary of a very special day here in our history. That's coming up at seven ten. Good morning. It's 7 o'clock. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's minus one right now. Your full forecast coming up in minutes. Here's what's making news. One man pronounced dead after gunshots ring out in Little Italy. Quebec's police watchdog opened an investigation after a car chase leaves two dead. And the Ottawa-Quebec battle over Caribou continues. First, though, from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, some closures through the long weekend until Tuesday morning. The 20 East is off limits through the Ville Saint Pierre interchange. Get off at First Avenue and re-enter after Ville Saint Pierre. The 20 West and the Ville Saint Pierre interchange has one out of two lanes closed, along with the 20 West ramp to the Mercier Bridge. You can double back at First Avenue there. Meantime, the inbound Champlain Bridge is scheduled to have two lanes shut until noon today. the news, gunshots rang out for a second night in a row, leaving one man dead. So police officers answered a call concerning a man that was shot near the intersection of Saint Laurent and Jean Talon in the borough of Little Italy. They found a 46-year-old victim shot in the upper body. He was taken to hospital but pronounced dead this morning, marking the seventh murder of the year in Montreal. Quebec's police watchdog, the BEI, has opened an investigation into an incident involving St. Jerome Police. The officers were responding to a call about a stolen vehicle when a short car chase began just past 1 a.m. The fleeing driver reportedly hit another car with his on Highway 15, causing both to catch fire, killing the driver of the escaping car, and leaving the passenger of the hit car with injuries that eventually killed them. BEI investigators are on the scene looking to gather details. Experts say Ottawa's recent ultimatum to Quebec concerning caribou protection is a warning to provinces that aren't upholding their responsibility to protect wildlife. Federal Environment Minister Stephen Guibault has given the Quebec government until April 20th to provide him with its plan to protect its declining caribou population and their habitat. If the plan is deemed insufficient, Guibault says he'll recommend Cabinet issue a decree protecting portions of the animal's habitat in Quebec, regardless of the province's objections. Rachel Plotkin, a caribou expert with the David Suzuki Foundation, says the ultimatum signals that after years of playing nice, Ottawa is now ready to get tough with provinces that aren't upholding their responsibility. Responsibility to protect wildlife. Steve Henniger, the Canadian Press. Two people are dead and 11 others injured after a shooting in Pittsburgh this morning. It happened during a party at an Airbnb property on the city's north side. There are more than 200 people in the party, many of them under age. Pittsburgh Police Commander John Fisher says others were injured trying to get away from the shooting. There were other multiple injuries from people jumping out of windows and running, uh, broken bones, etc. Police said as many as 50 rounds were fired inside and several more were fired from outside. Protests are continuing in Grand Rapids over the fatal shooting of Patrick Loyola. It was the fifth consecutive day of protests for Loyola, who was shot in the back of the head and killed by Grand Rapids police officers earlier this month during a traffic stop. The officer in the shooting has still not been charged, with video footage being released Wednesday. Speakers at the protest asked those gathering to remain peaceful, which they have continuously done. Researchers, research by University of Calgary engineering students could prove to be a positive development for indigenous and remote communities in Canada's north. The students at the Schulich School of Engineering have figured out how to convert all-terrain vehicles to run on solar power instead of fossil fuel. Student Austin Bursay, who's of Métis descent, hopes this information and manual can prove useful to Indigenous communities. We wanted to develop a conversion kit um, using basically a local supply chain. So that means just basically sourcing parts here in Canada that they could get up there into their remote locations to basically convert their own vehicles to electric if they so wish. 
The batteries run over 90 minutes and have been modified to work in extreme cold conditions. And sometimes it's a good idea to listen to your cravings. The North Carolina Lottery Education says a woman was in the mood for pie and stopped by a convenience store in Franklinton, around 30 miles north of Raleigh. The kind of pie she was looking for was unfortunately out of stock, so she got a lottery ticket instead. That turned out to be the sweeter purchase as she ended up winning $100,000. She intends to put those winnings towards bills and, of course, to get the pie she wanted. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News Update is at 7.30. He's here to help you enjoy them. Weekends with Ken. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. It's a lot of pie. I could use a pie right now. How do you like them apples? <laughs> 100000 you said? $100,000. I'll take that over pie, though. I'll take it, and I like pie. Mm. 705, good morning. Welcome to a Sunday, Easter Sunday. Uh, not a bad looking morning. Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, and it's going to be windy today as well, so keep that in mind. Uh, winds are going to get uh, pretty strong around the lunch hour, they're telling us. Here's the, the official CJAD 800 dormy forecast for today. Minus one at the moment. Yeah, minus one. Uh, seven will be the high today, plus seven. Mix of sun and cloud. They say increasing clouds, though, towards the lunch hour. And again, those winds will be strong. Uh, tonight, some clearing uh, this evening and overnight. Um, low overnight of minus three. Tomorrow, if you have it off, Easter Monday. Uh, sunshine and a high of 10. Very comfortable day. Uh, just a slight breeze tomorrow to deal with. And um, hmm. rain tomorrow night. And a low tomorrow night of plus one. So some rain in the forecast for tomorrow night. Uh, that's why Tuesday we have either snow or rain, they're telling us on Tuesday. going to be a bit of a messy one. Or uh, back to work for some people uh, on Tuesday. Uh, four will be the high, but either snow or rain. So, yeah, keep that in mind for Tuesday. Back to the sun and a high of nine on Wednesday. Then back to rain on Thursday. Mild, though. Ten on Thursday, but uh, a rainy day in store. So we'll enjoy the sun while it's here today. And uh, tomorrow looks like an absolutely lovely day. April 17th, 1982. Very important day in Canada's history. And we'll look at that next. When a story needs to be told, when you need to be heard, reach out to CJAD 800 and let us do the talking. Tell us about it through your story at CJAD800.com. Because we're listening to the voice of the community, the voice of Montreal, CJAD 800. Tonight at 9, don't miss the big debate everyone is talking about. This week, a special Monk Debate episode. We're joined by best-selling author, podcaster, and decision-making expert, Julia Gala, for a one-on-one -on -one conversation about how your natural curiosity can help you make smarter decisions. The Monk Debates with host Rudyard Griffiths. Nothing is off limits. Listen tonight at 9 on CJAD 800. It's time to order your all-new Kia for the summer, like the all-new, completely redesigned 2023 Kia Sportage. Order now and get the best lease rates ever at Mega Kia Brossard. Now that's something to look forward to. MegaKiaBrossard.com Mega Kia Living with the virus means remaining cautious. We must continue wearing a mask and washing our hands. At the first sign of symptoms, it's crucial to self-isolate and get tested. Those who have COVID-19 must respect the isolation period since they can remain contagious for at least 10 days. Those most at risk for developing complications, either because of their age or because they're immunocompromised, must be especially careful. And for even better protection, get vaccinated. A message from the Gouvernement du Québec. Hi, Dom here for Res AV. In the past, people had to travel for business meetings to keep their companies going and growing. Well, not anymore. Let Res AV show you how to set up cost-efficient and easy-to-use automated video conferencing solutions. Whether it's for a big boardroom, a small collab, or office space, Res AV has the expertise to help your company and save you money. For more information and a free evaluation, call us, 514-439-3901. We're Res AV. And best of all, we come to you. Switching your car and home insurance to Bel Air Direct with an online quote could save you up to $500. So you can get up to 30 days of takeout or maybe up to four different streaming services or even up to half a laptop. It's 500. It's up to you. Bel Air Direct. Conditions apply. 
Wow, this room looks gorgeous. Thanks. Come on in. Take a closer look. Should I take off my shoes? Why? This is the garage. Imagine a new decorative coating for your garage floor and make it happen with Premier Sealer's Epoxy Floor Coatings. Reduces dust. Easy to maintain. You choose the color for an attractive, durable finish. Find out more about it and their other services at PremierSealers.com. CAA recommended. Seal you later. Star and his all star band with friends Steve Lukather from Toto, from Men at Work Colin Hay, from Edgar Winter Band Edgar Winter, from Average White Band Hamish Stewart. September 26th, 8 p.m., Plus Bell. On sale now at PlusBell.ca. How Bell makes the internet better. Did you know the cheetah is the fastest mammal on earth? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet is the fastest internet technology? Well, did you know the fastest person ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet has total download speeds of up to 1.5 gigabits per second? You just switched to Bell, didn't you? Yep. Want to come over Friday? Definitely. Switch to Pure Fiber Internet, the fastest internet technology. Call 310 Bell or visit a Bell store to check availability. Bell, being online just got better. You're up, and so is he. Weekends with Ken Connors, CJAD 800. Queen will now head towards the uh, desk where the actual signing will take place, and Barbara, the moment the Queen puts her signature on this document, it becomes law. It will be witnessed later. The Constitution is now home. Mm. Well, uh, good morning. Some of the audio from April 17th, 1982, very important day in our country's history. Forty years ago today in Ottawa, the signing of the Constitution Act. We now had uh, full independence and could change our, our Constitution without needing approval from Britain. The document also included, of course, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. James Stewart teaches Canadian history. He's a McGill grad, author of Being Prime Minister, and joins me for a chat about the anniversary. James, good morning. Good morning, Ken. How are you? I'm good, and it's great to have you on the show again. James, amending the Constitution was something various prime ministers and premiers had attempted for decades, as far back as the 1930s, I believe. It was a long, tough road traveled to get this done, right? It was, and, you know, Canadian, full Canadian independence was really an evolution as opposed to a revolution, as we sometimes uh, say when we're comparing the United States with Canada. Yeah. Um, some listeners might remember something called the Statute of Westminster from 1931, which gave Canada its full uh, control over its foreign affairs. But it wasn't until the Constitution Act of 1982 that Canada had full, complete sovereignty. And this mainly meant the ability to amend its own constitution. Mm. Previous to that, we had to get a bill passed through the British Parliament. Was a turning point here or a pivotal moment to finally getting this done, the 1980 Quebec referendum, because from what I understand, during the campaign, our then Prime Minister, uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, had promised Quebecers that Ottawa would reopen constitutional negotiations. Do I have my facts right there? Yeah, and I think, uh, as you were saying, this was a, a process that had been going on for a long time. They, Canada got very close to this in 1971 with something uh, talked about as the Victoria Agreement or the Victoria Negotiations. But yes, the referendum of 1980 played a big role. And also, I think we have to look at leadership. Uh, Trudeau was looking for um, a significant achievement to hang his hat on, and he had the leadership skills to try to bring this home. With uh, James Stewart talking about this anniversary, 40th anniversary of the signing of the Constitution Act. Back to Quebec for here for a second. Um, Premier René Levesque at the time, you know, protested that Ottawa had, I guess, gone ahead without having Quebec on board, right? Claiming the province had been betrayed by, by Trudeau a and the other premiers. Yeah, and this is, I think, a reference to something that English Canada or even French Canada refers to as the Night of the Long Knives mm. and uh, an agreement where it's alleged that René Levesque was left out of the negotiations and so he opted out of the whole process entirely after that and he prophetically said uh, in a press conference after this that the consequences of what has happened now will be incalculable to use his word and of course we know that the Constitution Act of 1982 then led to a whole series of incidents that reverberated for the following uh, 25 years throughout Canada, including 
Canadians will remember the Meech Lake Accord, right. which came just five years after the Constitution Act. That failed in 1990. We had a Charlottetown referendum in 1992, which a lot of Canadians don't remember, but there was a nationwide referendum. That failed in 92. And then everybody remembers in 1995, we had the second Quebec referendum and, and that story of its own, which uh, people well. So I guess, you know, a couple of years later after uh, the, uh, the signing in 1982, Prime Minister Mulroney, right? He, like as you just referred, he tried to make amends and make it acceptable to Quebec. And that, of course, was uh, the Meech Accord, which did not last. And of course, the did you just mention the Charlottetown Accord? I did. I did, which everybody forgets from 1992. But yeah. that was a, a refurbished Meech Lake Accord, which didn't get the, the passage through the country. Yeah. You know, another interesting thing about when I think of the Constitution Act, Ken, is there's a famous photograph of the Queen, Her Majesty, signing the document uh, into law. And Pierre Trudeau is seated beside her. But also in the picture is uh, Jean Chrétien. And I was just thinking if someone looked at that photo or, the, or they were there that day and someone said to them, you know what, 40 years later, the Queen will still be the Queen of Canada. Hmm. Jean Chrétien will have been Prime Minister. And Pierre Trudeau, well, his son, who's 10 years old at that time, will be the Prime Minister 40 years later. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting thing to look back at that photograph and, and think about what happened in the ensuing 40 years politically. So when we step back, though, the, 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 the Constitution Act and the uh, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, uh, I mean, it's still a source of pride for most of the country, right? It's been a great export, I think, for this country. I think it's the Charter that gets Canadians a sense of pride. And, and the Charter really is, I think, what you will see celebrated on today and, and in the suing days in terms of uh, the anniversary. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which was enshrined in the Constitution on that day, that's the thing that gives Canadians a lot of pride. And I think that's where a lot of the attention will be focused on as we commemorate the 40th anniversary of this document. So a source of pride for a lot of Canadians, but I guess April 92 is still a sore point for Quebec nationalists, right? Uh, yes, because Quebec was left out of it. And even Brian Mulroney, as you mentioned earlier, he said, I wouldn't have signed a document that didn't include Quebec. And the way that it was rationalized was um, the government said, well, there's 75 Quebec MPs, Parliament passed this, so Quebec's voice has been expressed through its members of Parliament. But of course, there's great disagreement about just how much Quebec's voice was expressed mm. that way. Right. James, what were you doing uh, April of 1982? Since I was only um, 13 years old, I was probably uh, getting ready for some sort of practice after school to get outside and play. I was working in retail in downtown Montreal and also at the same time taking some night courses at McGill. Oh, and by the way, a shout out to my Canadian history teacher. I had Miss Ann Smith at both elementary school, uh, that level, uh, Maculata Elementary in Ville Saint Laurent and also in Saint Laurent. I believe she taught me a year or two of Canadian history at Father McDonald High School. Oh, that's good. It's always good to give a shout out to the teacher, even if it's, uh, a couple of decades later, they always appreciate it. Uh, James, always a pleasure and great to have your insight uh, on Canadian history. And thanks for doing this. Thank you, Ken. Great to talk to you. <laughs> I think he was being a little kind there when he said a, a couple of decades. <laughs> 18 after 7, Sunday morning. Happy Easter. Um, if you're celebrating uh, Passover, I hope you're enjoying your weekend uh, as well. This long weekend. Uh, at the moment, not a bad looking morning. Uh, we just creeped uh, back above the uh, freezing mark. Uh, one, one little degree out there at the moment. Seven will be the high for today. Uh, they're saying a mix of sun and cloud. Increasing clouds this morning. And um, you know what? Uh, just be aware that it's going to be kind of windy. Winds gusting up to about 50K an hour around the lunch hour, they're telling us. Um, yeah, again, today, a high of seven. Looks like we have some clearing tonight and a nice way, a nice day on the way tomorrow. Your Monday, uh, your Easter Monday is uh, sunny all day tomorrow and a high of 10. Well, when we come back, I'm going to tell you about a great contest that's going to uh, start uh, as of tomorrow morning on the Andrew Carter Morning Show. Uh, thanks to our friends over at Electrica. And this is something very cool uh, for your home that you'll have a chance to win over the next week or so on the Andrew Carter Morning Show. And um, we'll head to Ukraine and file another report and play another report filed by uh, CTV National News when we come back. When the time comes to buy or lease a Mazda, never compromise on quality. Get your Mazda from Spinelli Mazda. This season, the choice is yours at Spinelli Mazda. Get a Mazda Credit Plus iActive all-wheel drive, now standard on all 2022 CX-5 models. And enjoy Remote Star, included in a two-year trial of Mazda-connected services on select models. Speed up to good weather. Come to Spinelli Mazda today. Spinelli Mazda in Lachine, the address of choice for all automotive services. 
We know how important it is to have meal choices the whole family can feel good about. With our tasty PC plant-based and organic products, there are swaps for everyone. Here's one parent's story. Hey PC, your plant-based and organic options mean I can swap out my family's old favorites with tasty new favorites they love. Now we're all happy. Sounds like you've pleased everyone with no dinner time drama. From delicious plant-based alternatives to an endless choice of organics to fit your budget, this is how we make family meals better. The MUHC Foundation and CJAD 800 present Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, featuring the health experts who are transforming medicine and the patients whose lives they have changed. This week on Health Matters, it sounds like it's right out of a science fiction book. Learn about the innovative Heart in a Dish research project and the patients who are benefiting. Health Matters, today at noon on CJAD 800. Commemorating the 30th anniversary of her iconic album, Lorena McKinnett, The Visit Revisited, Sunday, October 2nd at Sal Wilfred Peltier, performing The Visit in its entirety, plus many more favorites. Don't miss Lorena McKinnett. Tickets on sale now at PlaceDesArts.com. A Ruben Fogel production. Hi, it's Ken Connors with what you need to know about Electrica. They don't cut corners, they don't compromise on quality, and they treat your home like it was their own. Just a few of the reasons why they've been awarded the Consumer's Choice Award for the past two years. When you need an electrician in your home to take care of any job, big or small, call Electrica, 514-768-7778. Certified, well-trained electricians who do the job right the first time. That's peace of mind. That's Electrica with a K dot C-A. It's the hottest show on TV. Rob Lowe. 911 Lone Star. Canada's number one drama. Get into it. All new. Monday at 9, 10 Mountain. Only on CTV. Then stream anytime. Keeping you company. Keeping you informed. Weekends with Ken. On CJAD 800. I've been spending the last week catching up on season five of Better Call Saul, terrific series with uh, the spinoff right from uh, Breaking Bad. Bob Odenkirk, great in that role. And uh, yeah, because season six, the final season of Better Call Saul, if you're a fan, uh, gets underway as of uh, tomorrow night. More to that. We'll talk to Bill Brownstein about that in about an hour's time. 722. Well, um, let's said to Ukraine, get a report here. Uh, Russia could begin the next phase of its military campaign. Uh, as soon as this weekend or early next week, Ukraine's rapidly running through its artillery rounds as well. So that's a big issue. Uh, explosions rock the uh, outskirts of uh, the capital of uh, Kiev yesterday in Kharkiv, another huge city there. Three people were killed, 34 wounded by missile strikes yesterday. Montreal's Daniel Hamanjian, who was based out of London but is inside Ukraine, filed this report. Here's the latest from last night's CTV National News. For the second consecutive day, Russia targeted the outskirts of the capital. This time, the smoke came from an armored vehicle plant. One person was killed, several were injured. Russian defense officials said 16 targets in all were struck across the country. Publicly, this is retaliation for what Moscow says are attacks on its territory. But Ukraine is bracing itself for more hits on defense facilities after taking credit for the sinking of Russia's flagship cruiser, the Moskva. And while the buildup of enemy troops continues in the east for a renewed offensive, near the capital, there is no going back to normal, not now. The truth is that as far as uh, Kyiv is concerned, uh, we always have a threat of Russians coming back and trying to seize our capital. This is a side road about an hour and a half north of Kyiv, and you can still see the tracks of the Russian tanks that plowed through this wall here, that one over there, and that one over there, turning this entire wooded area into Russian positions. It's now a question of demining this entire region, but in this case here, of the bulk demolition of ammunition and ordnance. Authorities say Russian forces left tens, if not hundreds, of thousands of explosive ordnance behind. In homes, cars, fields, even those they killed. 
If there's a body on the ground, he says, we first have to pull them with a rope in case an explosive device was left underneath them, he says. In this town northeast of the country, cemetery staff say the Russians left only after they'd randomly laid mines across the graves. Still, Natalia came to mourn her son, a soldier. He said, Mom, leave. It will be too dangerous. And he went to hell himself to fight. And now he's dead. But to properly mourn the dead, their bodies need to be found. Dennis and Jane are looking for a friend who was helping with evacuations in early March. I, I think uh, uh, that uh, he's dead and he's uh, uh, something buried in this area. It's really scary. So we're trying to do what we can. We volunteer in Kiev and try to find our friend. Thousands of people have been coming back to Kiev every single day, but the mayor has said residents should be wary of further attacks. Mm. Danielle Hamanjian filing that story from inside Ukraine last night on the CTV National News at 725. As far as our local news goes here in just a couple of minutes, uh, Don has a story about the shooting in Little Italy last night that has left a man dead, a man in his uh, mid-40s. So we'll give you the latest on that story, that awful story, coming up in just a couple of minutes uh, as well. Dino Mazzoni with the Law of the Land at 7.40 this morning. Um, Dino has a few stories for us, as always, including a warning from uh, Quebec doctors about the impact Bill 96 could have on patient care. So look forward to that chat with Dino in about 15 minutes. And, oh, I mentioned this uh, Electricus um, contest. Uh, I'm going to fill in. I'm going to fill in tomorrow morning when Andrew takes uh, Easter Monday off. Uh, I look forward to that. Uh, and starting all this week on the Andrew Carter Morning Show, and we'll kick the contest off tomorrow. Um, you'll have a chance to call in, win a daily prize, and also qualify to win a landscape lighting package for your home, courtesy of Electrica, professionally designed, expertly uh, installed. It's worth up to $7,000. It's a great prize. Daily qualifiers. I guess the contest will run next week and the week after. Uh, so that's a, that's a really nice prize, and um, it all starts tomorrow morning on the Andrew Carter Morning Show. Coming up after 8 o'clock, we'll talk to Dr. Christopher Labos with the Sunday Morning House Call about maybe some advice for your family get-together for that's happening today. Uh, You know, little uh, precautions you could take just to stay on the safe side as, uh, you know, these family gatherings that happen this year over Easter and uh, Passover. And as well, we'll ask him about uh, continually testing positive. Let's say, what do you do uh, if you uh, test positive, let's say over a period of uh, 10 days or 10 days later, you're still testing positive. So uh, some advice from uh, Dr. Lavos on the way at 8, uh, 10 this morning. And we'll talk a little Habs with Laurie Bennett, a terrific uh, writer, a blogger, and follows the Montreal Canadiens very closely and uh, reads her stuff online all the time. We'll talk about what's coming up in the offseason for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, that's at 8.20 this morning. A little more sports for you right now, though. With our buddy next door, this is Matthew Ross. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. The fans got their money's worth last night. The Capitals and Canadians combined for 12 goals at the Bell Centre. Montreal lost 8-4. to Ryan Paling had two goals in the loss. Anthony Mantha had four points for the Capitals. Here's Jake Evans on facing Washington. Um, yeah, I think they've got a well-rounded team. They've got also some D-men that you know, can jump into the play and, and can be a, a huge factor too. So... Um, for the most part, I think for the first 30 minutes even, I thought we did a pretty good job. And then, um, you know, we started to kind of chase the game again and uh, it opened things up for them. On we go now to MLS action to see if Montreal was victorious at Stad Saputo. Mihailovic and Kyoto scoring in the win. See if Montreal has even their record at 3-3-1 three, three and one on the season. We had four NBA games last night. The Raptors lost 131-101 in their playoff opener to Philadelphia. Meanwhile, with no Luka Doncic, the Mavs lost to the Jazz. The Warriors beat the Nuggets, and the T-Wolves won in Memphis. All eyes are on Boston today as the Celtics host Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets in their series opener. And one baseball note for you, Ken. The Blue Jays lost 7-5 to the Oakland Athletics. That drops them to 5-4 on the season. 
And that's sports. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, uh, Matthew. I was mentioning uh, that uh, great prize on the Andrew Carter Morning Show starting tomorrow. We have uh, six terrific prizes for you to win later on this morning. Dan Laxer is going to be in studio with me, and we'll have the Sunday morning trivia show. Yeah, we have six great prizes for you to win, so something every half hour. And uh, all the usual uh, features will be there for you this morning, and we'll have some fun with your phone calls and your questions. Just call in and say hello, too. You don't have to even have a question for us. Just want to, uh, if you're a regular listener to the show and you want to call in, and, uh, and say hi, please do, during the Sunday morning trivia show, 9 to noon, every Sunday morning. He's been on, it's like, I don't know, Dan knows this better than I do. He's been here longer than I am, but uh, I have, but uh, 40 years now, I think, 40 plus years for the Sunday morning trivia show. Dino Mazzoni's ready to go. We'll have more music for you. In fact, oh, we're going to play a terrific song, a terrific song about uh, how life can change like that and it's a live version of a great song written and sung by don henley that is on the way uh just before eight o'clock here on the sunday morning and a reminder too in case you're wondering uh most of the stores and grocery stores are closed today and then they'll reopen tomorrow that's usually the recipe on the uh easter weekends here in montreal all right so the, most of the stores are closed today reopening tomorrow all right let's head off to the newsroom this newscast brought to you by Harina Optometrists. Gucci, Prada, Dior, Dolce Gabbana. On the runway of life, eyewear is the star. Harina Optometrist, Rockland Center, harina.ca. Good morning, it's 7.30, I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's one degree, your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news. A shooting in Little Italy leaves one man dead. A hand signal from Quebec saves a woman south of the border. And the sixth wave tearing through eastern Quebec. First, though, from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, some closures through the long weekend until Tuesday morning. The 20 East is off limits through the Ville-Saint-Pierre interchange. Get off at First Avenue and re-enter after Ville-Saint-Pierre. The 20 West in the Ville-Saint-Pierre interchange has one out of two lanes closed, along with the 20 West ramp to the Mercier Bridge, double back at First Avenue. Meantime, the inbound Champlain Bridge is scheduled to have two lanes shut until noon today. In the news, a 46-year-old man was killed in Little Italy last night. Police spokesperson Gabriela Joachim says police were called to the corner of Saint Laurent and Jean Talon over a report of gunfire just before 11 p.m. Once on site, police officers found the victim, a man 46 years old, suffering from gunshot wounds uh, to his upper body. The victim was transported to the hospital. Doctors worked to save the man's life, but he was pronounced dead this morning, marking Montreal's seventh murder of 2022. Police also responded to gunshots in Rivière des Prairies last night, but no victim was found in that case. Russia is now demanding Ukrainian forces fighting in Mariupol surrender. Russian state media RIA is reporting that all Ukrainian forces must exit from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Moscow time without any of their weapons or ammo. Moscow is claiming that they have all but taken control of the city, which has been home to the heaviest fighting and some of the worst catastrophes, but it is unknown if that is true just yet. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says things in the city were, quote, inhuman. A hand sign popularized in Quebec saved a woman's life last week in Tennessee. A young Tennessee woman managed to escape a kidnapping this week using a hand signal popularized on TikTok. The sign is used as a distress signal for women in need of help, but need to be subtle. The sign itself goes as follows. You open your palm towards a potential helper. Put your thumb inside your palm, like if you were holding up the number four, and then close your fingers over your thumb. Sister of the signal's creator, Marie-Emmanuelle Jeunesse, told CTV that women who verbalize a danger usually are not believed, but a hand signal is much more effective. This is now the second time the signal has been used to flee a life-threatening situation and worked. I'm Cédric Gallant. While the sixth wave of COVID is hitting Quebec hard as a whole, the eastern part of the province is weathering a particularly heavy storm. Bas Saint Laurent, Gaspésie, Ile de la Madeleine, and Côte Nord have become the epicenter of the pandemic in Quebec. In Bas Saint Laurent alone, 17 people have died within just the last two weeks, along with 75 people being in hospital when there are a maximum of 70 beds ready in the region. Some virologists believe that these regions are being hit harder, due in part to getting through the fifth wave with fewer cases than regions like Montreal, meaning they have less potential immunity built up. 
Officials in Woodbridge, New Jersey, are conducting tests at a local high school building that has been linked to brain tumors in more than 100 former students and staff. A frightening trend was discovered at Colonia High School in New Jersey. It was detected by environmental scientist and industrial engineer Al Lupiano, who was diagnosed with a brain tumor along with his wife and his sister. All three attended the school years ago. It's too much of a coincidence that me, my wife, and her all have the same tumor. Lupiano's research found a total of 104 former students and faculty were diagnosed with primary brain tumors, about half cancerous. Radon canisters were placed inside the school to collect air samples. Environmentalists are testing for radiation on the grounds. Todd Ant, ABC News. Testing is expected to last a month and the school will remain open. And what's worse to wake up to on your windshield than a ticket? How about signs of a bear attack? One B.C. man walked out to his car to find it ransacked with the metal frame of the back door bent and the window shattered, along with scratch marks inside the car itself. A local expert says trouble could be brewing for people in the area as a result, as bears that climb into cars are ones that usually have done it before and could do so again. If you can't bear the thought and live near a wooded area, make sure not to leave food in your car, clean up any messes that they may be able to smell, and certainly don't leave any picnic baskets lying around either. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is at 8 o'clock. The info you need with a smile. Weekends with Ken. And smiling we are. Hope you're enjoying your long weekend. And thank you for making uh, our show here on Saturday and Sunday mornings a part of your routine on the weekends at 735. Thank you, Don. Uh, let's... Uh, Take a look at the weather forecast. Very interesting, as Artie Johnson used to say. Was that Artie Johnson on laughing? I know that's a, that's that's a dated reference. Uh, it's still a one above. Looking out my window, uh, one above. Or we're looking at a high today of seven on this Easter Sunday. It's going to be windy around the lunch hour. The winds are going to gust up to about uh, 50, 40 to fifty k an hour. They're telling us. Bit of cloud cover as well in the forecast for today, but let's hope we get more sun than cloud. Um, got some clearing this evening, uh, a little on the windy side again. Overnight low is going to be minus three. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow, a really nice day for Easter Monday, uh, the 18th of April, looking at sunshine all day t- tomorrow and a high of 10. Here's the deal. Uh, rain is in the forecast for later tomorrow night. And then on Tuesday, snow or rain in the forecast and a high of plus four on Tuesday. So the rain starts tomorrow evening and then it looks like we're going to have a messy Tuesday. Not good. Wednesday, we have sunshine and a high of nine. Back to rain on Thursday and a high of 10. Well, a Laval judge has had it with domestic abusers and the tolerance and the lenience they're given. So we'll talk to Dina Mazzoni about that when we come back here on CJAD 800. Anytime news breaks, CJAD 800 has it. 62-year-old Frank James appeared in court with two federal defenders and will be held on a permanent order of detention on terror charges. On the air, on Twitter, email to your inbox. Up to the minute. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Quality. It's a word that gets tossed around loosely. Everyone claims they have it. Many can't back it up. But Ram can. According to J.D. Power, Ram's new vehicle quality ranks number one in the automotive industry. Number one in new quality. How's that for proof? The month of Ram is here. Select owners get up to $4,000 in total discounts on most 2022 models. Choose from the largest Ram inventory on dealer lots in over 18 months. See your Ram dealer for details. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, you're not alone. We can help. Call Andy's house at 514-738-ANDY. That's 514-738-2639. Call today. Montrealer's favorite fine furniture store is Mobile Art Decor. For over 30 years, Mobile Art has been the best source of exceptional, top quality luxury furniture, custom upholstery, and accessories for lighting and design that will inspire and motivate you. Imported from Europe and around the world for every room and every taste. For a truly unique experience, professional interior design advice, and great service, visit Mobile Art, 8260 Devonshire, west of DeCary. MobileArt.ca. Are you a gambler or an investor? Hello, I'm Richard LaPointe of CIBC Woodgundy. Gambling and investing both involve risk. The difference is that as an investor, you want to reap the benefits of informed investing to keep your money and your family's future safe. That's where I come in. Let's not gamble your money away. 
Whether you're a low-risk or high-risk investor, let's make sure you come out on top. I'm Richard LaPointe, and I can always be reached at 514-847-6324. CIBC Wood Gundy is a division of CIBC World Markets, Inc., member of CIPF and IROC. You've worked hard to put a roof over your head. Let Abbey Roofing work hard to keep it there. New roof installation? Abbey Roofing. Shingle repair? Abbey Roofing. Water ingression? Abbey Roofing. Proudly serving the West Island for over 40 years. AbbeyRoofing.ca Elias Mako is here to tell you about Eris Air Purifiers. Whether you have a business with employees or want to stay safe at home while gathering with friends and family, Eris has a solution for you. Eris Air Purifiers with Active Pure Technology have been proven to neutralize over 99.99% of the airborne virus that causes COVID-19 within three minutes. Visit MontrealAeris.com, that's Montreal, A-E-R-U-S.com, or call 514-489-9353. Why weren't the original indictment papers placed in my portfolio? You're out of order. The whole freaking system is out of order. Why, uh, I didn't think those papers were important at this time, Your Excellency. Do you realize I had my design wrapped in those papers? You want the truth? You want the truth? You can handle the truth! I lost the law and the law was. I lost the law and the Exactly 7.40 on your Sunday morning. He is a partner at the firm of Gattuso, Bouchard, and Mazzoni. Dino Mazzoni, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Connors. Oh, good to talk to you again. Dino, let's start with this uh, story about a Laval judge who has uh, had it with, I guess, the tolerance or the lenience uh, that's uh, shown to domestic abusers. Yeah, this is a, these are these cases are are such that they make me proud to be a lawyer. You know, judges are made of flesh and blood. Our courts evolve. Our, our the judges who who pronounce these decisions are human. They they pay notice to what the changes in society. And so we have this great decision uh, rendered by a judge by the name of Serge Simon out of Laval, and, and this is his quote: "The era of tolerance for domestic violence is now over." And the courts must express society's intolerance of such violence. No man has the right to brutalize his wife. Now, I mean, clearly self-evident, but, you know, the courts were slow to get to this uh, over the years. And, and, and this all came about because of a story of a man before the court. 40-year-old businessman owned several restaurants here in Montreal. He really just abused his wife incredibly so uh, in front of his children, mm. He who begged uh, the, the father to stop. In fact, sometimes he hit them too. In public, he, he didn't hesitate to insult his wife. He sometimes dragged her on the floor by the hair. I won't get into some of the other stuff because it's quite graphic, but you get the idea. And then she, she put up with this for 10 years. She finally managed to leave her husband, even though you could imagine uh, in her situation, because she was really subservient to him and under his thumb, she found herself in a precarious uh, economic situation. She never really worked. And so, mm. you know, he thought he could go before the courts and say, look, we had a good life. You know, I provided, I this, I that. We had good moments. Judge didn't want to hear any of that. He actually tried to say that he was an asset to society and that he should not get any jail time and, and uh, <laughs> that he should only get community service. And, you know, so the judge looked at this and said, no, 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 I'm not taking a uh, light approach to this. Uh, we are going to stop doing what we did in the past, which is look at these type of situations as being a private matter between family members. Uh, we were so concerned in the past of preserving the integrity of the family unit as opposed to stopping the violence. And, and the judge, Judge Simon says, that was a mistake. And so what he did is he looked at the whole situation. He said, you're guilty and uh, put him behind bars for three years. And this guy cannot speak to his wife during that time, his ex-wife during that time. So, you know, good on Judge Simon. But like I said, we're seeing more and more of this domestic violence is being paid attention to in the courts more and more so. And we're seeing a... Um, I guess an awakening, if you will, where judges just have drawn the line and are saying, enough, we will not put up with this any longer. A couple of things come to mind. You know, didn't last year, didn't we set a new high in this province, unfortunately, sadly, for femicides in, in Quebec? Yeah, oh, absolutely. And look, you know, the pandemic certainly didn't help. Uh, if couples who really should not have been together were forced to live together, right, essentially, in yeah. close quarters. So absolutely, we saw the increase on femicides. And, uh, you know, that, that problem is not necessarily going away anytime soon. The, 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 you know, the vast majority of crimes committed in these relationships are men on women. And so we still have a lot of work to do, but our courts are clearly paying attention and bringing 
attention to the masses, making people understand that you're not going to get away with this stuff if you think you're going to look to the leniency of the courts. Those days, those days are gone. And you, you know, your story also serves as a reminder that, I mean, it's an old saying, but you just never know what's going on behind closed doors, do you? You never know. Yeah. You never know. Here's a guy, right? He's holding himself as a, as a pillar of society, and in the, in the background, he's beating his wife to a pulp. Yeah. I mean, it's just so sad. And, and plus, so, uh, one more, do you know, uh, on this, before we move on, the fact that uh, one of the stories we're mentioning this morning, and it's on the front of the Journal de Montréal this morning, is about these two Montreal uh, sisters who, uh, I guess a few years ago, uh, through the power of TikTok and social media, came up with this hand signal mm, for right. women who yeah. are, are who, who are uh, in a dangerous situation, and to signal very quietly and discreetly that they need help and apparently it was used a couple of days ago in tennessee where this uh this uh this woman uh her ex-boyfriend had i guess was in the process of kidnapping her yeah and that he let her out of the car as they went into this gas station convenience store and she used that signal and the um because of the power of tiktok and had been viewed millions of times the person behind the counter recognized it and called 911 and saved is that incredible i mean just amazing power of social media right and again it's part of the process which is let's get this information out there what these young women did is is create a situation where they could now you know they they coming up with that hand signal save that woman's life imagine it's yeah. just incredible. Yeah, and just, you know, if you're listening right now, we, I already mentioned it a couple of times this morning, but I'll do it again. Uh, the hand signal is you hold one, your palm out, facing out, right. and then you tuck you tuck the thumb into the to, to the palm of into your... The palm. And then with the four fingers, you close those four fingers over your thumb. Oh, that's smart. That's yeah. very smart. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like a call sign almost. Yeah. That's that's very cool. With Dino Mattoni this morning at 745. Dino, uh, a warning, I guess, a uh, word of caution from doctors in this province about the impact that Bill 96 could have on patient care. Yeah, I mean, can we all agree that Bill 96 is a big bag of dung? I mm-hmm. mean, really, uh, in every way, shape, or form, whether it's education uh, within the workplace, and now we're seeing a coalition of the doctors and healthcare professionals in this province saying, this law is going to have a serious impact on newcomers to our province who have little to no knowledge of French. Uh, you know, the, the, the law is basically saying that uh, it would require public service providers to communicate exclusively in French with new immigrants beginning six months after their arrival. Now, there's a provision in the law that provides for an exemption, but this coalition doesn't buy that this exemption is clear and it says it's imprecise and needs to be amended. They've tried to amend it, and again, getting nowhere with Simone Chalene Barrett, or uh, I won't say what I want to say, but <laughs> but the bottom line is is that you know the, the, this coalition is looking and saying you got to understand these people who are coming in here, they don't have any knowledge of French, forget even English. They they've come from refugee camps. They've been there for years on end. They sometimes even have different alphabets from ours. Yeah. They have formal, little, very little formal education, and they're older. This is a recipe for people who are not going to learn to speak French anytime soon. And, you know, the, the coalition looks at situations where, where they say, look, if you're coming to see us because you, gotta have, you have to put a splinter on your finger, it's one thing. But if we're going to try to explain to these individuals more subtle and complex medical issues where every word counts, where communication is the key. And let me just put a little bit of a parenthesis there for a second. I, you know, I'm going through some certain issues myself where I got to go see a doctor right now. And let me tell you, you got to listen. Right? And I consider myself an educated guy, yeah. understand the language. But, you know, you got to pay attention. Can you imagine these individuals have no idea what's being said to them? Oh, so, yeah. It's just it's 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 just stupid and it's ludicrous and it puts their lives in jeopardy. And by the way, this coalition also said there's there's another concern they have. They said, can you imagine the situation where maybe some other doctors see some of us trying to make an effort to communicate in the language of this individual and then they tattletale on us to the government, right? So the whole thing is just a mess. And again, Barrett is not prepared to amend this law. So we'll see. We'll see where this all goes, but it, it's not going the right place so far. No, no, absolutely. So narrow-minded. It's it's beyond the yeah. pale. This uh, guy's particular. I got to tell you, he's a real, real uh, you piece know, of work. Real, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a piece of work. No yeah. question. Yeah. Seven forty-eight <laughs> on a sunny Sunday morning with Dino Bazzoni. Dino, please tell. Give me an update here on uh, Fluffy the cat. <laughs> they refer to him as Fluffy the Cat. He's also known as Blackfoot, Mr. Puss, and Black Puss, so, <laughs> depending on the context and who you talk to. But this is a decision out of Nova Scotia, 
And uh, we've talked in the past about how animals, uh, certainly there's a movement to make, make them be seen as sentient beings and, and that they're, they should, we should be looking at them as more than chattel or who owns them. But essentially that issue came up before a small claims adjudicator in Nova Scotia, a guy by the name of Rafi Balmanukian. I love that name, by the way, Balmanukian. And <laughs> so this fellow had before him uh, a, a case of a, a landlord with his former tenants. And the former tenants had lived in the building of this guy for six years. And there was a cat that was always around. It was Fluffy the Cat. And it was like the community cat, you know. And, well, when they left these tenants, that is, they took the cat with them. And, uh, you know, obviously this, the owner wasn't too happy about it. So he went to court and they even had the, the, the owner's daughter testify. And she said, no, no, this was like a community cat. And the cat was there. And, you know, anybody walked in, it was a fixture. They saw the cat and <laughs> we, we kind of, you know, so, so the, the tenant said, no, 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 no. The owner abandoned this cat, never really paid attention to it. And what, what came out was, you know, you don't, you, you kind of work on the cat schedule. You don't work on your schedule, right? Anybody has a cat knows right. that. Like, you know, you're not, you're not really going to... So he never really abandoned it. But the cat decided what the cat wanted to do in that building. So in the end, the, the judge realized, or excuse me, the small kid's adjudicator realized it was more an issue of some real dispute between these people as the tenants were on their way out of the building than anything to do with the cat having been abandoned. And so in the, in the end, Fluffy the cat finds herself back in the building with her rightful owner, as uh, the, the judge has made very clear that this was a question of ownership, and uh, all's well that ends well, I guess. <laughs> Absolutely. Good on you, yeah. Fluffy. Show him his boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I'm reading this story, I'm saying, so different from a dog, right? I mean, oh, a dog yeah. really needs yeah. to hear you, see you, and cats couldn't care less. <laughs> oh, no. And they're somewhat aloof. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so true. Do you know, it looks like a gorgeous morning. Enjoy uh, Easter Sunday with the family. Thank you. A happy blessed Easter to all of you and our listeners. Oh, thank you so much. It's 7.50. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sunny out there, nice and bright. A little on the chilly side still, though. Let me just check my uh, current temperature. Has it changed? Oh, just still one little degree above the freezing mark. We'll get to a high today of 7. It's going to be windy, though. The winds are going to pick up uh, and uh, gust up to about 50k an hour towards the lunch hour. That's what Environment Canada is saying. Coming up around the corner, some live music. It's good for the soul. Live music slowly coming back after the pandemic. And uh, something from Don Henley with his pals in the Eagles, a live version of a classic song. You're going to hear it next. Montreal's home for live sports and sports talk. TSN 690. Here's a chance. Caulfield scores. Joyner with a fantastic ball in. Ramel Kyoto able to get onto it. And he puts it in at the far post. When you need to know. When you need to get it off your chest. I'm not going to pretend it's not ugly and it's not embarrassing. He was the best goalie available and they got him. And they stole him away from Edmonton. Montreal's Major League Sports Talk lives on TSN 690. When the time comes to choose a new Lexus, never compromise on quality. Buy or lease your new Lexus at Spinelli Lexus. It's the Lexus F-Sport event at Spinelli Lexus. Get a lifestyle with drive. Lease a 2022 RX 350 F-Sport Series 2 for $348 biweekly for 39 months from 3.3% with 92.31 down. A truly luxurious SUV priced from $69,258. Choose Spinelli Lexus, the address of choice for all automotive services in Lachine and Point. Claire. Time to escape and get away to your favorite destination for fun. Aquasasni Mohawk Casino Resort. Whatever you're in the mood for, we've got it all. And just last month, lucky winning guests discovered 2.5 million reasons to come visit. And don't forget about your favorite ways to unwind. Book a relaxing stay at our hotel. Take a dip in the pool. Enjoy live entertainment and grab a bite at Maple Steak and Ale. We can't wait to share winning moments with you again. Aquasasni Mohawk Casino Resort. Home of the everyday winner. At Dormez Vu, we know the importance of a good pillow. But with back sleepers, stomach sleepers, and everything in between, we know one size doesn't fit all. Upgrade your pillow with a personalized fitting. Our sleep experts can find one that's perfect for you. Right now, buy an AquaGel, BioSoy, or Polar Tropic pillow and get a second one half off at the Time to Switch event. Sleep well, stay well. Dormez Vu. Restrictions may apply. See in store or online. 
Literacy's Opticians is now open. For full service, by appointment only, call 514-481-2368. They always have your best interests at heart, so rest assured they've taken the necessary precautions to ensure your safety. As dispensing opticians, they have a great selection of creator frames to choose from. Add to that their attention to detail and service with a smile. That's service you can trust. That's the family touch. Literacy's Opticians. The carry at Isabella. 514-481-2368. At Literacy's, you'll see. Winter is not over, but it is warming up, and soon outdoor work will be back in the swing. Give Vernovco a call to talk about your spring projects, from foundations to roofs and everything in between, including isothermic windows by Renovco. Whatever's the task, do it once. Do it right. Do it with Renovco. Visit their website at renovco.com or call for an in-person visit to their design center. Telephone 514-856-9993. That's 856-9993, and tell them that Yannick sent you. CTV's The Good Doctor is all new Monday. Change is pushing the team to the edge. I can't trust you. Get into an all new episode of The Good Doctor. Monday at 10, only on CTV. Some live, well, Eagles, because that's from their Hell Freezes Over reunion tour, an MTV special, but it's a Don Henley solo song and a New York Minute about how quickly and, I guess, uh, drastically life can change, and I guess with an underlying message there, too, about appreciating the good things in life, because it could be gone tomorrow. New York Minute, yeah, um, I think that's from his uh, solo album, uh, The End of the Innocence. Uh, one of my favorite songwriters and one of the most distinctive voices in music, Don Henley, and still out there on the road with this, uh, I guess, latest version of the Eagles. Not the same, really, with Glenn gone, but uh, Joe Walsh, Timothy B. Schmidt, and they uh, brought in uh, Glenn Fry's son and also added um, Vince Gill to the lineup, sing a lot of uh, the songs that uh, Glenn used to sing. And yeah. Out on the road, I think, uh, touring Europe, if I'm not mistaken, this coming summer. 7.57, uh, news is standing by, uh, the latest from the newsroom with Don, coming up with the 8 o'clock report. We'll talk to Dr. Christopher Labos, coming up at 8.10 this morning, about a few things, including, excuse me, <clears throat> what do you do if after 10 days you're still testing positive? All right, so we'll get some advice from the uh, doctor at 8.10 this morning. We're going to talk Habs and maybe some... Uh, some changes that are on the way. What we can expect? What can we expect the team to look like uh, come next season in the start of training camp? All right, some changes on the way, I guess, with this quote-unquote 
I don't know if you want to call it a rebuild. Anyways, we'll talk hockey at 820 this morning. And Bill Brownstein, this is a big week coming up with the return of some very popular TV shows. And as well, we'll get Bill's take on last night's all-new Saturday Night Live. It was one of those situations where the uh, the guest host was also a musical guest. It was Lizzo. All right, so that's coming up with Bill at 840 this morning. Oh, we'll do celebrations, too. Don't forget at... Uh about 8.55-ish this morning. You can let me know on the text line if there's a birthday or an anniversary you want mentioned. 514-800 is my text line. Good morning, Matthew Ross. Good morning, Ken. Let's start at the Bell Centre last night where the Canadians were hammered by the Capitals 8-4. to four. Quebec native Anthony Mantha had four points for the Caps. Ryan Paling had two goals in the loss. Here he is after the game. It means a lot. Yeah, I think that uh, perseverance is one of the big things that I've faced, especially in my uh, professional career, and I think that's made me the person I am, though, and it, it's helped me a lot. So I think for myself, realizing that, it's hopefully just kind of taking the things that I've learned throughout that entire process and adding it to my game, I think, will help me at least have a longer career for myself, which I'm hoping for. Montreal next plays Tuesday on TSN 690 at home versus Minnesota. Elsewhere, CF Montreal won their first Stad Saputo game of the season on Saturday, beating Vancouver 2-1. to Mihailovic scoring in the opening minutes, while Kyoto added another just after halftime. Montreal next plays Saturday at Philadelphia. On to the NBA, where the Raptors opened up their playoff run with a 131-101 loss to the Sixers. Pascal Siakam had 24 points in that loss, but the star was Tyrese Maxey of Philly. He had 38. Steph Curry returned for the Warriors Game 1 as Golden State beat Denver in their opener. The Jazz beat the Mavs, and the T-Wolves upset Memphis in Game 1 of their series. And one other note for you here, Ken. The Laval Rocket won 4-2 to in Cleveland with Jesse Yelonen scoring in that one. And that's sports. All right, much appreciated, Matthew, from TSN 690. All right, Don is in place for the 8 o'clock report. Then we'll come back with our Sunday morning house call. Good morning. It's 8 o'clock. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's one degree. Your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news. A major drug lab hidden in the Laurentians. Quebecers are asked to avoid the emergency room barring urgent needs this weekend. And police are still searching for suspects in a possible hate crime drive-by shooting. From the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, some closures through the long weekend until Tuesday morning. The 20 East is off limits through the Ville Saint Pierre interchange. Get off at First Avenue and re-enter after Ville Saint Pierre. The 20 West in the Ville Saint Pierre interchange has one out of two lanes closed, along with the 20 West ramp in the Mercier Bridge. Double back at First Avenue there. Meantime, the inbound Champlain Bridge is scheduled to have two lanes shut until noon today. In the news, testimony in a recent trial has revealed that a normal-looking home in the Laurentians was actually home to a major cocaine plant allegedly used by members of the Lebanese underworld to supply the Hells Angels and Italian Mafia of Quebec. A police officer on the case described it as one of the most sophisticated labs he'd ever seen, with cocaine drying ovens, a hydraulic press, a sealing machine, grinders, and scales among the items seized. While the lab was dismantled several years ago, many of the details are only now coming to light, with 32-year-old Laval resident Joseph Friend facing charges of manufacturing and trafficking cocaine set to be heard in court this month. Police seized about $1.75 million worth of cocaine in that investigation. Health authorities are asking Quebecers to avoid emergency rooms for minor issues this holiday weekend. All ERs in the greater Montreal area are reporting heavy traffic, with the sixth wave hitting hospitals very hard right now. Local health authorities suggest people call the 811 Info Santé line or consult a pharmacist for issues when possible, only going to the ER for urgent problems. Newly disclosed documents reveal the breach of an internal computer network at Rideau Hall was described to senior government officials as, quote, a sophisticated cyber incident in the days before the public was told of the security lapse. 
Internal government emails obtained by the Canadian press through the Access to Information Act also say officials were unable to confirm the full extent of the information that was accessed. As a result, the Office of the Secretary to the Governor-General was looking to make credit monitoring services available to employees due to concerns that sensitive personal information might have been pilfered. All managers were encouraged to reflect on the information holdings they manage in their respective units and raise any concerns they might have. Rob Westgate, the Canadian Press. Toronto police are still searching for suspects after five men who had just finished their evening Ramadan prayers were left injured after a drive-by shooting in a Scarborough parking lot yesterday. Four men were found on the scene while another made his own way to the hospital. All sustained serious injuries, though luckily none were life-threatening. Police say the suspects fled the scene in a blue car after the shooting. Constable Laura Brabant says it's too early to establish a motive for the shooting, but the hate crimes unit is involved in the investigation. Anyone in Quebec looking for an in-ground pool should get on the phone now or expect a long wait. Even if the pool craze that started last year has begun to die down, installation companies say their services are booked solid through the end of August already. Officials from the company Trevi, for example, say that they only have 30 spaces left in their bookings at Trevi all around the end of the summer season. And not only is it harder to get the service done itself, but expect it to cost much more thanks to inflation. An above-ground pool is simpler to get done than an in-ground one, meaning you can still have one done early by the summer, but expect to pay 500 to to $1,000 more than usual. For in-ground pools, that number can go up to $8,000 more than average costs. And sometimes driving lessons are given in big parking lots or other wide open spaces so nobody and nothing gets hit. This was not one of those times. The police chief of Melrose, Massachusetts, says a 53-year-old woman with her learner's permit was practicing driving in a sport utility vehicle with a relative who's a licensed driver at her side. There wasn't anybody to hit, but she did smash into and knock over eight headstones at the cemetery where she was practicing. All the gravestones were put back up by people with the city public works department. Nobody hurt, but the front of the Range Rover is pretty smashed up and looks like a wheel came off. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is coming at 8.30. Coffee, conversation, and... Catching up. Weekends with Ken. News Talk Radio. CJAD 800. Indeed, here on a long weekend, Easter Sunday. Nice to have you with us. 8.05 on this beautiful start to the day. Look at that sunshine. Uh, Still a little on the chilly side. If you're about to step out the door, it's uh, only one degree above at the moment. Plus one. Well, looking at seven as a high for today. Uh, Mix of sun and cloud for the most part. Going to be windy, though. At certain points, uh, winds gusting up to about 50k an hour today. They're telling us probably around the lunch hour. That's what Environment Canada has on their forecast around noon, they said. Uh, Some clearing this evening. And... um, because I guess we're getting a little more cloud cover uh, throughout the day. But some clearing this evening. Overnight low is going to be minus 3. Tomorrow, interesting day tomorrow. It's going to be nice during the day. Monday, tomorrow, Easter Monday, if you have that off, you're going to have a nice day. Sunshine and 10. But the clouds move in. We get some rain on the way tomorrow night and a low overnight of plus 1. Then on Tuesday, they're telling us we're getting either snow or rain. I mean, I imagine it's like, you know, wet snow, flurries, what have you. Snow or rain in the forecast and a high of plus four on Tuesday. More rain on Tuesday night. Then Wednesday clearing. And Wednesday looks like a nice day. Uh, Probably a little cloudy in the morning. But for the most part, Wednesday is going to be sunny and a high of nine. (laughs) Enjoy that because on Thursday, we're back to the rain, back and forth. Uh, One day sun, one day cloud and rain. Uh, That's April for you, isn't it? As I said, it's just above the freezing mark. It's plus one outside your window. When we come back, we'll talk to Dr. Labos about a few things, of course, health-related, including what you do, what are your options, and what actions should you take if after 10 days you're still testing positive from COVID. When a story needs to be told, when you need to be heard, reach out to CJAD 800 and let us do the talking. Tell us about it through your story at CJAD800.com. Because we're listening to the voice of the community, the voice of Montreal, CJAD 800. In a complicated world, provincially, federally, globally, Tom Mulcair is your voice of reason, twice a day on CJAD 800. Brought to you by Guaranteed Industries. 
Tune up your air conditioning equipment before the heat hits. Guaranteed Industries, Montreal's air conditioning experts. 514-342-3400 or visit guaranteedindustries.com. Tom Mulcair, 735 with Andrew and 505 with Aaron and Natasha on News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Now there's more choice than ever at your Mazda dealer with the luxurious CX-5 Signature Edition. Ooh, I think I'll get that one. The powerful Mazda CX-5 Sport Design. Ah, maybe I'll get that one. And the elegant CX-5 Kuro Edition. Elegant, that's the one. Visit your Mazda dealer today to get the redesigned 2022 CX-5 of your choice, complete with fuel-efficient SkyActiv technology and standard iActiv all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, too? That's choice. I'm coming. Bailey Blue Pet Boutique presents For the Well-Being of Your Pet. Here's Natalie Gore. Over the last few years, we've had the pleasure of educating countless customers about the very real benefits of feeding a high-protein, meat-based, grain-free diet to their carnivores. And while we strongly believe grain-free is a way to go, did you know that despite some impressive and glossy marketing, not all grain-free foods are created equal? Most pet foods that advertise as being grain-free have simply replaced one cheap filler for another most commonly in the form of starch-heavy potato. Rarely do these companies increase the amount of meat content in their recipes. The more carb content in the food, the more likely it is for chronic yeast infections among a host of other health ailments to develop. If you'd like to know more about our approved grain-free diets and how to transition, please stop by. Bailey Blue, for the well-being of your pet. You can find us at 6152 Sherbrooke Street West and our West Island store now located in Marche de l'Ouest. That's Bailey Blue without an E. Let's face it, we take our hands for granted every day. The truth is, in order to maintain a quality lifestyle, it's important to keep your hands in good health. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Durand at MontrealHandSurgery.com. If you're having trouble with your hands, such as carpal tunnel syndrome, Dupuytron's disease, trigger finger, or any other issue, I can help you regain your quality of life. Using minimally invasive techniques, patients leave our clinic with their problems solved and pain-free. Let me give you a helping hand. Visit MontrealHandSurgery.com. Very few things are impossible. I know something that's impossible. Okay, tell it. Having a big event and not creating a pile of junk. Okay, but it's easily fixable. Oh, I get it. All I have to do is point. All you have to do is point. Junk from a party or celebration or holiday. Junk from moving in or from moving out of a new place. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. In a world of more, there's more, and there's Toyota Service More. Not just a free pizza topping when you buy a large pizza more. Not buy six kitchen knives and get a seventh knife free more. At Toyota Service Centers, you get more of what matters. Like Toyota factory trained technicians installing Toyota genuine parts for all your maintenance and repair needs and more. They'll even offer a price match promise on a new set of tires. Terms and conditions apply. Get more for your Toyota this spring. Book an appointment today at your Quebec Toyota dealer or shoptoyota.ca. It's our Sunday morning house call on CJAD 800. Here's Dr. Christopher Labos and Ken Connors. And on a long weekend to boot, Easter weekend, Passover. People are celebrating marking Passover. And hello to you if you are. Chris, good morning. Good morning, sir. Oh, yeah. Speaking of long weekends and family get-togethers and uh, celebrating, uh, let's start with, you know, a gathering this weekend. Uh, a couple of reminders, safety reminders, I guess. You know, the first one that comes to mind, Chris, because I'm going to a family get-together as well. We're all vaccinated. We've all got our boosters. But, uh, we're, you know, we can't sit outdoors. It's not that warm, but we're going to make sure the windows are open and get a lot of ventilation going through the house. Yeah, and I think that's really the key. I mean, we have to start thinking about air quality in the same way that, frankly, we think about water quality. I mean, you know, we we consider it essential that the government guarantee that clean, safe drinking water is piped into everybody's house on a continuous basis, right? That has become the standard for living in modern society. Uh, And we have to start thinking about air quality. And I mean, you know, for you in your home, obviously there's a very simple solution. You open the windows, you you get good air ventilation. But when we start thinking more globally about schools, office buildings, and all this sort of thing, uh, as we start, you know, getting back to more and more people, uh, you know, working from their offices and all that, we have to start thinking about the air quality of our indoor buildings. And that's, this is going to be a, 
not a simple solution and not a short-term solution either. It's going to be a really long-term thing. And, you know, do we overhaul our, our, our ventilation systems? Do we start getting, like, smaller air filters for various locations? It's going to be an interesting problem to try to solve. And the reality is I don't know what the ultimate solution of that is going to be. But for you and, you know, you're having your friends over right now, there's a very simple solution. Do it outside when weather permits. And when it doesn't, obviously, just, you know, it, the, the better the air ventilation is, the better off you're all going to be. Mm-hmm. Chris, a couple of uh, questions came in on the text line in the last couple of days, so I grabbed them. I hope you don't mind. Here's one of them. Um says, uh, good morning. What if I'm t- uh, still testing positive after 10 days? What do I do? What are my options? Well, so if you're te- yeah, so if you're testing positive on a rapid antigen test, that is a little unusual. That there were cases of that with the PCR testing, and that's because the PCR testing can still detect traces of the viral genetic material that's lingering in your system. That doesn't mean that you're uh, infectious. It goes with PCR tests, but with rapid tests, if you're still testing positive, I would be a little bit cautious. I would really sort of extend the isolation period, maybe out until two weeks, to make sure that you're completely recovered because that's unusual and that does suggest that there might still be virus particles lingering in your nose and that you might potentially still be infectious. So, uh, we know when in doubt, err on the side of caution because no one's going to thank you if you end up making them sick. Mm-hmm. With Dr. Christopher Lambos this morning, here's another one uh, via the text line. I'm eligible for my uh, second booster. Traveling to Europe in mid-June, uh, should I wait to maximize the impact of the vaccine or do I just go ahead and get it now? Yeah, so I've gotten variations of that question a lot over the past couple of days. Uh, it's a difficult question to answer, and it really is a judgment call. I think if you're going to be traveling, I would probably want to be optimized in terms of my protection because that's a lot of time in an airport. That's a lot of time on a plane. That's a lot of time in another country where maybe COVID is, is you know, not doing that well. I mean, we don't know what the situation is, is going to look like in Europe in June, uh, but recently it hasn't been great. There was a lot of COVID circulating in Europe, and that's, you know, why we're having a sixth wave now. The, the new variant swept through Europe and then came here. So if you're contemplating travel, that's probably a good reason to want to optimize your protection for the general population, it becomes a bit more of a nuanced conversation, and we're going to see what the optimal timing for a, a second booster is. A lot of it is going to depend on what new variants emerge and you know what happens after this sixth wave is over. Do we have future variants, future waves, or do things stay quiescent for most of the summer? One more with Dr. Labos. You know, the positive case counts and the hospitalization numbers are, are as high as they were back in January, right? But the message and uh, and the advice from our provincial government is quite different in tone. So, I don't know, a cynic might say, well, you know, there's an election coming up here in the province, uh, so it's no surprise that they're, you know, they're not going to impose any new restrictions. Or, as the government was saying, and I guess Dr. Boileau was saying in the recent days, heading into this long weekend with family gatherings, he said, look, we've been through this. We've all been through this before. You know what to do. So he's kind of just throwing it in our lap to take the proper restrictions. Yeah, and I do, yes, that is exactly what is happening. The numbers are the same, but the messaging has changed. The problem with telling people, here are the recommendations, do what you want, is that, number one, I mean, most people do look to the government for guidance. If the government said this is not a good idea, I think most people would listen. So the minute you tell people you can do something, most people interpret that to mean it's safe to do so. Uh, So... You know, again, if we wanted people to do X, Y, and Z, I mean, there should be an official recommendation from public health to do X, Y, and Z. The the other issue, and I mean, yes, there's a whole lot of factors that are going into this, the upcoming election, there's the politics, there's the shift in the political climate, there's a whole lot of reasons as to why various things are are not being done. I think the, the worry that I have is that if things worsen, if things, you know, we really start to get strain on the healthcare system, uh, the government's hand may be forced, and then we're going to have to take a really long, hard look at the situation and ask ourselves, going forward, if there are new variants, and there very well be new variants, because we don't seem to be particularly eager to, uh, eager to vaccinate the rest of the planet, going forward, do we want to be reactive or do we want to be proactive? Do we want to take steps to prevent new waves from emerging, or do we want to wait for waves to happen and then react when the hospital system gets very, very strained? And if it's the second option, that doesn't bode well for the long-term health and stability of our health care system. All right. uh, Dr. Christopher Labos always joins us on Sunday mornings, and we appreciate your time. Chris, thank you for this. 
My pleasure. You take care. Uh, that brings us to what is eight seventeen. Look at the sunshine. Looks nice out there. And let me just uh, refresh my weather forecast and let you know. Well, we climbed a degree. Look at that. Two at the moment. Heading for a high today of seven. We'll have a mix of sun and cloud. Maybe a little more cloud cover this afternoon than we'd like. But a high, nonetheless, of 7. And windy, they're telling us, around the lunch hour. Winds are going to pick up anywhere from 30 to 50K an hour. Keep that in mind. Overnight low tonight is going to be minus 3. Overnight, minus 3. Tomorrow, sunshine and a high of 10 for your Easter Monday. And then we get some rain in the forecast for Monday night. And then on Tuesday, a bit of a messy day, I guess, with precipitation. Either snow or rain, they're telling us right now, on Tuesday with a high of plus 4. We come back right around the corner and uh, take a look at the Montreal Canadiens and maybe what we can expect in the off season and uh, faces that'll uh, depart. Maybe some new ones added to the team. A little assessment of the team heading into the off season when we come back. This season of CTV's The Masked Singer has some epic battles of celebrity showdowns. First, they face off. Then, they face the music. Get into The Masked Singer, all new, Wednesday at 8, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. The heart, the mind, and the Toyota Corolla. Corolla, Corolla. For all my destinations, you are my destiny. Uh, excuse me? I wasn't finished. You must forgive him. He's rather excited about red tag days. Hatchback, hybrid, cross sedan? Which will I drive into the sunset? You sure he's okay? Red tag days! Red like my passion for you, Corolla. Awkward. Heart or mind? Order your Corolla during Toyota's red tag days. Barbie Bar, the place to go for mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs, and the chicken's so tasty, and the crust. Check out Sports Plus and free parking. The Barbie Barn on Sources in DDO. At the Barbie Barn, at the Barbie Barn, From becoming your own boss. Okay, okay, you're awesome, you can do this. To leading a growing company. Together, we can do this. The Jardin Business is with you every step of the way. From expanding your first facility to building your third warehouse. The Jardin Business is with you every step of the way. Chatter Mobile has nationwide prepaid plans with nationwide coverage from only $15 a month. That's really, really, really affordable. At Chatter, there's no credit checks, no term contracts, no commitment. So it's easy to say yes, yes, yes. And Chatter Mobile is Canada's number one prepaid mobile provider because Chatter is very, very, very good at what they do. With Chatter Mobile, now you make the call. Visit your local store or chattermobile.com today. So many Quebecers suffer from back pain, which, when left untreated, can result in a loss of quality of life. The Quebec Chiropractors Association invites you to learn more. Visit chiropractic.com for more information about the practice. You can find tips and advice for daily activities and where you can find the chiropractor closest to you. Be well informed. Prevent injuries. Live your life to the fullest. Pain changes everything. Chiropractic care changes pain. In life, there are the adventurers and the homebodies, extroverts and introverts, creatives and scientists, the urbanites and the nature lovers, the loners and those who ride with the gang. And then there are those who are a bit of all of these at once. For every lifestyle and personality, there's a Ford Escape, Edge, or Explorer. Bring on the future now. Visit your local Ford retailer to discover the new 2022 Ford SUVs. You're listening to Weekends with Ken on News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Canadians win the draw. That was Gallagher. Shoot him in. Right side feed. Hoffman doesn't shoot it yet. Ben Reemstike with an eye on him, so he gives it to shoot him in. Snaps it through. A crowd tip in front. Red Pedlick scores! Love it. Pedlick puts it in. One ref and one linesman. A quick conference. Think he might have kicked it in. 
Love listening to Dan call the games with Sergio on TSN 690. Uh, the Canadians in a losing effort. There was a goal from Pitlick. 8-4 last night to the Capitals. Yeah, it wasn't a great weekend for the team. Uh, shut out Friday for Carey's return and then giving up eight last night against... Uh, Pretty good looking uh, Washington team as always. Season's winding down. Uh, I guess the, on the bright spot, we're getting to see a lot of the youngsters uh, play. Uh, so what changes can we expect in the off season? Lori Bennett follows and writes about the Montreal Canadiens on her excellent Twitter page, which is Lori 10 Habs, uh, L-O-R-I 10 Habs. And also, uh, you can read her takes on the team at habather.wordpress.com. And Lori's on the line. Hi, Lori. Good morning, Ken. How are you? I'm good. Full disclosure, Lori. I just, during the commercial break, I had to run downstairs in about 30 seconds and let someone in who forgot their keys to the building, so I'm completely out of breath. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> That's happening to all of us these days. We don't know where we're working. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Lori, you know, I wanted to start with this um, and get your take on something that I noticed last night and that I think is obvious to a lot of fans. When it comes to Jake Evans and Ryan Paling, there's a question as to whether maybe one of them is, is going to stay with the team and one of them is going to leave. And last night, they both had a good game. I think Paling got two, and Jake Evans looked good by uh, by putting one top shelf against uh, the Washington goalie. So what's your take on these two guys? Um, it's difficult to say where where that will land. I mean, there is an interesting dynamic unfolding with every center not named Nick Suzuki. Uh, you know, what, what's happening there, I guess, is, uh, you know, Suzuki is getting those top line minutes. But then it's actually Jake Evans who tends to get the second line minutes, which is a little surprising considering the role that Dvorak has been able to play under, under Marty since coming back from an injury. Mm. Uh, he's been strong since he returned. Struggled under Ducharme, but uh, has been strong under Marty. Uh, but but it's it's Evans getting the uh, the second line minutes on most nights, and then of course you have Paling who is uh, you know getting fourth line minutes, not really even given much chance to to rise above that. And I think what happens with all three is probably going to depend on what happens at the draft uh, if they're able to select a uh, a center in in the top. Uh, mm. You know, in, in that top order, then that's probably going to make things, you know, determine how things shake out with the others. Um, so we'll we'll have to wait until July to see exactly what's going to mm. happen with that. Lori, um, if um, you know, as much as I like like Jake Evans, uh, I think I have a concern that uh, I'm sure that a lot of uh, fans have is that he he seems to be um, injury prone, doesn't he? He takes a lot of hard hits. Uh, he takes a lot of hard hits, and he has uh, a concussion history. Yeah. Um, you know, you find uh, I always, whenever whenever Evans is getting in a crowd, I always find myself a little bit yeah. tense for him, and he he tends to maybe watch uh, his passes too frequently. Uh, and I would say that's also true. A little bit of a different dynamic, but uh, but Paling also has an injury history, so I'm sure I'm sure the durability of both players is something that. Uh, Gordon and Hughes are, are watching. Uh, it, it is a factor for both, I think. With Laurie Bennett this morning talking about the Montreal Canadiens. Laurie, what did you think of uh, Friday night and Carey's return? Uh, Carey is uh, Carey was Carey. I mean, it, it was great to see the fans show him so much love on that night. And there he was, you know, standing on the blue line for an ovation. Mm. Uh, humble as usual, not a whole lot of emotion on his face. Uh, but then afterwards, when he says, you know, talking to the press and says he felt wanted, uh, you know, just puts him back in that place that this this is still just, you know, a man, flesh and blood, who, uh, you know, has, has, you know, ups and downs like all of us, but has become so much an important part of this organization. And uh, that that's an interesting thing to watch going forward as well. Let me throw you a question. Let me throw you a question that's uh, impossible to answer right now. But uh, is he a member of the team come sp- uh, training camp in September? I think he is. Um, of course, Carey has a lot of say in that. Yeah. He has, uh, you know, uh, protection in his contract, so it's going to be up to him in some ways. But it's unlikely that he's going to uh, get enough action in between now and the end of the season to bring a lot of comfort to to any suitors' minds. Um, you know, he's, uh, there, there's just a few games left. Now we're waiting, right? I mean, he looked good on Friday night. He looked like mm-hmm. himself. 
no drama, those easy saves, making everything look easier than it is, of course. Uh, but how did his knee feel on Saturday morning? We don't know. Yeah. How will it feel after several games? That, how will it feel after he's, you know, bumped a few times in the net or has to make a few awkward stops? We don't know that. And, and, and I suspect Kerry doesn't know that yet um so you know that there's there's that piece some have wondered if he'd go to the world championships i'm not sure he's taking that risk we'll see um and, and certainly a performance there might uh shift some things but uh you know the contract is enormous and so anyone taking that on is going to need to feel comfortable that yeah. he's good to go and, and and good to go for some time then on that note laurie would you expect if there's six games left he's playing at least half of them i think so i i expect to see him three more times yeah. uh between unless of course he's not feeling great and that's that's the big question mark uh that that might you know that there's there are several pathways that this can take how much longer is Carey price going to play uh is, is he going to finish this contract for the habs or anyone else yeah. uh you know and and unfortunately his body will tell that story more than his more than his heart or his or his mind or spirit. Certainly, his body will have a say in that. Let so. me throw let me throw a couple of names at you, Laurie, uh, in terms of uh, the off season and changes and possible departures of, uh, of familiar faces. Uh, Paul Byron and uh, Yoel Armia. Yeah, both guys are. Um, you know, they're they have their strengths for sure, uh, but both guys are getting paid way too much for what they deliver. And I look at you know I look at some of those players. I look at uh, Ar- Armia and think. Uh, could Elodin fill that role? I think he can for a lot less. I look at Paul Byron and yeah, there's, you know, that's, that might be a spot that perhaps it's Emil Heineman that's coming in to fill that role. Is it something that, is it a role that maybe a guy like Pitlick is filling in the, in the fall? I, I see Pitlick as more of a replacement for Hoffman in all honesty, but, uh, but, you know, I, I think we'll see, I think there are several contracts. I think that's the next big piece of action in Montreal is, is the movement of contracts between now and, and draft day because then free agency opens. And if, you know, I get the sense that, uh, Gordon Hughes want to spend in free agency, but they don't have a dime mm. at this point to be mm. spending anywhere. So some mm. guys got to go if they want to spend. I got a minute and I have two points I want to throw at you before we have to get the news. Uh, um, I just forgot one of them. Uh, Lori, um, <laughs> it's been really fun watching these, uh, young defensemen, uh, get a, get a look and get a tryout. Uh, Barron and, uh, Harris, right? Uh, do you expect them both to be, uh, to start with the team in, in, in the fall? I expect them both to get a good long look, certainly. Both have looked good in their, in their starts. Uh, unfortunately, Barron had a season cut short with yeah. injury, but, um, I expect them to both get good long looks. It also wouldn't be shocking to me if both, you know, did some travel between Montreal and Laval. They're okay. still in developmental territory, uh, but I think both have long careers in Montreal ahead of them. I got 15 seconds. Should we just brace ourselves that we may not be getting the number one pick, but we'll probably get, you know, one of the first three, top three? Well, it's, it's, it's a lottery, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, Arizona's tanking hard. They're going to be hard to beat <laughs> to number one. <laughs> Get that on a t-shirt. Tanking hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right. Lori, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Let's do it again soon and uh, enjoy your long weekend. Thank you, Ken. Have a good one. That's Lori Bennett. And you can follow her a great a Twitter page and a Twitter feed when it comes to the Montreal Canadiens. Lori, L-O-R-I, 10 Habs. Look at that. It's time for our news. Good morning, it's 8.30, I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's 2 degrees right now, your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news. Montreal sees its seventh murder of the year. Quebec's police watchdog opens an investigation after two people were killed in a car chase, and a shooting in Pittsburgh leaves two dead and 11 injured at a party. First, though, from the CJA D800 Traffic Center, some closures through the long weekend until Tuesday morning. The 20 East is off limits through the Ville-Saint-Pierre interchange. Get off at First Avenue and re-enter after Ville-Saint-Pierre. The 20 West in the Ville-Saint-Pierre interchange has one out of two lanes closed along with the 20 West ramp to the Mercier Bridge, double back at First Avenue. Meantime, the inbound Champlain Bridge is scheduled to have two lanes shut until noon today.
In the news, gunshots rang out for a second night in a row in Montreal, leaving one man dead this time. So police officers answered a call concerning a man that was shot near the intersection of Saint Laurent and Jean Talon in the borough of Little Italy. They found a 46-year-old victim shot in the upper body. He was taken to hospital but pronounced dead this morning, marking the seventh murder of the year in Montreal. Quebec's police watchdog, the BEI, has opened an investigation into an incident involving St. Jerome Police. The officers were responding to a call about a stolen vehicle rather when a short car chase began just past 1 a.m. The fleeing driver reportedly hit another car with his, causing both to catch fire, killing the driver of the escaping car and leaving the passenger of the hit car with injuries that eventually killed them. BEI investigators are on the scene looking to gather details. Two people are dead and 11 injured after a shooting in Pittsburgh early this morning. The shooting happened during a party at an Airbnb property in the city's north side. There were more than 200 people inside, many of them under age. Pittsburgh Police Commander John Fisher says evidence shows there were several firearms used. There were rifles that we can, we can see were in there, well, shell casings from rifles as well as pistols. So there's a lot of rounds that were fired. Police said when officers arrived, they saw people fleeing the scene and trying to escape by jumping out of windows. Multiple people were taken to hospital. Cases of the flu plummeted during the pandemic, but as COVID-9 precautions are rolled back in the U.S., it's making a return. All that masking up and distancing during the pandemic coincided with a big drop in influenza cases around the country. The last time that I've been sick actually was in uh, 2020 when COVID had hit. But as masks come off and things open up, the flu is making a comeback. Minneapolis infectious disease specialist Dr. Frank Ram. We also see other respiratory viruses. Uh, and in, in my own personal experience, it looks like that's been increasing. Some stores even reporting shortages on cold and flu medicine. Dave Packer, ABC News. North Korea has announced the successful test launch of a newly developed weapon, part of a series of new missile testing activity that experts say is meant to enhance the country's nuclear arsenal. Pyongyang State News Agency reported that the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un observed the launch of what it claimed to be a new type tactical guided weapon. South Korea and the United States are expected to begin their annual joint military drill on Monday, which North Korea had always been against. Analysts in Seoul are speculating whether North Korea will conduct another missile test or an even larger nuclear-related experiment in the coming weeks. Ha Kyung Kate Lee, ABC News, Seoul, South Korea. Users of the Montreal-based car-sharing company Communauto are frustrated. Many are regularly now having difficulty finding cars to use from the service. While cars are supposed to be available to users to use at any time for occasions like this holiday weekend, reservations are needed about a month or more in advance for many here in Montreal. Subscribers to the service have said the issue has been getting worse over the last few years, and the company says they're working to fix it. They've ordered 1,300 new vehicles that they hope will arrive this summer, though that timeline could be pushed back. And a 60-year-old New Jersey man is recovering after he says he spent three days trapped in a dumpster. The man says he fell into a dumpster in Clifton, New Jersey, after seeing a chair he wanted and then couldn't get back out. His screams for help were heard by a resident in an apartment complex. Police were unable to verify just how long he was in that dumpster, but he was treated for some minor injuries. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is at 9 o'clock. Keeping you company, keeping you informed. Weekends with Ken on CJAD 800. 835, 17th of April. Celebration happening today or this weekend in your house? Let us know on the text line. Birthday, anniversary. Shout out. We'll do that with uh, celebrations. 514-800, by the way, the text line to do that. And I'll take care of those just before the 9 o'clock news. Sorry, let's get the weather forecast out here for you. And it's going to be a decent day, I guess. A little bit on the hazy side right now. We have some cloud cover out there, but it's been sunny uh, already this morning. Two at the moment. We'll look at seven as a high for today. Going to be windy around the lunch hour. The winds are really going to pick up, they're telling us, about 50K an hour. Gusting up to 50K an hour around the lunch hour. Uh, Yeah, high of seven. A bit of cloud this afternoon as well. Tomorrow is here's a deal for tomorrow. It's going to be a nice day. Easter Monday is going to be a nice sunny and 10 uh, clouds move in. We get some rain tomorrow night and that sticks around all day Tuesday, snow or rain and a high of plus four. So we'll go to a sunny and 10 tomorrow to rainy and messy and plus four on Tuesday and back to a sunny plus nine and nine on uh, Wednesday. 
Speaking of sunshine, Bill Brownstein of the Montreal Gazette to talk entertainment with me. I always look forward to our chats Saturday and Sunday mornings at 840. Bill standing by with a little peek at last night's all new SNL and some of the TV shows that are on the way this week. We're going to circle in our TV guide, as it were. That's coming up next. Anytime news breaks, CJAD 800 has it. 62-year-old Frank James appeared in court with two federal defenders and will be held on a permanent order of detention on terror charges. On the air, on Twitter, email to your inbox. Up to the minute. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Being vaccinated against COVID-19 doesn't protect you from this. this mom what's for dinner not this this and it's looking like rain rain and more rain for this weekend this or even this your call is important to us please hold but being vaccinated does protect you from the virus vaccination is still your best form of protection a message from the Gouvernement du Québec. GCP Research is looking for women 40 to 65 years of age experiencing moderate to severe hot flashes for a clinical study on menopause. If you are not suited to hormone replacement therapy or prefer not to use it, call GCP Research at 514-800-2130. Hey, my dad's stronger than your dad. Yeah? Well, is your dad capable of 460 pound-feet of torque, get 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway, and can he tow up to 13,300 pounds? Pounds, like the optional Duramax turbo diesel engine in the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500? Uh, no. Yeah? Well, tell your dad to order a new Silverado, then come see me. Visit your Chevrolet dealer for details. Celebrating their 20th anniversary, Renovco certainly has become a Montreal institution in the renovation world. Renovco has won the Consumer's Choice Award for seven consecutive years, the West Island Excellence in Business Award two years in a row, and the Profit 500 Award twice. I'm Yonix, and what stands out most for me is to see how many repeat customers they have, as repeat customers indicate really satisfied customers. Call them for your renovation, 514-856-9993. Happy Monday. Oh, new glasses. Yep, designer glasses from New Look. Happy Tuesday. Oh, new glasses. Yep, designer glasses from New Look. Enjoy a two-for-one deal on over a 100 designer brands at New Look. Book an appointment at newlook.ca. Approved by Jacinth Lorando Optician. How Bell makes the internet better. Did you know the cheetah is the fastest mammal on earth? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet is the fastest internet technology? Well, did you know the fastest person ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet has total download speeds of up to 1.5 gigabits per second? You just switched to Bell, didn't you? Yep. Want to come over Friday? Definitely. Switch to Pure Fiber Internet, the fastest internet technology. Call 310 Bell or visit a Bell store to check. Check availability. Bell. Being online just got better. Good morning. It's the weekend with Ken. News Talk Radio. CJAD 800. And now, a message from the Easter Bunny. It's really me, the Easter Bunny. (laughs) Either that or you're at Coachella and the shrooms are kicking in. (laughs) How is everyone tonight? It is Easter, a.k.a. Warm Halloween. (laughs) And I may not be the most A-list holiday character, but I am the freakiest. (laughs) Man-sized bunny with no backstory. Who is he? (laughs) A man-sized bunny with no backstory. Who is he? That was uh, former Montrealer Bowen Yang at the opening of SNL last night. Hi, Bill. Hello there, kid. Yeah, it was a weird kind of grab bag uh, to begin with. Had all sorts of characters. Uh, uh, McKinnon there doing uh, Fauci and Mikey Day doing Elon Musk and James Austin Johnson doing Trump. Uh, I don't know how they all fit together, but uh, <laughs> it was weird. But uh, nonetheless, uh, kind of uh, laid the foundation of what was to come. Uh, interestingly enough, Lizzo, she was terrific. I mean, both musically and uh, comedically, she really kind of fit in there and uh, I got to say it's the first time I've ever seen a twerking flautist on uh, Night <laughs> Live and uh, she pulled it off brilliantly uh, she did her uh, she did her own uh, new tune uh, about damn time uh, with a flute solo in the midst of that but uh, there's a segment in uh, Saturday Night Live I've become to really enjoy it's a uh, 
by this group, Please Don't Destroy. It looks like three guys right out of high school, and they do these videos, and they're really out there. And uh, Lizzo joined them there. She was desperately looking for a single because she was committed to SNL that she was going to do a new tune, and uh, she had nothing. And uh, she had these two, like these three white guys who absolutely have no clue about the world she's from, and somehow they put together something that's very, very funny. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm always amazed when the musical guest is able to kind of blend so well into, yeah. you know, the comedic end, because you don't think of Lizzo in that sense. I mean, terrific musical talent, but very funny. Bill, you made me think back to my days of uh, going to see uh, shows at the Montreal Forum, and, and Ian Anderson or Jethro Tull, when he pulled the flute out, uh, he never twerked. He never, never twerked. twerked. <laughs> and maybe that's why uh, no, yeah, Ian Anderson was it's true. Eh? You haven't heard not too many flutists anymore. Very versatile. Bill, I, uh, I did a fast forward this morning, as I always do, just to get a couple of clips uh, and bring in for the uh, for the segment. But it was a, I got the impression Bo and Yang was in a lot of uh, the sketches last night. He was in a lot of the yeah. sketches. Uh, they were all different all over the map, basically. Uh, they, they were doing, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Six Flags stuff. I don't know if we're, people here are as much familiar with the Six Flags logo and the, the characters in there, but they did a, a bunch of riffs on that, a bunch of riffs also on Black Eyed Peas. Uh, you know, and you really have to kind of be up on that mythology to kind of uh, get get into it. But uh, it, it was it was all over the map. I mean, in in those uh, in those various sketches, but uh, mm. it's it's quite a bit different the uh, Saturday Night Live. It seems this year. I don't know what it is. Uh, a lot of the characters don't stand out as much as they used to. Like Kate, I, I think they I, they definitely have other projects. So there, you know, Pete Davidson wasn't around at all. Kind of miss Pete. Oh, please stop. <laughs> Bill, uh, it was kind of sweet that during the uh, during the opening monologue when uh, Lizzo came out because her mom was in the balcony. Yeah, yeah, which was a sweet moment. Now, she, she, like I said, you don't expect uh, Billie Eilish. By the way, is going to be doing the same thing next week. No, uh, I think she's away down the road. I think. Uh, no, the, they said the twenty third. Really? really? Yeah. Uh, I, I saw it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Unless it's a repeat. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what else? Oh, there's another. We, we mentioned Bo and Yang, by the way, if you're yeah. wondering why we signal out. Because he lived on the South Shore for uh, several years and he went to school in town, right? Yeah. Bo and Yang. And the fact that. Uh, hugely talented. Yeah. Very, very uh, funny. And um, oh, speaking of Montreal Connection, um, I think uh, in a couple of weeks, RK Fire are going to be the musical guest, too. Uh, really? Of, yeah. Uh, with Be- with Benedict Cumberbund, uh, Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> As I don't know why he didn't change his name. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think of changing his name. No, I'm going to go with Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, 845. Bill, can I play this clip of the First Lady? Yes, you can. All right, and we'll talk about it. This is, I just want to set it up. It's Michelle Pfeiffer. Yep. as Betty Ford and Aaron Eckhart as Gerald Ford and right. they're they're both in bed and they're arguing over the fact that Gerald Ford has pardoned Richard Nixon. Yep. So you let him off. He accepted the pardon. That is an admission of guilt without consequences for his actions. You know that this makes us look complicit, don't you? Like we're part of the cover-up. No, oh, uh, the first lady is a mini-series that's starting tonight on Crave. Indeed, a uh, ten-part series, and is, what's fascinating—they're calling this the East Wing, by the way, which I think is very <laughs> clever. Um, you've got, uh, of course, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer playing Betty Ford, and she does a really fine job of that. Gillian Anderson is terrific playing Eleanor Roosevelt, and Viola Davis uh, always excellent doing Michelle Obama, and it's the way the the very all these segments. It's not like they focus on one and then they move on to the next. It's all interwoven, and oh. uh, and it makes it even more compelling. Uh, there's people have taken issue with the fact that they think that Betty Ford has been made out to look a little more strong vis-a-vis like anti Nixon and, and so on and so forth. I don't but, know if she ever came across as that feisty, but who yeah, knows what well, happens well, behind closed it, doors, it, right? It's exactly yeah. what people are saying. Yeah. In fact, that uh, they never saw, they never. Saw, sort of thought of her in those terms, mm. but if you, you watch this, and then she had issues, of course, with uh, uh, alcohol yeah. abuse and and, uh, and a bunch of other things, but uh, she certainly uh, plays the part uh, very, very well, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, you don't expect it, and um, I, I guess Viola Davis kind of underplays it, but the surprise to me was Gillian Anderson doing Eleanor Roosevelt, yeah. and uh, I, again, I mean, it's the, they were looking for the, well, like three women who kind of were in the background who 
played such an enormous role in the, the careers of their husbands and had uh, personalities that could not be quashed. And, uh, you know, in the case of, uh, of Michelle Obama, uh, she certainly, some of Obama's people were a little upset that she was always kind of getting a lot more attention than hmm. he was at certain points in time. Hmm. But uh, it, it's kind of a fascinating, uh, the, the whole concept of this, the, the way they've structured this is really kind of remarkable. I didn't know how they could possibly, like I say, interweave these various characters uh, all at the same time. But you get a real interesting sense of what was going on behind the scenes. Uh, I mean, if we were to believe a lot of what we're seeing, and I, I'm guessing for the most part it is historically based, but uh, like I say, there have been criticism in the case of Betty Ford that no one really kind of realized how strong uh, she was. Uh, it, it, she comes across here almost like more of a Bernie Sanders person than, <laughs> than a Gerald Ford person, so uh, there so, you go. So, Bill, it starts tonight on Crave, right? Indeed. All right, the first lady. Uh, and then the hits just keep on coming, Ken. There's just, a, it's nonstop. Just when mainstream television, uh, basically all the shows are going to start coming to a close very soon uh, uh, on the streaming services. Uh, it's nuts. Uh, you've got uh, the uh, first lady, then Better Call Saul uh, starts tomorrow night on. you got the Batman coming to Crave. That's the uh, the Pattinson film. Uh, the flight attendant, Kelly Cuoco, that begins on. Uh, Thursday, Thursday yeah. and season Barry two next yeah. week. Yeah, uh, very exciting stuff. By the way, we should mention. I mentioned it earlier this morning. I'm trying to catch up on uh, Better Call Saul, so I'm going through season five, which is now on Netflix. It's a lot of work on your part. I know. I do it for the job. How do you do that? How do you manage to hold down a steady job and catch up to uh, five I, seasons? Of, I love Better Call Saul. I think I like it better than Breaking Bad. No, I'd seen one through four, but uh, season five uh, took a long time to appear on Netflix, and all re- only recently appeared yeah. on Netflix. So we're just doing season five. And by the way, season uh, six, the final season of Better Call Saul, it's split into two parts. Right. So the uh, first. And it's on AMC. It's on AMC, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we get the. It comes to Netflix. Tomorrow we get the first of six episodes, and then in July we get the final seven. And we got the big news this week that they've confirmed that in the uh, final season we're going to see uh, Brian Cranston and his sidekick appear, Walt and uh, Jesse. Wow. Are going to appear, yeah. They said it would be it would be totally wrong and unfair to the audience and to the loyal fans that the, if those guys did not appear. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Were you a big fan of Breaking Bad? Loved it. But how do you like this in relation to Breaking Bad? I think it's just as good. Yeah, I think it's sometimes better. Yeah, uh, Odenkirk is outstanding. Well, Bob Odenkirk is just brilliant. Yeah. And to think he got his start way back when as what, Ken? Uh, he was a writer on SNL. Exactly. Yeah. I can't. Uh, did he really? Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't let him on either. He didn't do any live, uh, or he did very few live bits, but no, yeah. All right. Very interesting. Bill, I don't know why, because my brain works this way. Uh, I flash back when we were talking about Betty Ford. Do you remember the time Betty Ford made a cameo on the old Mary Tyler Moore show? No. Yeah. they had, they so Every now and then, they, they'd have uh, almost like stunt casting, and there was mm-hmm. Betty Ford that ended up uh, calling... Uh, calling Mary Richards at one point. I forget what the premise was. And do you remember this classic Mary Tyler Moore show? Going off on a tangent here, Bill, where Johnny Carson was a guest star, but by the, when he shows up, Ed, uh, Lou Grant brings him to one of Mary's house parties, but the power goes off, and so the whole scene is in the dark. <laughs> but Johnny's there, Johnny's voice is there, but they didn't show him on screen. I do not remember any of this. When did this goes back a few decades yeah, well, I was a big fan of the Mary Tyler Moore yeah, show. No, yeah, no, that's wild. I never. Johnny Carson was on Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, yeah, they were so excited that he was coming over. Lou, br- Lou brought him over as a special guest, and uh, the lights went out, so you never saw him. <laughs> but I think he might have been. Um, he might have run into Sue Ann Nevins inside that apartment. <laughs> that's hysterical. Yeah. Anyways, just a little, just a little tangent flashback there. Oh my God, Ken, how many more memories are you holding back? Not, on not many. <laughs> <laughs> Not many. Bill, anything else you want to mention before we uh, we go to the cur- commercials? Uh, I saw an interesting... Th- Blake Lively, who's married to Ryan Reynolds, Love just by Blake. chance it was uh, going through Netflix, and there was this thing called The Rhythm Section, and I thought it had to do with music, so I started watching. Right. And she plays this like uh, action figure. like She's terrific with Jude Law, and uh, basically uh, her parents uh, died in a plane crash uh, with a terrorist bombing, so her brother and sister... Mm. And she's left like she is so devastated. She was a, like a brilliant student and uh, ends up as a hooker for a spell. And then she runs into this ex 
a British intelligence officer tells her the story, and then she becomes intent on finding the killers, and uh, she turns into this action star. I had no idea. I, I thought Blake Lively was basically a country singer, performer, musical director, and did all sorts of stuff. She's terrific. You know what I loved her in? Uh, a movie I watch whenever I get a chance to. She was uh, Ben Affleck's ex-girlfriend in The Town. Uh, were they, she was the one in the town. Yeah, the you know the bank. Uh, they're yes, back in Boston. That. Yeah, she was like the bank teller or something. No, no, she no, she wasn't. She was uh, she was his ex girlfriend, and she uh, she couldn't accept the fact that he had moved on and was going to split uh, in the relationship. Uh, she anyway, was, but I did, I, I never I like she's really really good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised she doesn't do more action stuff. She's yeah, terrific. Yeah. Right. Bill, you're terrific. Well, you are too. <laughs> <laughs> you hang up. <laughs> uh, we'll talk next weekend. You bet. It's eight fifty two. Let's come back with celebrations and some of our wake-up stand-up comedy after this rock marks moments in time and only one radio station has been doing it in montreal for over 50 years get your rock fix from the spirit of rock shom 97 7 hey nissan what's the word on the new 2022 kicks there's two actually best and best best and best really yep the 2022 car guy named it best buy in its category and it also has the best in-class fuel economy oh i feel another best coming on yeah right now you can lease a new 2022 kicks s for the equivalent of 62 dollars a week for only 24 months the best one of all until May 2nd, $272 a month, $1,495 down, retail value of $22,243 on approved credit details at Nissan.ca. The wealthy invest differently. Sagiri Simpson, partnered with Mandeville Private Client, preserves and creates wealth for clients by providing access to a diversified suite of public, private, and alternative investment opportunities typically reserved for the wealthy. Life is an art that knows no bounds. Plan accordingly. Mandeville Private Client Inc. is a member of the Investment Industry Regulatory Organization of Canada and a member of the Canadian Investor Protection Fund. Find everything you were looking for? I sure did. What? Oh, those are the Inspire Points. You earn them with your extra offer, just for you. That's a lot. And with this bottle, how many do I get? Huh, let's see. It's raining Inspire points at the SAQ during the Extra Offer. Check your exclusive offer on the app or with an in-store advisor. SAQ, the spirit of sharing. Must be 18 years and over. Details at SAQ.com. So, catchy ads and influencers are pushing a crypto. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. So, here's a crypto investment opportunity from a person or platform that's not registered with the AMF. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. Hi, I'm Dr. Harina. I have a vision. It is to improve yours. I opened Harina Optometrist to redefine the optometry experience with top-tier, patient-centered care, trusted for the entire family. We use state-of-the-art AI technology for faster, more accurate diagnostics and only use superior quality lenses like Essilor for clearer vision. I'm Dr. Harina, and I guarantee that you will see the difference. Harina Optometrist, Rockland Center. Book today at harina.ca or call 514 harina one No, 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 don't open the... Oh, garage door. No more space in your garage? The solution. Cavanaugh Fontaine. CTV's Domino Masters, the competition series you can't help falling for. Eric Stone Street hosts Domino Masters. All new Wednesday at 9, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. Grabbed a couple from the mailbag for today, April 17th. By the way, the email address for your celebrations. Uh, celebrations at cjad800.com. Try to get them in by 5 a.m. the morning of, if, uh, if that's the case for you. That's when we can grab them. Uh, who do I have here? Oh, happy birthday going out to Jim Shepard. And uh, the age is mentioned, so that's okay if we mention 81 years young. Jim, uh, happy birthday from all of us here at CJAD 800. Another one for the 17th. It's from Robin, one of our regular uh, callers and listeners for the trivia show. Uh, Robin is sending in a birthday wish for, uh, oh, Dylan. 
Happy ninth birthday, Dylan. Uh, oh, I hope you enjoy your special day. You're a superstar. Dylan Schick, I believe the family name is. Uh, all the best, Dylan. Terrific. What a great age. What a great age to be nine. Some celebrities having a birthday today. Who can I mention here on this April 17th? Um, actor Sean Bean is turning 63 years old today. Singer Liz Fair is 55. We just mentioned Ben Affleck a couple minutes ago. Um, actress Jennifer Garner, his ex-wife, uh, is turning 50 years old today. Victoria Beckham, 48. And uh, I think that's it for the Yes, Love list. We have time for maybe a comedy clip or two. Uh, wake up stand-up comedy. Um, you know, let's start with uh, Gary Goldman, if you don't mind. Gary Goldman on how much he loves ice cream. Why is it so hard to get out of bed? I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Because the thing that they don't tell you growing up about life is this. Life, hmm, it's every single day. <laughs> every single day you have to wake up and live and go through all the maintenance and the upkeep and, oh, I can't wait to have a caregiver. <laughs> The thing that gets me through, though, is donuts and ice cream. I love ice cream, but I have this thing where I have to... I don't want to eat the entire pint, so I say just eat half the pint. But then when I get halfway through, I have this compulsion where I need to leave a flat surface. (laughs) Who who am I leaving the flat surface? For the day crew? But I I find myself eating it flat. I eat more and then I'll come across a chocolate chunk and I'll have to excavate that. And then there's a pothole, I gotta smooth that over. I'm doing all this ice cream masonry work and then, then it starts to melt around the edges and that's delicious so I have to eat that. And before I know it, I've hit bottom. Literally and figuratively, I've hit bottom. And I just, I finish the ice cream, and I put the fork down. (laughs) More often than not, I use a fork to eat ice cream. Because my policy is, I'm not washing a spoon until I'm all out of forks. (laughs) And people say, why don't you just wash a spoon? (laughs) Ha! Why don't I shower? (laughs) Ha! Gary Goldman. Love him. Love him. Our wake up stand up comedy for you. We had time for one. What we do have time for between nine and noon is three hours of fun. And uh, with your participation, it's the Sunday morning trivia show. We have six, count of six great prizes to give away slingshot round, showdown round, uh, Dr. Joe. Uh, we've got a great audio quiz to kick things off in the first hour. And um, yeah, a lot of phone calls, a lot of fun, and a lot of questions. Uh, Dan Laxer is ready to go. Hope you are too. Spend some time with us. Drop by anytime between 9 and noon with the Sunday Morning Trivia Show. is coming up right after the news. This newscast brought to you by ADP. Data-driven insights for better HR, time, talent, benefits, and payroll solutions for your business. Visit ADP.ca. Good morning. It's 9 o'clock. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's 2 degrees right now. Your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news right now. A shooting in Little Italy results in Montreal's seventh murder. Eastern Quebec struggling against the sixth wave of COVID. And the latest chapter in the battle between Quebec and Ottawa over caribou in the province. First, though, with the latest from the CJD 800 Traffic Center, good morning, Mark Shaloub. Good morning, Don, and it's a beautiful one out there. Sunglasses would be a good idea as you head out for the drive on this Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, happy Passover to you and yours listening. And we do have a 20 eastbound closure through Ville St. Pierre. You can get off at First Ave instead of doing the doubling back process off the 138 at Clema. A little faster, 20 west through Ville St. Pierre. You have the exit closed for the Mercier Bridge. Curl back at First Ave. And there's also a lane closed through VSP on the westbound 20 until Tuesday morning in both directions. Those closures are in effect. And you're also working with the outbound Champlain Bridge with two fewer lanes until noon.
at the latest. Spring has officially arrived. Drive into Mr. Lube, conveniently located in your local Walmart for same-day tire service. No appointment needed, only at Mr. Lube. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJA D800 and next at 915. In the news, a 46-year-old man was killed in Little Italy last night. Police spokesperson Gabriela Joachim says police were called to the corner of Saint Laurent and Jean Talon over a report of gunfire just before 11 p.m. Once on site, police officers found the victim, a man 46 years old, suffering from gunshot wounds uh, to his upper body. The victim was transported to the hospital. Doctors worked to save the man's life, but he was pronounced dead this morning, marking Montreal's seventh murder of 2022. Police also responded to gunshots in Rivière des Prairies last night, but no victim was found or reported in that case. While the sixth wave of COVID is hitting Quebec hard as a whole, the eastern part of the province is weathering a particularly heavy storm. Bas Saint Laurent, Gaspésie, Ile de la Madeleine, and Côte Nord have become the epicenter of the pandemic in Quebec. In Bas Saint Laurent alone, 17 people have died within the last two weeks, along with 75 people in hospital when there are a maximum of 70 beds ready. Some virologists believe that these regions are being hit harder due in part to getting through the fifth wave with fewer cases than regions like Montreal, meaning they potentially have less immunity built up. Experts say Ottawa's recent ultimatum to Quebec concerning caribou protection is a warning to provinces that aren't upholding their responsibility to protect wildlife. Federal Environment Minister Stephen Guibault has given the Quebec government until April 20th to provide him with its plan to protect its declining caribou population and their habitat. If the plan is deemed insufficient, Guibault says he'll recommend Cabinet issue a decree protecting portions of the animal's habitat in Quebec, regardless of the province's objections. Rachel Plotkin, a caribou expert with the David Suzuki Foundation, says the ultimatum signals that after years of playing nice, Ottawa is now ready to get tough with provinces that aren't upholding their responsibility responsibility to protect wildlife. Steve Henniger, the Canadian Press. Evacuation orders for close to 5,000 people are still in place as firefighters battle a deadly blaze in New Mexico. Jim and Pamela Melton evacuated on short notice and barely got away before the flames destroyed their home in Rio Doso, New Mexico. We had a big, beautiful house, just nice. We had it just the way we wanted it, mm. but c'est la vie. Gary Gross also lost his home. We've been running this hard marathon for 15 years, and then when we finally get to the end, it's the starting line. Julia Morales with the River Crossing Ministry says she saw the flames sweep through the area. First day, we watched several houses burn to the ground from our backyard. It was just devastating. Morales and others are working to help families who lost their homes. Todd Ant, ABC News. And one furry senior citizen has earned a world record. Florida Chihuahua Toby Keith was named the world's oldest living dog at 21 years old. Gisela Shore says she adopted him as a puppy when he was named Peanut Butter. She says people are consistently surprised by Toby's age, saying how good the pup looks, especially considering his breed usually lives about 12 to 18 years. The secret to long life seems to be chasing squirrels and changing your name to that of a country music singer. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at CJAD800. And now your Dormevu Weather Center forecast. We've got a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7. Skies will be clearing tonight with an overnight low of minus 3. But warming up a bit tomorrow for a sunny day with a high of 10. Though watch out for an early morning wind chill of minus 7. It's 2 degrees downtown right now. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is coming at 930 Still smell like baloney. Here's another one for you. I'm tired of waking up tired. Mm -hmm. Waking up tired. Yeah, I'm waking up tired. That's a two part question. I don't answer those. Not so hard. And he isn't doing as well today. Mm -hmm. You have so many aspects you can mock. He's a tall drink of annoying. Man, those are ugly kittens. Mm -hmm. You delight me. Mm -hmm.
It's Easter, Passover, and Ramadan all together, Dan. Yep. First time that's happened in 33 years. That's quite the harmonic convergence. Kind of gives you shivers, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it is cold in here. Can you turn up the heat? Sure thing, Ken. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the CJA D800 Trivia Show. I'm Ken Connors. And I'm Dan Laxer. On today's show, Passover and Easter, Stan Lee, Zoe Kravitz, and pizza. What fashion trend was started by tennis? What did McDonald's do to win back customers? And what made CB slang so popular? Plus, we have a brand new brain buster. Dr. Joe's brain fry. The showdown and the slingshot. First, let's hit you up with the audio quiz. Before I get to that, I always feel badly when I forget to mention a birthday. And uh, I just, uh, it just slipped my mind before the 9 o'clock news. So I'm doing a make good. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. It says, stop the show, Ken. Daniel Ackerman is 30 years old today. Nice. I uh, love her his sisters Jessica and Stephanie and Mama Viva and Dad Harold. Right on. Happy birthday, Daniel. The big 3 Right? If there's someone you need to talk to, we're here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days. Dan, uh, earlier this morning, uh, we had an interview with a um, Canadian history um, teacher. The fact that uh, this is the 40th anniversary of the um, the brand new constitution or the amended constitution, which included the uh, Charter of uh, Rights and Freedoms. Yes. Right. So I thought on that note, always looking for a theme and a reason for a theme with the audio quiz. And so uh, we're going to play little song snippets that have references to f- being free or freedom. Oh, I like it. All right. Yeah. References to being free or freedom. It's easy. Oh, nice prize. How about how about seventy dollars in a gift card? I love the gift card to Burger DeVille. Yes. Nice prize. Right there. We're ready to go. we got David and uh, Ben in Master Control to handle the prizes and the board. So the audio quiz. Song snippets. Identify the songs. All have references to free or freedom like this. It's crazy about Elvis. Oh, there's a gimme. Yeah, absolutely. Is that a gimme? Uh, For me, it is. Uh, 514-790-0800. Right out of the gate, it's our friend Brian in Pancor. Hi, hey Brian. Guys. How's it going? Good. Thanks for the easy one to start it off. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's Free Falling by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually Free Fall In with an apostrophe. But... Yeah, F-A-L-L-I-N. Yeah, yeah. Free Fallin'. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> during the uh, video era, there was a great video for that. Wasn't there a girl skateboarding in slow motion? No? Yeah, Remember, maybe. Does that maybe. sound familiar, Brian? No? It does, yes. Yeah. I think you're, yeah. I think yeah. you're right. Yeah. Because right. it was, I think it was filmed in L.A., so... Oh, yeah. Uh, Free Fall and Tom Petty. Um, Brian, nicely done. Uh, Good start to the uh, hour. Thank you. Okay. Don't don't hang up, okay? Okay. All right. So there, yeah, Free Fall and Tom Petty. All right. Here's number two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that song. (laughs) What a great groove. What was that line in that song I liked? Um, When I found out which side the bread was buttered, I took the knife as well. (laughs) (laughs) Great line. All right. Play it one more time, Ben. Yeah, all these are song snippets that we want you to identify have references to being free or freedom. Let's go to John and Anju. Hiya, John. Morning, guys. How are you? Awesome. John, you, uh, you always get these musical ones. You know it. Yeah, it's George Michael. Yeah, and? Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, yeah a great song. Great song. Uh, John, nicely done. You're in, the, you're in for the burgers at Burger DeVille. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Happy Easter. You too. Cheers. All Back right. at you. All right. Uh, numéro trois. Freedom. Oh, freedom. Yeah. Right there in the fields, eh? Right. Right in the fields. One of the best ever written. Go ahead. Freedom. Oh, freedom. Who is that? Uh, what song is that? 514-790-0800. Out to St. Lazar for Lucy. Morning. Good morning. Hmm. How are you? I'm great, thank you. I just didn't hear the song. Oh, oh. Can I hear it again? Yes. Yes. Freedom. Oh, freedom. All the songs, Lucy, have to do with being free or freedom. I didn't get that one. I had the first one, though. Yeah, you had the Tom Petty, Free Fallen? That's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's more on the way. You'll call back. Absolutely. Thank you very thank much. You. Have a great day. You too. Uh, we go to Morgan. Hello, Morgan. Yeah, hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, Good. hey, you sound like a DJ from the 70s. Hey, hi, <laughs> hey, how you what doing? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I know it while it's on the tip of my tongue, and I can't, the brain isn't pulling up the uh, file right I now. I know. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, Have a good day, guys. You too. I'll call back. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. 
Uh, we go to Sailor Raw for Paula. Hi, Paula. Hey, Paula. Hi, how are you? Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Uh, I think that's the Eagle, Desperado. Des- yes, of course. Sing a little bit of it, Paula. Go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't want me to do that. Desperado. I just remember that part there. <laughs> Paula, you're in the draw for the Burger DeVille certificate. Yay, wonderful. Thank you, and happy holidays to both of you. Mm-hmm. Happy Easter, happy uh, Passover. And to you. Thank you. you, know, put, you put, your, put her on hold. Always nice to hear from Paula. Uh, we have time for another one. Let's go. Hello. Man. <laughs> Going through my list of 45s today. <laughs> um, what song is that? It has to do with freedom. Freedom. What's the Billie Jean King tie into that song? Is there a Billie Jean King tie into that to song? To that song? Yeah. No? I'm barking up the wrong Is tree. that where she's from, maybe? I don't know. I'm telling you. It's all scattered up there. You don't want, <laughs> you don't want to go in there. You don't want to go in there. It's you a, have, it's a you mess. have a mind palace like Sherlock Holmes. It's just messy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, yeah. I got to clean that up. I got to tidy up. <laughs> I got to pass the vacuum. Uh, play it one more time. For $70, courtesy of the good people at Burger DeVille. You know Burger DeVille, don't you? It's on our regular route through Montreal West. It's where we eat often. Hello to Retta and the team at uh, Burger DeVille. So what's your order when you go there? I always get the same thing because I'm boring. A uh, bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, first of all, there's poppy seeds on the bun. And I could be totally wrong. I think they put butter on the hamburger bun. It is so good. You get the spicy mayo with the fries. Nice, nice. All right, um, let's go back to the phone. This is Danny in LaSalle. Hi, yeah, Danny. Hey, guys, how's it going? Good, man. Danny, tell me uh, the name of that song, please. Uh, Philadelphia Freedom by Elton John. Elton yeah. John. It, on, on the record, it always said the Elton John Band. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and on the flip side of that, 45, it was John Lennon and him doing yes. uh, Saw Her Standing There. That's right. Is that right? Yeah, because yeah. he appeared live with oh, the Lennon yeah. band. Oh, right? so it was a live version. Yeah. Very yeah, good yeah. version of it, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he but... said, this song's written by an old fiancé of mine That's called right. Paul. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Danny, nicely done. Uh, don't hang up. we got some burgers uh, as a possibility for you, all right? Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, 9.13. Here's a new one. I mean, nothing, hun, if it ain't oh. free. Nothing if it ain't free. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just yesterday, I was showing my daughter a video of Montreal's Angel Forest singing that. Oh. Did you post a photo this week of your daughter with a guitar uh, yeah. strapped on? Uh, that looked great. Yeah. 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 Um, was she playing something in particular? Uh, in the picture, she was probably playing a Greta Van Fleet song okay. of some kind. Right, yeah. Nice. Uh, play that one more time. I mean, nothing, hun, if it ain't free. Out to Vaudreuil, beautiful Vaudreuil. Hi, Karen. Hi. Hello. How are you? You're Amazing. We're great. Happy Easter. <laughs> yes, happy Easter. Uh, do you know the song? Um, so I had my radio on, and I'm listening to you guys at the same time, so I'm having a hard time. So can I hear it again? You certainly can. Listen, here it comes. I mean, nothing, hun, if it ain't free. We need the song okay. titles. They all have to do with freedom or being free. So it's me and Bobby McGee. Yeah. And I'm thinking it's Janis Joplin. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah, you're thinking. Yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is Janis. Yeah, that great voice of her, me and Bobby McGee, yeah. written by Dan Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson. Yeah, freedom's oh, just another word for nothing left to lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. perfect. All right, Karen. Uh, what are you doing today? Are you celebrating? Anyone coming over? Uh, yeah, the kids are coming over, and uh, we're gonna try out our new smoker. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. So we're we're going a completely different recipe today, chicken and ribs. Oh good, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You might have, you might have a few neighbors ringing the doorbell too. Yeah, I think <laughs> so actually. Yeah. Our next door neighbor already mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, don't hang up. Thanks for listening. We're going to put you in the draw for those burgers at Burger DeVille. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's 9:15. Going to come right back with more on the audio quiz and uh, also this hour. I'm sure we'll have time. We'll make time for the starters and the brain buster. Don't you go anywhere. Let's check in with Mark Shaloub. Hi, Mark. Hey there, Ken. Good morning, Dan. And we have ourselves a good drive out there. No stalls, no accidents. Outbound Champlain Bridge is looking at a two-lane closure until noon at the latest. You're allowed to use the reserve lane until this work wraps up. Over at the Victoria Bridge, it's coming to Montreal with the one-way traffic until 1.30. Then they'll flip it around and allow you to go to St. Albert. This is in effect until September. 20 east through Ville-Saint-Pierre. Boarded up until Tuesday morning. Get off at first 
Ave instead of doubling back at the 138's Claremont exit and entrance. And westbound 20 through VSP, one out of two lanes closed along with the exit for the Mercier Bridge, the new 2022 Mazda CX-5 Signature Edition Sport Design and Curl Edition with fuel, efficient Skyactiv technology and standard all-wheel drive are waiting at your Mazda dealer today. Your next report at 930. When a story needs to be told, when you need to be heard, reach out to CJAD 800 and let us do the talking. Tell us about it through your story at CJAD800.com. Because we're listening to the voice of the community, the voice of Montreal, CJAD 800. You can create a happier, healthier lifestyle for you and your family. Montréal en Santé, in partnership with the MUHC, is Quebec's only bilingual health and wellness magazine, giving you breaking medical news and stories that will help you live a more active, healthy lifestyle. Look for Valerie Plant, mayor of Montreal, on the front cover. You can pick up your free copy of Montréal en Santé magazine at pharmacies, grocery stores, and health food chains island-wide. Or read us online at montréalensanté.com. Montréal en Santé magazine, your guide to living well. In life, there are the adventurers and the homebodies, extroverts and introverts, creatives and scientists, the urbanites and the nature lovers, the loners and those who ride with the gang. And then there are those who are a bit of all of these at once. For every lifestyle and personality, there's a Ford Escape, Edge, or Explorer. Bring on the future now. Visit your local Ford retailer to discover the new 2022 Ford SUVs. Finally, it's spring, when we can come out of hiding to start living again and loving every moment. With Clipmasin, book your place in the sun today by saving the equivalent of both taxes on our gorgeous garden furniture collection and our above-ground pools. The best part is that it'll be installed and ready to enjoy before the first day of summer, guaranteed. Clipmasin, it's us time. From becoming your own boss. Okay, okay. You're awesome. You can do this. To leading a growing company. Together, we can do this. Desjardin Business is with you every step of the way. From expanding your first facility to building your third warehouse. Desjardin Business is with you every step of the way. You have a renovation project, but you don't know where to start? I recommend Reno Assistance by Desjardins. A renovation advisor will assist you and provide up to three quotes from verified contractors. All this at no cost or obligation. Your only challenge is to remember what I just said. To help you, I'll sing it. La la la. <clears throat> Reno Assistance, Reno Assistance .ca. I'm not a singer, and you probably figured that out. Anything else, ma'am? Yes, I'd like to know how senior tax credits work. I don't really know anything about your taxes. But we've got a senior's discount on Tuesdays. When it comes to your taxes, the best answers come from Revenu Quebec. Visit fairforall.ca. A message from Revenu Quebec. It's the end of a wonderful day. You leave the office, which also happens to be your kid's playroom, and fill a pot of water. You contemplate the idea of a glass of wine. So what if it's Tuesday? You push the button on your gas range down. Click, click, click. The flame leaps up. Another night of pasta and butter. Everything seems better when you're living your dream. And thanks to savings of up to $2,100 on Bosch kitchen appliance packages, it's all within reach. Germaine La Riviere. Appliances, furniture, and mattresses. The heart, the mind, and the Toyota RAV4. Heart, the RAV4's many power options must have you all pumped up. You know it, mind. The kick sensor power back door, clunk, it opens by itself. The power moonroof, the power heated front seats. I'm so happy, it tingles. You also have the power to control your emotions. Yes, of course I can control my... No, no, I can't. I'm way too excited. Heart or mind, order your RAV4 during Toyota's Red Tag Days. Calls, questions, conversation, and great music. 
the Sunday Morning Trivia Show on CJAD 800. Everyone sing along. Excuse me, Don Henley and the Eagles and uh, Desperado. First song that he and Glenn Fry ever sat down and wrote together. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. In a house they had rented up on Laurel Canyon. Nice. Outside of L.A. See, uh, you play that and you go, see, that's how you write a song. There you go. There you go. And Linda Ronsat sang it, I think, for a while. I think she had a version of it. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so all the songs have to do with freedom that we're asking you to identify. And up for grabs uh, this hour in the first hour with the audio quiz is a $70 certificate for Burger DeVille. They've got three locations for you. Montreal West on the main Boulevard St. Laurent and uh, Jerry East right around the Ville d'Anjou there. Mm-hmm. You can uh, check them out at Burger DeVille. Dot com. All right. Where are we? Have a, do we have a new one? I think we have a new one, right? Oh, I fire it. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow. Oh, play more. Play I want, more. I want to hear your daughter do that on the guitar. <laughs> get, her, get her to play that. Uh, go ahead. One more time. What song is that? 514-790-0800. Um, let me go to uh, Helena. Hello, Helena. Hi, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Um, I don't. I really don't know what song that is. No, sorry. Did you know some of the other ones, though? Yeah. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Murphy's Law. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Murphy's Law. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for calling Listen, in, though. Have a good time. You, you too. too. Bye now. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, our friend Anthony's on the line. Hello, Anthony. Hey guys, how are you? Awesome. Okay. Okay. This one is uh, Free Ride, Edgar Winter. Yes, yeah, Edgar of course. Winter Group. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Edgar Winter is coming to Montreal uh, with that Ringo Starr All Star Band. Oh, my, really? Yeah, yeah, in September at Place Bell. I think yeah. I have that right. Someone double check on it. Yeah, <laughs> so, good uh, uh, incarnations of that uh, on, on DVD. Oh, yeah, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Fra- Frank- uh, Frankenstein. Mm hmm. With uh, Sheila E on drums. Oh wow, that's yeah. got to be awesome. That was awesome. I, uh, I think it's YouTubeable. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, hang on, I'm going to test Dan with a trivia question live here on the spot. You ready? Uh oh, Dan, who's who's the lead vocal on uh, Free Ride? You mean it's not Edgar Winter? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Saying, it's Dan Hartman. Are you kidding Remember me? Dan Hartman, I Can Dream About You? Absolutely. Yeah. He, yeah. yeah, he was part of the Edgar Winter Group, so he's singing lead. He wrote that song, I think. W- what? Yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I wasn't <laughs> even aware of that. <laughs> now, now, I really, now I'm really doubting myself. I, I, I <laughs> wow. Uh, Anthony, you're in the draw for the burgers. That's super. I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Thank you. All right, here's a new one. People suffer in the feet. Yeah, man. I sang that with a band once. Not, did you really? Yeah. Not singing for Bud. Did you ever sing at one of our Christmas parties? No. Back in the day? Were you ever in a Christmas, a band at one of our Christmas parties? Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> uh, it was me, yeah. uh, Kat, Debbie, and I forget who else, and we sang Still the One I Love. It was right after the ice storm. Still the One I Love? Yeah. Shania Twain? Yeah, that's right. All right. Oh. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I totally forgot about from that. From our days on Fort Street, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. I must have been really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you sound great, though. <laughs> uh, 514-790-0800. One more time. Sure. Uh, do the Harlem Shuffle. Carmelo, hi. Hi, hi, hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, is it uh, Neil Young walking in the free world? Sorry, did you say walking? No, rocking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> rocking. <laughs> rocking in the free world, yeah. Yeah, yeah rocking and walking. Uh, Years later, he said, ah, I'm going for a walk in the free world. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, be back. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not back in half an hour, come and get me. Yeah. Carmelo, nicely done. You're in the draw. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening. I'll put you on hold. Don't hang up, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, another one. Set me free, why don't you, babe? Set me free, why don't you, babe? What song is that? All the songs have to do with the freedom or being free, and we're kind of tying it into the fact that today's the 40th anniversary of the Charter and Rights and Freedom uh, Freedoms in the Canadian Constitution. Yep. Signed April 17th, 1982, with uh, then-Prime Minister uh, Trudeau. Yep. And the Queen. That's right. She had on a tasteful hat with a matching purse. <laughs> She'd, yeah. So did he. <laughs> <laughs> Could have called before we showed up together in the same outfit, but no. Uh, hi, Michael. Hi, Ken. Hi, Dan. Hello. Hello. Uh, this will show you my age, but uh, the version of Vanilla Fudge of this song is excellent. But it's, yes. it keeps me hanging on. Yeah, the Supremes. Diner yeah. Ross. Yeah, the Diner and yeah. the Supremes, yeah. I do yeah. like the Vanilla Fudge version, though. That's awesome. <laughs> so do I. The thing is, it was the 70s, and when they would do that song in concert, Vanilla Fudge, they would all wear the sequin gowns that the Supremes wore. <laughs> <laughs> as a tribute, as a nod to Motown. <laughs> Uh, Michael, uh, very good. So you're in the draw for the Burger DeVille gift card. Great. Thank you, Ken. Thank you. I'm going to put you on hold. Thank you for listening. All right. We're 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 just motoring through these, eh? Is there like one left? Three. Crap. <laughs> Tell a story. Uh, no, Once I'm, upon I'm, just, a time. I'm just kidding. And then in grade four, I met Lucy. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. What a lovely, lovely world is to be. Oh. Mm. You got me there. Oh, yeah. There's the roadblock we were hoping for. Uh, 514-790-0800. All the songs have to do with free or being freedom. They make references to it. Uh, what song is this? Go ahead. What a lovely, lovely world is to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's say hi to Annie out in La Prairie. Well, hi, Annie. Hi, how are you? Good. We're good. Dan's back in the studio. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Great story, can you Ken. play it again? <laughs> yes, we can. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead. One more time. Something to do with free mm-hmm. freedom. Does it sound familiar at all? Uh, maybe. Could it be a Lonely Boy by Andrew Gold? A Lonely Boy by Andrew Gold. No, it's not. That's it's, no. no. Oh, I don't sorry. know that song. All right. Okay. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, this is Mark out in Pierre Fon. Hey, good morning. Happy Easter and happy Passover to you both. Right. Same to you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. First time caller, listening to you for years, and I known every single one of them not this one right <laughs> that's fine how far back do you go with the trivia show mark oh well i just turned 61 the other day i've probably been listening for 40 years wow so almost since day one almost almost yeah. but it's a wonderful show to listen to and on a sunday morning you guys do a great job oh thank you so much oh, thanks mark appreciate that thanks for calling I'll in call back when i know actually what it is <laughs> okay all right well bye now uh let's uh, move on to paul and laval hi paul I'm pretty much stumped on this one. I'll take a, a guess. Sam Cook. Uh, no, it's a good guess. Interesting, though. Yeah. interesting guess. Uh, no, thank you, Paul. Okay, thank you. One, okay, more, one more time, Ben. Lovely, lovely world is to be. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, ben, do you mind if I talk to Ben in Italian for a second? By yeah, again, <laughs> it's a line out of The Godfather. <laughs> yeah, Ben, if you don't mind, I'm going to speak to Michael in Italian. Uh, do you need me to stop now for a commercial break? All right. Yeah. So we'll do a little uh, commercial break news and then come back wrap up the audio quiz uh, give away this burger deville certificate and then go through the starters and the brain buster hey nissan what's the word on the new 2022 kicks there's two actually best and best best and best really yep the 2022 car guy named it best buy in its category and it also has the best in-class fuel economy oh i feel another best coming on yeah right now you can lease a new 2022 kicks s for the equivalent of 62 dollars a week for only 24 months the best one of all until May 2nd, $272 a month, $1,495 down, retail value of $22,243. On approved credit, details at Nissan.ca. This newscast brought to you by Harina Optometrist. Top three rated, Dr. Harina. Trusted, Dr. Harina. Premium care, show-stopping eyewear. Harina Optometrist, Rockland Center, Harina.ca. Good morning, it's 9.30, I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. Here's what's making news right now. Quebec's police watchdog is investigating an incident involving St. Jerome Police. The BEI says police were investigating a report of a stolen car and ended up pursuing someone on Highway 15 before that driver crashed into another car. The crash and resulting fires killed the fleeing driver and a passenger in the car that was hit. 
Russia is now demanding Ukrainian forces fighting in Mariupol surrender. Russian state media RIA is reporting that all Ukrainian forces must exit without any of their weapons or ammo. Moscow is claiming they have all but taken control of the city, though that has not been confirmed at this point. And with the holiday weekend here in Quebec, some things won't be open today or tomorrow. You can go to some grocery stores, pharmacies, and SAQ Expresses today, as well as retail outlets and banks tomorrow. But retail businesses, normal SAQs and banks are closed, along with Eco Centers, Canada Post, and SAAQ outlets that are shut both today and tomorrow. And now, heading over to the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. How are the roads looking, Mark? Good-looking, sleepy Sunday morning on this Easter Sunday, uh, Don, and we do not have any issues out there. Outbound Champlain will get a little busier as people perhaps head out to brunch and visit family on the south shore with a two-lane closure there until noon at the latest. You are allowed to use the reserve lane until this work wraps up, known to conclude ahead of SCED. Eastbound 20 through Ville Saint-Pierre closed through Tuesday morning, as is the westbound side in one out of two lanes along with the exit for the Mercier Bridge. Long-term closures coming up tomorrow. 13 south exit to the 520 east will be boarded up as of 9 p.m. along with the 520 east ramp to the 13 south in both cases. Those exits will remain shut until the end of June. Order of the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 now with the optional turbo diesel engine that gets 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Your next report at 945. Now your Dormevu Weather Center forecast. It's 2 degrees downtown right now. A mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7. The skies will be clearing up tonight with an overnight low of minus 3. But warming tomorrow for a sunny day and a high of 10. Though watch out for an early morning wind chill of minus 7. Your next CTV News update is coming at 10 o'clock. How Bell makes the internet better. Did you know the cheetah is the fastest mammal on earth? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet is the fastest internet technology? Well, did you know the fastest person ran 100 meters? in 9.58 seconds. Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet has total download speeds of up to 1.5 gigabits per second? You just switched to Bell, didn't you? Yep. Want to come over Friday? Definitely. Switch to Pure Fiber Internet, the fastest internet technology. Call 310-BELL or visit a Bell store to check availability. Bell. Being online just got better. Electroweight has always been an essential service. The current crisis is no exception. So, of course, they're still there for you in case of emergency. Since you're spending so much time at home with the family, the last thing you want to be doing is arguing over who's too hot, who's too cold, who needs to go get a sweater. Let Electroweight work that out. Call them at 514-333-7460. They're a Lennox Premier dealer, but they'll service your system no matter who put it in. For repairs and service, call 514-333-7460. Electroweight.com. CA. Vamos a la playa, amigos. Pack your sunscreen because Three Amigos Restaurants wants you to win an epic trip to Mexico. Register for the Three Amigos Cinco de Mayo contest at threeamigosrestaurants.com. Plus, come visit our new location in the West Island. Three Amigos. Hey, it's Elias here, and I welcome you back with Francois Mackay and Group Mackay. Francois, selling a home is easy in a seller's market. Buying a home is tricky. Why should sellers who need to sell and buy call you first? Sellers should call me first because I'll sell sell their home and find them another one within 45 days guaranteed or I'll give them $10,000 cash. You can trust François Mackay at 514-637-9755 or visit FrançoisHasTheBuyers.com. How can you be sure you're making the best choice when you're buying a car? That's easy. Just pick a Mazda. Because when you decide to experience the driving pleasure of a Mazda 3, the versatility of the Mazda CX-3, the agility of a CX-30, or the refinement of a CX-5, you're making a best pick according to the experts at Protégé Vu. You're also choosing the performance of Mazda's fuel-efficient Skyactiv engine. Get behind the wheel of a Protégé Vu best pick. Visit your Mazda dealer today. It's the hottest show on TV. Rob Lowe. Star, Canada's number one drama. Get into it all new Monday at 9 10 Mountain only on CTV. Then stream anytime.
Things we want you to identify have something to do with free or freedom. We mark the 40th anniversary of the uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms here in this country and the uh, amended Constitutional Act signed on this day back in 1982. Yeah. All right, we're trying to identify this song here. What a lovely, lovely world is to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lynn out in DDO. Hi, uh, Lynn. Hi, how you doing? Good. Can you Good. help us? Can you help us, Lynn? It's people got to be free. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. By the rascals. By the yeah. rascals. I love it. I love it. You still have your transistor radio, Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> by realistic? <laughs> I was mentioning yesterday, I played an old song by Ringo, Ringo Starr, a solo hit from the early 70s. I said, I can remember sitting on my balcony in San Lorado listening to that song on CKGM on my transistor radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to listen to CKGM on our high school bus on the way to school. Is that oh, yeah. right, eh? Yeah, what school? GMFM. What school do you go to? Uh, Laurentian Regional oh. in Lachute. Oh, very nice. With uh, the with the one earbud. We didn't earbuds. We didn't have earbuds. Yeah, no, no, but like they, it always came with one earphone. Oh right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, nicely done, and so we'll put you in the draw for the Burger Deville certificate. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to put you on hold. All right, go ahead, Ben. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. Who could that be? <laughs> who could that be? That's a yeah. Uh, one more time. <laughs> what song is that? I think we have two left. Five one four seven nine zero zero eight hundred. All the songs have to do with free or freedom. Norm. Yeah. Hello, Norm. Norm. I had that. I had that one lined up. People got to be free. Oh, right? you knew it, eh? Nineteen seventy. Young Rascals. Uh, rascals. They were still calling themselves the Young Rascals, yeah. and then they decided to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> he still uh, he still tours a little bit, though. Felix Cavalieri. Felix is, uh, yeah, his keyboard, mm. keyboard special. and uh, Grooving on a Sunday Morning. Is that their song, too? Yeah, that's right. Grooving mm. on a Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. There you yeah. go. Norm, do you, what about this one? Give it to me again, please. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, familiar voice, and of course, uh, the songs have to do with free or freedom. Well, it's Michael McDonald, yeah. and uh, I can't get the, I can't bring up the song title. Hmm. Sorry. Let's say you have a dessert, and it's just way too much sugar in it. It's just too sweet. <laughs> sweet what? Sweet freedom. Sweet freedom. Nice. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Norm, you're in the draw for the burgers. Great. Right. Great. I'm gonna put you on hold. Thank you. Uh, last one. Here's the last one. I can't change. <laughs> I want your daughter to learn the guitar solo that takes up half of that song. I will teach her. <laughs> uh, one more time, Ben. I can't change. Let me get up my lighter. Who's getting the last one here on the audio quiz? All the songs have to do with free or freedom. Uh, let us go to Charles calling from Thornhill. Hiya, Charles. Wow, Thornhill. Hi. Hi. Uh, long time listener since the 80s. Nice. 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 Uh, when I lived in Montreal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's Freebird by yeah. Leonard Skinner. It sure of is. course. Yeah. yeah. What well, part of town did you live uh, in here? Cote St. Luke. Cote St. Luke. All right. I lived in Cote St. Luke. Family, family's still there coming in this weekend. Oh, good. Chance to eat those Burger de Ville. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, Charles, nicely done. You got the last one, so don't hang up, okay? Sure. Thank you. I'm going to put him on hold. You used to live in Cote St. Luke? Uh, yeah, we're, we were um, we had, uh, we're in between homes. We had uh, sold the uh, condo on Nuns Island, and we yeah. had our uh, house uh, getting ready for us in St. Laurent. I went back to St. Laurent, where I was born and raised. And so um, we uh, we spent about eight months uh, living on uh, Hudson Road in Cote St. Luke. Oh, yeah, down right by, on. Down by the uh, tracks. Okay, so yeah, on the other side. Yeah, the other side. I was born and raised in Cote St. Luke. What street? Smart. Where's that? It's two streets away from Hudson. So Hudson, Wolseley, Smart. All right. Uh, were you living there in the early 90s? Uh, n- <laughs> yes. Really, I could have yeah. came over. Absolutely. All right. I think I was. I think I was there in nineteen ninety three. Yeah. But when I say because there's lots of train tracks, so which what was the cross street? Uh, Hudson and <laughs> <laughs> we weren't far from Westminster. So, uh, Kildare, Mackle, Kildare, Guelph. <laughs> 
Mackle. Come on. Yeah. You were literally around the corner from me. <sighs> I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two ships that passed in the night. David trying to do is going to put all those names of qualifiers into the hat and uh, draw a name. We'll have that for you after 10 o'clock and give away the Burger DeVille certificate. Can we go through some uh, starters? No. No. <laughs> how, about, how about starting with the Brain Buster? Yes. Brand new Brain Buster. Bre- brain Buster. Uh-huh. Brain Buster. Uh-huh. And it goes like this. An antelope doesn't need antelope to run fast. Hmm. What? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> The Brain Buster, there you go. Uh, 514-790-0800. So it's a brand new one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, And what, we got four weeks out of the last one? Yeah, it was Colonel Sanders. That's right, Colonel Sanders. All right. It's 942. Um, Try this on for size. If you're hired to walk around in an Easter Bunny costume, what must you not do to give away the illusion? Right. Um, The 1980s were rife with all kinds of fashion trends, some of which have stood the test of time and some of which have become laughing stocks. Um, Which one was inspired by tennis? In 1962, some McDonald's locations saw a drop off in business. What did they do to bring the customers back? CB radios and the police slang they engendered have been around since the 1940s. But usage... um, I wrote a word here, and I don't know why. But usage boomed in the 1970s <laughs> among truckers, of course. What made truckers start using CBs and CB slang so widely? You were so close. It was right? K-L-M. I don't even know if I meant boomed. <laughs> well, it's too late. <laughs> uh, Left over from last week, in the wake of uh, the COVID pandemic, how are some governments attempting to prevent the spread of disease like the Zika virus and others? Right on. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so uh, let me go through these again. The 1980s were rife with all kinds of fashion trends, some of which have stood the test of time, and some of which have become laughing stocks. Which one was inspired by tennis? If you are hired to walk around in an Easter Bunny costume, what must you do to not give away the illusion? Mm-hmm. CB radios and the police slang they uh, engendered have been around since the 1940s, but usage boomed in the 1970s among truckers, of course. What made truckers start using CBs and CB slang so widely? And this one goes back to 1962. Some McDonald's locations saw a drop-off in business. What did they do to bring customers back? Do you mean bidneth? Bidneth. All right. Uh, Get that brain buster handy. Laura wants a crack at it. Hiya, Laura. Hi, good morning. How are we doing today? Awesome. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you guys as well. Thank you. Calling to answer the brain buster. An antelope doesn't need antelope to run fast. I was calling for the Easter bunny one. Oh, that's a (laughs) starter question. That's a starter question. Oh, that's a starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the answer? Um, Yeah. What do you think? I do not know. No, no, but for the the one you called. Oh, to walk. What? You mustn't walk. You must hop. Well, then how do you get around from one place to another? Oh, you have to hop. You have to hop <laughs> to give away the illusion. Interesting. Oh, interesting guess. Yeah, but incorrect. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Laura. You too. Bye. If you're hired to walk around in an Easter Bunny costume, what must you uh, not do uh, so you don't give away the illusion? Yeah. I'd be like, I'm not hopping. <laughs> it's not my contract. I have a right here. Right. No hopping clause. Uh, you know who wants to call in for the tennis question is Bernie. Hiya, Bernie. Hi. Out in Il Perot, beautiful part of the, um, the, um, the Greater uh, Montreal area. Bernie, what do you think about this tennis question? I think it's the headband. The headbands? Don't you love the headbands? <laughs> Not really, but yeah. I think it's the headband. Uh, what I love is when, like, a bald guy like me wears a headband. <laughs> 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 Uh, but no, it's not the headband. Thanks, uh, Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. All right. Take Bye now. But yeah. remember, Springsteen used to wear one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. Uh, yeah, that didn't last. Uh, Nine forty-five. Get to traffic here and uh, get back to the starters and your phone calls. Five one four seven nine zero zero eight hundred. Mark Shalhoub. Good morning. 
Good morning, Ken. We have a good-looking drive out there on this Easter Sunday. Up on Champlain Bridge, you need to know the two left lanes are closed for REM work until noon at the latest. You are permitted to use the reserve lane until this all wraps up, and they've been known to finish up ahead of schedule. 20 east between the exit and the entrance at Ville St. Pierre, a full closure. It's fluid through there, so uh, it won't cost you that much time. You can always even get off at First Ave, which is always my recommendation, and get back on after the Ville St. Pierre interchange. Westbound 20, one lane closed through Ville St. Pierre with the exit for the Mercier Bridge also boarded up until Tuesday morning. You can curl back at First Ave. Canadian Tires, Big Spring Tire Sale is on until April 28th. Save up to 25% on select top brands like Michelin, Pirelli, and more. Conditions apply. Details online. Let us know what you see on the roads. Calling your tips to Star 800. Your next report at 10 o'clock. Hit music lives on Virgin Radio, home of the biggest artists. Boost your mood with Montreal's number one hit music station, 95.9 Virgin Radio. From the world's first high mileage motor oil to the world's first synthetic blend. Trust your car to Valvoline. The original motor oil. I asked my Mopar service expert today to check all the boxes. Oil change, check. Tire rotation, check. Brake inspection, check. Free. Cha-ching! It's the all-in spring event. Purchase our peace of mind maintenance service with a 50-point inspection, including the brakes. Plus, get $10 off a synthetic oil change when you sign up for Mopar exclusives. And when you buy three tires, you get the fourth free. See your Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer for details. We built it. We know it. Everyone loves Italian food, and you can bring delicious and authentic Italian food home from Restaurant Di Menna. They've been serving the East End's best Italian dishes since 1971. Order your favorites for delivery or counter pickup. Or better yet, load up your freezer with Di Menna's restaurant-quality frozen meals, Di Menna's famous Montreal-style pizzas, or lasagnas, pastas, sauces, and more to make dinner easy and delicious. Visit dimenna.com to see the full menu today. Restaurant Di Menna, your new favorite Italian restaurant in St. Leonard. The MUHC Foundation and CJAD 800 present Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, featuring the health experts who are transforming medicine and the patients whose lives they have changed. This week on Health Matters, it sounds like it's right out of a science fiction book. Learn about the innovative Heart in a Dish research project and the patients who are benefiting. Health Matters, today at noon on CJAD 800. Looking for bold series with Hollywood A-listers? It's here on Stars This April, Academy Award winners Julia Roberts and Sean Penn star in the political drama Gaslit. Y'all gonna just stand around or you wanna ask me some questions? And Emmy nominee Courtney Cox leads the horror comedy Shining Veil. I'm possessed. Stars also has the biggest movies like Walk the Line with Oscars Best and Joaquin Phoenix. I'm Johnny Cash. Subscribe at stars.ca. Also available on Crave. Switching your car and home insurance to Bel Air Direct with an online quote could save you up to $500. So you can get up to 30 days of takeout or maybe up to four different streaming services or even up to half a laptop. It's 500. It's up to you. Bel Air Direct. Conditions apply. Being vaccinated against COVID-19 doesn't protect you from this. Or this. Mom, what's for dinner? Not this. This. And it's looking like rain, rain, and more rain for this weekend. This. Or even this. Your call is important to us. Please hold. But being vaccinated does protect you from the virus. Vaccination is still your best form of protection. A message from the Gouvernement du Québec. Finally, it's spring. When we can come out of hiding to start living again. And loving every moment. With Clip Pacin, book your place in the sun today by choosing from a wide selection of hot tubs in stock and ready for delivery by early May. Plus, for a limited time, save $1,000 on all jacuzzi hot tubs, the most renowned brand in the world. Clip Pacin, it's us time. CTV's The Good Doctor is all new Monday. Change is pushing the team to the edge. I can't trust you. Get into an all-new episode of The Good Doctor. Monday at 10, only on CTV. Then stream anytime.
could day. be. Maybe at Mix 96. Yeah, uh, yeah. I used to like Kim Wilde. Kim Wilde. I think I got that name right. Kids in America? Is that her? Hmm. Could, the be. Kids in America. could be. Could All be. Could right. be. I think you're onto something. <laughs> uh, Chantal is out in Beaconsfield. Then. Hi, Chantal. Hello. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, are you a tennis player? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. Uh, too much running. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> uh, the tennis question, let me just repeat it uh, in case people are just joining us, right? Um, the 1980s were rife with all kinds of fashion trends, some of which have stood the test of time, and some of which have become laughing stocks. Which one, Chantal, was inspired by tennis? Oh, I thought I knew it, but then somebody guessed it, and it's wrong. So I'm going to go with those, you know, those wristbands that oh, yeah. they wear. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Here's how stupid I was. I thought when you wore, you know, the sweatbands, I thought it was to stop your wrists from sweating, <laughs> and I didn't realize it was so you can mop your forehead. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Multi, yeah. multi-purpose, <laughs> multi-purpose. Uh, uh, can I answer the Easter Bunny one? Yeah, you can sure. try. Yeah. Is it by not talking? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're hired to walk, if you're hired to walk around in one of those Easter Bunny costumes, what do you have to do to uh, sort of not uh, give away the illusion? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Very good. Thanks, Chantal. You're welcome. Bye. Bye now. Uh, off to Cynthia NDG. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Oh. I think I forgot a, a little part of the uh, the question here. What must you not do to not give away the illusion, right? Right. To Easter yeah. Bunny. All right. John, hello. Hi, good morning, gentlemen. Good, good morning. morning. Your CB radio question. Ah, yes. Yeah. I believe that was the lowering of the speed limit to 55 on interstate highways. So. And the truckers had to communicate to each other to be aware where the speed traps were because right. they made money by the mile. Beware of smoky bears. That's exactly it. It was the war in the Middle East at the time that led to, you know, the oil crisis. Not unlike, excuse me, not unlike what we're going through now, but to a greater degree. And yeah, so Nixon implemented this 55 uh, miles per hour on the freeway. And yeah, they had to be able to warn each other. It's a smoky bear with a camera. Yeah. Smoky bear taking pictures. John, let's say we head back to the 1970s. What would your uh, handle have been (laughs) on your CV? Mine was Woodstock. What's Woodstock? Nice. <laughs> yeah, and because I had a friend who was Snoopy. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yep. John, because you answered one of the starters correctly, your name will be in the draw for the certificate for the uh, Coffee Gourmet Center, and they'll uh, let you pick out some coffee and deliver it to your door. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to bow out on that. I'm going to let somebody else win it. You sure? Hmm. Yeah, I picked picked up something last week. Oh, well, oh okay. Very, very nice. Very nice. So, uh, and uh, your brain buster, uh, why don't they just get married? What? Well, he's ants eloping. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Thanks, John. It's like that old knock-knock I will knock, call knock back joke. under my rock now. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. There was an old knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe who? Cantaloupe tonight. My father's watching. But a bub. <laughs> Stupid joke. It's all right. It's fine. The stupider the better sometimes. Uh, Candiac is where Kevin is. Hi, Kevin. Good morning, gentlemen. All right. Let's, um, let's start with the fashion trend in tennis. Um, would that be Stan Smith's? No, but I love stance. I haven't worn them in years, but they were my favorite shoes for a while. Yeah, Kevin, let me repeat the McDonald's question. In, in 1962, some McDonald's outlets locations saw a drop off in business. What did they do to bring the customers back? Did they introduce a breakfast menu, the Egg McMuffin? No. No. Hmm. <laughs> no. Nope, Zero Kevin. for two. <laughs> yeah. You have another swing left in you, though. Call back. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Bye now. Goodbye. Uh, off to Saint Laurent, Amy. Hi. Hi. Good Sunday hi, morning. Amy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you? Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Happy Easter Resurrection Sunday. Happy Passover to all. Yes. And to uh, all of that to you as well. Thank you. Brainbuster, right, Mamie? That's correct. All right. What do you think? Uh, can you repeat it again, please? Yeah. It's. Uh, wait a minute. It's on the next page. Here mm-hmm. it is. An antelope doesn't need antelope to run fast. Is it Reebok? Why would it be Reebok? Because Reebok is a type of antelope, and that's it. That's all I could come up with. <laughs> How did you know that? Um, I always knew that. That's exactly it. 
Um, and just a, a sort of a glimpse into into the mind of Dan Laxer. I, you know, I knew I needed another brain buster, and I happened to be putting on my shoes, which are Reeboks, and I thought, I wonder where that comes from. <laughs> wow. So yeah, and Afrikaans Reebok R H E B O K refers to a species of antelope. Very nicely done. You know what? We've got a really cool prize for you, maybe. Oh, I, I, I can't win. I'm on probation. Oh. oh. But what would have been my prize? Oh, no, not telling you. No, <laughs> no. This isn't Wheel of Fortune. You're not going to see what's in the envelope. <laughs> but thank you for being honest and upfront about that. Oh, yeah. well, I, I'm going to get like, uh, I'm going to get like, uh, I don't know. Like, call different types of names on uh, national radio, so I don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. no. Okay, our thank list, you. Our listeners are kinder. But we, what we do have for you, you're, we've got a Jeopardy audition for you. <laughs> I, would, I would love that, but yeah, I probably yeah. would have bombed, because yeah. I would be so nervous. I know, me too, yeah. Are you are you watching the current uh, girl from Toronto? Uh, I am. Yeah, she's uh, doing well. Oh, she's very smart. And t- all of 23. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Mimi, always good to hear from you. Thank you. Same here. Take care. Keep well. Keep safe. You too. Bye. Bye bye. Uh, Cheryl is in. Is this Cheryl? Yeah, in Little Burgundy. Hi, Cheryl. Hello, fellas. Hello. Hi. Oh, I love fellas. No one calls us fellas, <laughs> right? Fellas. <laughs> uh, the tennis question. The fashion accessory. What do you think? Um, well, I know when I was uh, working, hmm. uh, we, women started wearing tennis shoes. Hmm. Business women. Kind of like uh, New York chic, as they used to call it, when you wore right. a, bus- a business suit, but uh, shoes for walking. But no, that's not it. Okay. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, Cheers. Have a great weekend, long weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, go on. I'm thinking the, the first time, time around, the first go around with Sex in the City, did we not see maybe um, someone walking down the street, one of the girls uh, in the uh, opening sequence with uh, wearing uh, running shoes? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. That sounds big. And also uh, on Mad About You. Oh, yeah. Helen Hunt. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like that show. It was a great show. Yeah. Paul Reiser. Um, how much time do we have? Right to 10? Yeah? One more? Okay. I'm not good at charades. I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> First word, two syllables. We have time for... Uh, no, we don't have time. Hang on one second. Hi, Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi. Hi. Uh, happy you wanna, Easter, happy ha- Passover. Yeah, yeah, the Easter bunny. Uh, what, do you, uh, what should you avoid doing so you don't give away the illusion if you're dressed up in an Easter bunny costume? I would think you're not allowed to talk. Mm-hmm. No, you could talk. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And can I, all right, can I try the tennis question? Yeah, sure. sure. The accessory, yeah, the fashion accessory. Would it be those knee socks with the three stripes? No. 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 I, I remember those. still have those, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> for, for nostalgia purposes. <laughs> or after a no, little wine. I wear them in gym class, I remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pulled all the way up to your knees. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think I've asked you this before, but I have no memory. Where did you go to high school, Tina? I went to Laval Catholic High School Laval Catholic. in Laval. Very nice. All right. Happy Easter, Tina. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Bye now. You uh, too, bye-bye. Uh, 9.59, we're coming back. News is standing by. And then the showdown round, 514-790-0800. HSBC Bank has one of Canada's best mortgage offers. Right now, get our five-year fixed close term rate for seven years. Ooh, that's two extra years of peace of mind. Ugh, wait your turn, legal. <clears throat> get the security of our five-year rate for seven years. With no surprises. Surprises are bad. Yeah, and interruptions are bad. Protect yourself from rate hikes and shocks. Stop it. Oh, I can't. There's no appraisal fee either. Just remember that rates are subject to change without notice. Get pre-qualified in just a few clicks today at hsbc.ca slash mortgage. HSBC Bank, opening up a world of opportunity. This newscast brought to you by Renofco Fire and Flood Restoration Specialists. They work for you. 514-856-9993. Renofco.com. Good morning. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's 3 degrees right now. Your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news. A major drug lab hidden in the Laurentians. Quebec saw hundreds of thousands of new COVID cases this week, according to a new study. And a shooting in Pittsburgh leaves two dead and many injured. 
first, though, with the latest from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. How are things looking out there, Mark? Well, pretty good, Don. It's Easter Sunday morning, and folks really just, I guess, gathering together. There is a little bit of extra volume heading to the south shore in terms of a slower pace on the Champlain Bridge with the two left lanes knocked out until noon at the latest. You can use the reserve lane until this work wraps up. It has been known to conclude ahead of Sked. 20 east through Ville St-Pierre, boarded up until Tuesday morning. Get off at First Ave, eastbound, not only uh, side in the Ville St-Pierre interchange, you're dealing with some roadwork. Westbound, 20s exit for the Mercier is closed. Curl back at First Ave, you also have a lane closed in the interchange. Order the redesign, 2022 Chevrolet Silverado, 1500 now with the optional turbo diesel engine that gets 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJ, AD 800 and next to 1050. In the news, testimony in a recent trial has revealed that a normal-looking home in the Laurentians was actually home to a major cocaine plant allegedly used by members of the Lebanese underworld to supply the Hells Angels and Italian Mafia of Quebec. A police officer on the case described it as one of the most sophisticated labs he'd ever seen, with cocaine drying ovens, a hydraulic press, a sealing machine, grinders, and scales among the items seized. While the lab was dismantled several years ago, many of the details are only now coming to light, with 32-year-old Laval resident Joseph Fren facing charges of manufacturing and trafficking cocaine set to be heard in court this month. Police seized, seized rather about $1.75 million worth of cocaine in that investigation. Between 205 and 415,000 Quebecers caught COVID this week, according to new estimates from intergovernmental research center Cyrano. The estimate of up to 60,000 people infected a day is up 52% from just a week ago. Researchers say they're waiting now to see what effects gatherings could have this Easter weekend. Two people are dead and 11 more injured after a shooting in Pittsburgh early this morning. The shooting happened during a party at an Airbnb property. There were more than 200 people inside. Pittsburgh Police Commander John Fisher says most of the people at the party appear to have been underage. It appears to be mostly juveniles, underage people. Uh, the, the, uh, somebody apparently rented this air bed and breakfast for them. We don't know that as of yet. Police are processing evidence at as many as eight separate crime scenes spanning a few blocks around where these shootings occurred. Pope Francis has made an eastern plea for peace in Ukraine and other war-torn countries in the world. Reporter Lama Hassan says after celebrating Easter Sunday Mass for 50,000 people in St. Peter's Square for the first time since the pandemic began, Francis delivered his traditional geopolitical speech. The Pope using his Easter message asking for prayers and peace for Ukraine, which he says is so sorely tried by the violence and destruction of the cruel and senseless war into which it was dragged. Remembering the refugees, the Ukrainian victims, he says he holds in his heart the pontiff, also asking for peace in countries with conflicts around the world from the Middle East to Afghanistan, Africa and Latin America. And anyone in Quebec looking for an in-ground pool should get on the phone now or expect to wait. Even if the pool craze that started last year has begun to die down a little, installation companies say their services are booked through to the end of August already. Officials from the company Trevi, for example, say they only have 30 spaces left in their bookings all around the end of the summer season. Not only is it harder to get their service done itself, but expect it to cost much more thanks to inflation in several companies. An above-ground pool is simpler to get done than an in-ground one, meaning you can still have one by early summer, but expect to pay $500 to $1,000 more than usual in most cases. For in-ground pools, that number can go up to $8,000 more than usual costs. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at CJAD800. And now your Dormevu Weather Center forecast. We've got a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7 degrees. The skies will be clearing tonight with an overnight low of minus 3. But then warming tomorrow, we've got a sunny day with a high of 10. But do watch out, there will be an early morning wind chill of minus 7. It's 3 degrees downtown right now. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is at 1030. When these guys get together, they raise a lot of questions. The Trivia Show with Ken and Dan on CJAD 800. This is that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, wilding, living it up in the city. Got Chuck's on with Saint Laurent. Gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. I'm too hot.
said you hallelujah Girl said you hallelujah Girl said you hallelujah Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to you Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to you Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk. I played that because of the Michelle Pfeiffer reference yeah. in the first verse, because Michelle Pfeiffer is part of this new miniseries debuting tonight on Crave called The First Ladies. The First Lady, Ooh. and she plays uh, Betty Ford. Wow, yeah, cool. Yeah, I always liked her as an actress. Uh, let's go right back to the phone here because it's the showdown round. What? Yeah, you have a question for us. We have one for you. We have a nice prize. More on that in a second. But right now, the number is 514-790-0800. And we're going to start, if I punch up the right button here, that's Sandy in Point Claire. Hiya, Sandy. Hi there. I just wanted to say about the Springbok. When I was in uh, South Africa visiting my brother yeah. many, many years ago, that was the most beautiful animal I ever saw. Right. It really was. Nice. Mm, very nice. Anyway, my question? Yeah, go on. How many freckles did Howdy Doody have? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Let me think. Um, how many freckles did Howdy Doody have? Um, he was famous for his freckles. Uh, I know. So was I, by the way, Sandy, <laughs> as a young boy. My eyelashes, too. Freckles and eyelashes. Now that's a show I never, ever saw. I'm going to say uh, 22. Is that your final answer? It is. It is. It's 48. 48? 48. Because yeah. at the time there was, what, 48 states? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh boy. Uh, very <laughs> nice. Uh, what number would you like? The sheet is uh, wide number open. Number six. six. It's all yours. Number six. What comic book superhero creator made cameo appearance appearances in 22 Marvel films? Creator. I couldn't tell you. Okay. I, uh... I never watched them. Understood. Stan okay. Lee. Famous Stan Lee. Is, Stan okay. Lee, is he still well, with us, by the way? No, no. no he passed on a few years ago, but right. he's in almost every MCU movie. Uh, Sandy, you got us with the freckles, though. Okay. So we're putting you in the draw for a prize. Thank you. All right. Can I put you on hold? Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you All so right. much. All right. Uh, take care of that. Let's go to uh, Niagara Falls for Dave. Niagara Falls. Mm-hmm. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Passover. Happy Easter. And to you. Thank you. All right. That's Pardon? <laughs> Hang on a second. The dog is barking on live radio. Or the love. Is it a squirrel? Is it a squirrel? I don't know. Something moved in the front yard. He went nuts. I yeah. Know. I know. <laughs> My apologies. That's no right. worries. Go ahead, Dave. In 1963, this is NASCAR trivia. Yeah. 1963, in Riverside, California, they had a road race. And uh, E.J. Foyt and quite a few other guys were involved in a horrendous crash. Uh, they went to the infield care center. E.J. Foyt was declared legally dead by the doctors. Another one of the drivers in the care center saved his life. Do you know who it was and how he did it? Can I just uh, preface our response by uh, just letting you know, Dave, you could not have found... <laughs> Two guys with less knowledge of NASCAR. Than ah, I myself. know. That's why I like the poke at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just okay. thinking of the poor guy and the doctor telling him, I'm very sorry, but you're legally dead. Yeah. Well, okay. great. My well, insurance uh, won't cover that. There you go. That's right. Well, the driver who was involved in the crash who was legally dead was A.J. Foyt. Mm -hmm. And Parnelli Jones was the guy who saved his life. Parnelli <laughs> Jones? Yes, he rolled him over on his side, stuck his fingers down his throat, and pulled out a clump of grass and mud, and he started to breathe. It's wow. almost like a hairball. Yeah, if you can believe that. True, sure. true story. That's how Dan and I first met. <laughs> at, <laughs> at the Cock and Bowl on St. Catherine. Long story. It was after a St. Patrick's Day parade. Hairball together. Half an hairball, <laughs> pulling hairballs up together. They, uh, pick a number, Dave. Let's try number three. Mm -hmm. You got it. Where does the expression Doubting Thomas come from? Doubting Thomas. Oh, my goodness. Now, remember, I've got a bunch of questions for Passover and Easter. Mm -hmm. Doubting Thomas. Mm, you got me. 
Well, Thomas was one of the disciples, and he was the one who refused to believe that Jesus had risen without some kind of proof. There you go. Dave, always good to hear from you. Take care. You guys, too. Enjoy yeah. your rest of your day. Cheers. You will. Uh, Ro, good news, bad news. Good news is on your, uh, you're on the radio, you're live. Uh, bad news is your number's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard a hang up now. No, I'm just kidding. Although, your that- number's gone is better than your number's up. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> hey, happy Easter to both of you. Thank and you. to you. Thank you. And since it's Easter, I have a completely unrelated question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what art buying board game allows you at times to have a private auction to sell to the bank or to collect $400,000 depending on what spot you land on? Well, the only art buying board game I can think of is Masterpiece. Ah, too easy, eh? Well, was there ever any other art buying board game? I, I guess, I guess not. But uh, it's such a great game. I just thought maybe I'd stump you on it. Nice. Wow, nicely done. All right, uh, what number would you like, Ro? Uh, four, please. Mm-hmm. What anatomical features in rodents, or uh, rather, feature in rodents, makes poison so effective? Mm. Whiskers. No. Here's something interesting. Rodents cannot vomit. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I guess my answer wasn't a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, happy Easter to you guys. You too. Cheers. Thanks, Ro. Take care. All right. Off to Winnipeg. Hi, Barry. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Barry. Barry. And to you. And Thank to you. you. Well. Barry, I guess so. Winnipeg, uh, the storm wasn't as bad as they uh, they thought it might be, right? They said it was going to be the worst in decades. I said, dudes, I've been living here for a long time. It wasn't that bad. Yep. But if you went a little bit out of town towards Brandon, towards the Saskatchewan border, yeah. it was ugly. It was ugly. Right. Well, there you go. Uh, all right. Go ahead, Barry. Anyways, who is the only NHL player to ever score all four game-winning goals in a playoff series? Mike Bossy. Yeah. 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 Nicely done. All right, to Barry. What number do you want? Is number one still out there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's give it a go. What is the biblical title of the Bob Marley song that features the line, Movement of Ja People? Oh, I don't know that one, I'm afraid. I bet you do. The song is called Exodus. Exodus. Hmm. Okay, that's a word I've heard. (laughs) (laughs) Barry, have a great week. Thank you, sir. Bye now. Thank you. Let's go to Lee. Is it? No, sorry. It's Chantel. Hi. Hi, Chantel. Hi. Hi. Out in Beaconsfield. Chantel, the Easter Bunny. Another crack at it, right? Well, I, yes. And then I do have a question for you. Okay. I'm going to repeat the uh, the starter. If you're hired to walk around in an Easter Bunny costume, what must you do to not give away the illusion? Is it to never be seen out of costume, even if you're showing up to a party? Like, you have to show up in costume. Another excellent guess, but it is incorrect. Okay. okay. What do you have? What do you have for us? Uh, what number one song? It's it's like a two part, actually a two parter. Oh, what number no. one song <laughs> featured a kazoo sounding solo? Number one song. Oh, um, kazoo. The kazoo. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, the kazoo. I should know this. We should know this. We should know this. Give us a decade. Uh, what year? Decade, uh, decade. 73, in the 70s. In the 70s. Oh, the 70s. I should know this. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a kazoo, a kazoo in a pop song. Was it a novelty song or was it a... Uh, is, no, no. Like it was, was it a disco duck or something? No. Is no, it, it, is it uh, no. Mungo, Mungo Jerry, Summertime? <laughs> no. No, eh? All right. Uh, My Girl Bill. Remember that? No. Nope. Sure. That's, nope. uh, <laughs> What's the answer? You're 16. Ringo Starr. Oh, Ringo Starr. A and kazoo. Part two was who who sang backup on that song? On your 16? Yeah. Out of my dreams and into my arms. Now your mind will be I don't know. You're 16. I'm very impressed with your question. You yeah, stumped me us. Too. Well, what's the answer to the backup singer? Harry Nilsson. Harry. Oh yeah. yeah I wouldn't wow. be surprised. Yeah, he was That's hanging out. Cool, he was hanging out with Harrison and Ringo back. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, pick a number. Uh, seven. Yeah. Number seven. What did the Romans put at the top of the cross to mock Jesus? Oh, can you repeat that? Yep. What did the Romans put at the top of the cross to mock Jesus? Oh, I know this question. 
It's, um, it's an Easter question. It's the sign saying King of the Jews. Yeah, I'll take it. I N R I, Jesus Nazarenus Rexus Judeorum, yes. or Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Nicely done. You and that deep voice in the background did very well, Chantel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna, better at the music. All right, I'm going to put you on hold. Don't hang up. You're in the draw. All right, all right. it's uh, 1016. Mark Shalhoub is watching things out there for our drivers. What can you tell them? Well, a couple of situations uh, right now. Ken, a bit slow. Ten minutes outbound Champlain from Nuns Island until about midway across with the two left lanes knocked out for REM work until noon at the latest. You are permitted to use the reserve lane until this all wraps up. You have the outbound Lafontaine Tunnel, Sherbrooke through the end of the tunnel with a single lane closed until the end of the year, so a little slow entering the tunnel itself from the Hochelaga sector. Nothing major. 20 Eastville, St. Pierre, boarded up all weekend and that means Tuesday morning and the westbound side, one lane closed through VSP along with the exit for the Mercier Curl back at first. I have ordered the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 now with the optional turbo diesel engine that gets 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Let us know what you see on the roads. Calling your tips to Star 800. Your next report at 1030. Anytime news breaks, CJAD 800 has it. 62-year-old Frank James appeared in court with two federal defenders and will be held on a permanent order of detention on terror charges. On the air, on Twitter, email to your inbox. Up to the minute. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. In a world of more, there's more, and there's Toyota Service More. Not just a free pizza topping when you buy a large pizza more. Not buy six kitchen knives and get a seventh knife free more. At Toyota Service Centers, you get more of what matters. Like Toyota factory trained technicians installing Toyota genuine parts for all your maintenance and repair needs and more. They'll even offer a price match promise on a new set of tires. Terms and conditions apply. Get more for your Toyota this spring. Book an appointment today at your Quebec Toyota dealer or shoptoyota.ca. Warmer weather means more time outside, and CJAD 800 wants to give your property a serious makeover. Listen to the Andrew Carter Morning Show for your chance to win a landscape lighting package from Electrica. Daily qualifiers win $100 in prizes courtesy of Electrica, plus are entered into the grand prize draw worth up to $7,000. With professional design and installation, let Electrica light up your day and your house. Be the envy of the block thanks to Electrica, your home electrician, and new News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Some drivers are more adventurous than others, taking the road less traveled. Whether you're following the road you know or exploring a new one, be sure you're equipped with a Yokohama tire that's ready for whatever lies ahead. Yokohama Geolander tires are engineered for superior braking, handling, and traction at any time on any road. Take control of your drive. Get your Yokohama Geolander tires today, because performance matters. From becoming your own boss. Okay, okay, you're awesome, you can do this. To leading a growing company. Together, we can do this. Desjardins Business is with you every step of the way. From expanding your first facility to building your third warehouse. Desjardins Business is with you every step of the way. Time to escape and get away to your favorite destination for fun. Aquasasne Mohawk Casino Resort. Whatever you're in the mood for, we've got it all. And just last month, lucky winning guests discovered 2.5 million reasons to come visit. And don't forget about your favorite ways to unwind. Book a relaxing stay at our hotel. Take a dip in the pool. Enjoy live entertainment and grab a bite at Maple Steak and Ale. We can't wait to share winning moments with you again. Aquasasne Mohawk Casino Resort. Home of the every day winner. Burley Martino's four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh, hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Burley Martino is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Burley Martino, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. Now from the mover. 
Hi, I'm Paul Filgeno, and I am Meldrum the Mover. Thinking of setting up a new home on another continent? Let Meldrum International help get you there. We have the knowledge, experience, and proven networks in Europe, the UK, the Far East, South America, and more. So choose your destination, then give Meldrum International a call. Take it away, girls. Call 514-481-1122. Meldrum the Mover. It's spring, and once again, we are really worried. Because every spring thaw means water in the basement. And everything has to be dried and disinfected. Panic, panic time. time! If you're worried about water in your basement, don't panic. Système Sous-Sol Québec handles all your basement moisture problems. So say goodbye to spring water damage. Système Sous-Sol Québec, permanent solutions for your basement, warranted for life. Visit fixbasement.ca today for all things basement -y. That's fixbasement.ca. Did you know that you can get Prometrium at the same price as the generic? I ask my pharmacist for brand name Prometrium, and you can too. Simply ask your pharmacist for the Prometrium brand. Markup and dispensing fees excluded. Prometrium, brought to you by Organon. When you're here, you're home. The Sunday Morning Trivia Show. CJAD 800. I'm going to be honest, I have that really loud in my headphones. Re I get it. Really loud. I get it. It's a good tune to be loud. Pagliaro, 1022, right back to the phone. Let's say hi to Angelo and RDP. Angelo. Hey, it's good to talk to you guys. Happy yeah. Easter and a happy Passover. Well. Buona Pasqua. Yeah, yes, you. thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question for you. Yeah. In the 70s television series, you know, The Six Million Dollar Man, and sure. it's a uh, spin-off, The Bionic Woman. Mm -hmm. The characters worked for the uh, the OSI for yeah. Oscar Goldman. I was going to ask you if you know what the OSI stood for. Oh, I was hoping I was hoping the answer was going to be Oscar Oscar Goldman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> flight call Oscar. I can't hold her. She's breaking up. She bre oh. Uh, it's interesting because all the time that I watched the show, I, I never knew what it actually stood for, even though I, I knew it was the OSI, but fictional uh, agency, government, it, government office agency. for science intermission. No. You're close. You, you have the first two. The is, uh, is, is scientific. The, is the investigations. Innovation. Innovation. Intelligence. 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 Oh. I don't know if you would have guessed it if I had given you more time. I had a Steve Austin doll. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I had one, too. Yeah. Because they look through the eye in the back of the head. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and I would make <laughs> the right. sound. Do, 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 oh, yeah. do, 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 That's uh, right, yeah. yeah. He always wore those pantsuits, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he started a lot of trends, yeah. He had a mustache, uh, long sideburns, and whatever, little trends at the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I've told you the story before, but I'll repeat it because I'm getting old. Sure. <laughs> Lee Majors and Farrah Fawcett yeah. were the inspiration for the song Midnight Train to Georgia. What? The guy who wrote the song... He was buddies with Lee Majors back in the 70s. And okay. he called the house in L.A. to talk to his buddy. And uh, Farrah Fawcett answer, answer said, uh, no, Lee's not here. He's on a midnight uh, plane to L.A. I read this, too. I'm, I'm trying to remember if I Googled this. Yeah, or, yeah but really? I read the same bit of trivia. Yeah. He's on a midnight. He's uh, No, Lee's not here. He just grabbed a midnight plane to L.A. And so the guy jotted that down and said, that could be a good song title. <laughs> and he eventually worked it to Midnight Train to Georgia. <laughs> No, you're absolutely right. I'm trying to remember where I got the information from, but I heard you, the same thing. I've, heard, I've told that story 17 times. You probably heard it on uh, CJ. I probably heard it from you. Absolutely. <laughs> on a midnight plane to uh, Los Angelo. Angeles. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have, the, doesn't have any. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what number would you like? Uh, is number five available? Yes, it is. Uh, historians are divided on this, but according to tradition, the Last Supper may well have been a what? Oh, what did it consist of? What no. was this, this last meal? It was the, the Last Supper. People say that it was probably, uh, given the time of year, mm -hmm. and uh, given the fact that Jesus was of the tribe. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Oh, he's dropping a lot of clues. Yeah. 
I was trying to think of it. it consisted of bread, maybe, and some some fish. Probably unleavened bread and gefilte fish. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I got it wrong. <laughs> Manischewitz wine. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, that was my guess. Uh, bread bread and, 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 and fish. Well, historians are divided, but it may well have been a Passover Seder. Oh, you're right. It may have been the, the first Passover uh, Seder, in, in essence. Well, not the first, no, but... Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> I don't know how you got that, Angelo. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't. I think I, 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 I was just purely that's guessing. Right. That's all right. Uh, you got us with the uh, six million dollar man question, so we're going to. Oh, put... well, you got part. Of, you got part of the uh, no. office for science. You sure? It was oh. intelligence. Uh... <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're going to put you in the draw just to see. Okay, thank you so much. Hang on. Uh, Ten twenty-seven. By the way, let me congratulate Paula and uh, Saint Laurent, and she was the name drawn by David Trenadui from the audio quiz, and so she's picking up the Burger Deville certificate, the seventy bucks. Nicely done. Very nicely All done. Right. Yeah. Do, we have, do we have time for one more call? I think. Sure. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's uh, Nathan in LaSalle. Hi, uh, Nathan. Yeah, hi there. Uh, I, I was kind of upset that uh, two people called in and they weren't eligible and they answered the question correctly. What are you talking about? Oh, well, well uh, Mimi wasn't eligible. She answered the Brain Buster. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, uh, Nathan. They can't Na yeah. And the Can't Drive 55 question. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, so, anyway, I got a question inspired for the truckers. All right. Uh, Chris Christopherson was in Convoy. Yes. The lead character. Uh, what did, who, uh, he was a trained pilot from the Air Force. Uh, so whose lawn did he land on to become noticed? What kind of plane was he flying? A hel oh, sorry, a helicopter. Oh. Landed on Willie Nelson's lawn. Uh, no, uh, it was one of the other highwaymen. Oh, Willie Nelson said, get off my grass. Get it? My grass? Uh, Waylon Jennings. Waylon Jennings. Uh, no, no, no. no. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it right on. <clears throat> yeah, after 17 tries, we got it right on. Pick a number. Uh, 20, please. 20. Number 20. What does a pizza have in common with the earth? They're both. Round. <laughs> no, they both have a crust. Yes. There you go. There you go. And they're both flats. No, don't even. Okay. Don't even. <laughs> Nathan, uh, don't worry. We're going to put you in the draw for the prize. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, that's Nathan. It's a uh, ten twenty nine. You want another call or what? What's going on here? Break. Oh, it wants to break. All right. I've got the signal. All right. We're coming right back. News is up next. Get you up to date from the newsroom here on CJ8800. Then right back to uh, more of your calls. 514-790-0800. Hey, my dad's stronger than your dad. Yeah? Well, is your dad capable of 460 pound-feet of torque, get 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway, and can he tow up to 13,300 pounds like the optional Duramax turbo diesel engine in the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500? Uh, no. Yeah? Well, tell your dad to order a new Silverado, then come see me. Visit your Chevrolet dealer for details. Beneva is more than just a new player in the home and car insurance world. They're really good people, too. Like Dave, who waited until 11-11 to call back a rather superstitious client. That's really nice. Or Lucy, who whispers to her client who just got back from the spa. Gee, that's so nice. Or Alan, who wraps the details of a contract for a client who loves rap. Now you're talking nice. With such good people, you know you're covered. You bet. For your home and car insurance, compare us. It's worth it. Beneva. Happy Monday. Oh, new glasses. Yep, designer glasses from New Look. Happy Tuesday. Oh, new glasses. Yep, designer glasses from New Look. Enjoy a two-for-one deal on over a 100 designer brands at New Look. Book an appointment at newlook.ca. Approved by Jacinthe Laurendeau Optician. You're listening to The Voice of Montreal. News, talk radio, CJAD 800, an iHeart radio station. Good morning. It's 1030. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. Here's what's making news right now. A new study from Intergovernmental Research Center Cyrano estimates up to 60,000 Quebecers got COVID every day this week. Their research says the number is likely between 205,000 and 415,000 cases over the entire week. 
Quebec's police watchdog is investigating an incident involving St. Jerome Police. The BEI says police were investigating a report of a stolen car and ended up pursuing someone on Highway 15 before that driver crashed into another car. The crash and resulting fires killed the fleeing driver and a passenger in the car he hit. And Ukraine is reportedly asking G7 nations for $50 billion in financial support. The funds are to help cover a budget deficit over the next six months, according to President Zelensky's economic advisor. Speaking on national television, he said Ukraine is also thinking about issuing 0% coupon bonds to help with the budget. And now with the latest from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, how are the roads looking, Mark? Well, some good news and bad news over at the Champlain Bridge heading to the South Shore. Don, the 10-minute wait from the Nuns Island Bridge until you get about midway across is because the two left lanes are locked. You are permitted to use the reserved lane until this all wraps up. The process usually concludes ahead of the uh, scheduled time of noon in this case, and they're already starting to gradually pick the cones up, but it could still be a while, so be forewarned. Outbound Lafontaine starting to fill in from almost Yves Prévost at this stage. 20 Eastville St. Pierre closed until Tuesday morning, as is the westbound 20s exit for the Mercier Bridge and one lane through the interchange. Order the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 now with the optional turbo diesel engine. It gets 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJAD 800 and next to 1045. And now your Dormevu Weather Center forecast. It's 4 degrees right now. We've got a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7. The skies will be clearing tonight, though, with an overnight low of minus 3. And then warming up tomorrow for a sunny day with a high of 10 degrees, but an early morning wind chill of minus 7. Your next CTV News update is coming at 11 o'clock. Now there's more choice than ever at your Mazda dealer with the luxurious CX-5 Signature Edition. Ooh, I think I'll get that one. The powerful Mazda CX-5 Sport Design. Ah, maybe I'll get that one. And the elegant CX-5 Kuro Edition. Elegant, that's the one. Visit your Mazda dealer today to get the redesigned 2022 CX-5 of your choice, complete with fuel-efficient SkyActiv technology and standard iActiv all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive too? That's choice. I'm coming. Everyone loves Italian food, and you can bring delicious and authentic Italian food home from Restaurant Di Menna. They've been serving the East End's best Italian dishes since 1971. Order your favorites for delivery or counter pickup, or better yet, load up your freezer with Di Menna's restaurant-quality frozen meals, Di Menna's famous Montreal-style pizzas, or lasagnas, pastas, sauces, and more to make dinner easy and delicious. Visit dimenna.com to see the full menu today. Restaurant Di Menna, your new favorite Italian restaurant in St. Leonard. It's the end of a wonderful day. You leave the office, which also happens to be your kid's playroom, and fill a pot of water. You contemplate the idea of a glass of wine. So what if it's Tuesday? You push the button on your gas range down. Click, click, click. The flame leaps up. Another night of pasta and butter. Everything seems better when you're living your dream. And when your new Thermador range comes with a free matching dishwasher, it's all within reach. Germaine La Riviere. Appliances, furniture, and mattresses. Jeep has always pushed the limits of what an SUV can be. That's why we continue to innovate and create. Like Jeep Grand Cherokee, Canada's most awarded and luxurious SUV. Find the Jeep that lets you push your limits at the Jeep No Limits sales event. Select owners get financing as low as 2.99% for 96 months, plus up to $2,000 in loyalty cash on select Jeep models. Jeep No Limits. See your Jeep dealer for details. This season of CTV's The Masked Singer has some epic battles of celebrity showdowns. First, they face off. Then, they face the music. Get into The Masked Singer, all new, Wednesday at 8, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. The guys get together every Sunday morning, and they always save a spot for you. The Trivia Show, CJAD 800.
proud Montrealer. What a voice. Good morning, Luba. Yeah. How many rivers to cross? Uh, 1036. Brian and Pancor's up next. Hi, Brian. Hi, uh, Brian. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Good. Wow, 45 minutes on hold. Wow. Oof. <laughs> you better be. Hope it's I'm worth it. You. Wow. Yeah, uh, hopefully I got the right answer. I don't know. The tennis question. Yeah. Is it the scort? The what? The scort. The scort. Oh, the scort. No, it's not the scort. Oh, okay. It should <laughs> be, though. Well, I waited all that time for the, <laughs> the bomb out. Uh, do you have all one right. for us? Uh, no, no, I was That's... calling for the starter. I, I called in around 10 to, t- 10, to 10. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. But were, were, you, were you our first call right out of the gate, though? I think so, right? Well, yeah, nine this morning, o'clock. Yeah, yeah. nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, Brian, but it's busy. Uh, my, my my board is hey, full you, here. Yeah, you guys are worth the wait. Don't All worry. Right. Cheers. That. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye now. Bye. Uh, hi, Kevin. Hi, guys. Hello. Happy, happy Easter. You too. And to you. Okay. What game was originally known as Landlords? Landlords. Oh, Landlords. The obvious one probably is incorrect. Yeah, which is Monopoly. Monopoly. Yeah, I yeah, don't think it's yeah. Um, uh, what other one could it possibly be? Hands down, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You've got trouble. Wait, don't run. This kind of trouble is lots of fun. What rhymes with eviction? Um, uh, what's the answer, Kevin? It's Monopoly. Is it hey, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. I learned that. I learned that from a friend, from a friend of my mother's. Good. Uh, Kevin, pick a number. Uh, is 11 still there? Yes, it is. Please. What baked treat marks the end of Lent and is usually eaten on Good Friday? I... Consider the holiday. It's the end of Lent and usually eaten on Good Friday and you bake it. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... I have no idea. Hot cross buns. Buns. Oh, yeah, okay. Buns. All right. Kevin, don't hang up, though. We'll put you in the draw, okay? Okay, great. Right. Thanks. Uh, 1038. By the way, uh, starters, um, not the starters. This is a showdown round. Yes. Where are my manners? I have no idea. We're giving away a certificate for the Barbie <laughs> Barn. Thank what? you. What? Yeah, Barbie Barn certificate for the uh, showdown round winner. Nice. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Jean-Pierre. Hi, Jean-Pierre. Hi, Jean-Pierre. Hi. Happy Easter. Happy and Easter to you. To Thank you. you. Okay. Uh, about the Civil War, the American Civil War. The what? There were many men who wore this, the Southern uniform. Mm-hmm. What is it, who was to become the ba- very famous after the war? What? The most famous man ever to wear the Southern uniform and to become famous. Who after was? the war? Yeah, he became very famous after the war. Famous for what? For, well, if I tell you, uh, you'll guess. He, oh. he was a writer. Hmm. And he wore the Southern uniform. He was a writer. Very famous writer. After the American Civil War. Yes. He didn't wear it for long, the uniform. Actually, just uh, that day. And when the Yankees were coming, he fled. He fled. I... We're not... I... Zip it. <laughs> I said zip it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, neither do I. What's the answer, jean here? Mark Twain. Mark Twain, I was going to guess really? Twain. Yeah, me too, but I didn't think he... All right. Wow. Not, very, not for a very long time, maybe a week or two. Okay. But uh, when he, he heard that the Yankees were coming, he just went to the... He took off the uniform and went west. Mark Twain. He became huh? a journalist in Nevada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. uh, what number would you like, jump here? Five. It's gone. Five is gone. Everything, yeah. uh, well, two is open, but everything after seven two. is... Two, two is okay. Two. Okay. All right. How many colored squares are there on a Rubik's Cube? Six. No, no, all, all, all over the, like, all over the cube. Oh. En total. Oh, 300? No, 54. Okay, yeah. well. That would take me a really long time. <laughs> uh, Jean-Pierre, uh, don't hang up. That was a good question about Mark Twain. Yeah, stay on the phone. Okay. okay, I'll put you on hold for the for the draw. Uh, Ten forty up next. Let me go in order here. Hi, Lee. Hello, Lee. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. How you doing? Good. Thank you for your patience. Oh, I got lots of them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're all lying around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my question to you. Yeah. A professional hockey player has scored on one hundred and seventy eight different goalies. Who is he? One hundred and seventy eight. 
Wow. Well, Gordy Howe. Wayne Gretzky. Um, someone with a very long career, I would yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Because I was going to guess Bossy because he's in the news, but he only played for 10 seasons. Um, uh, who else? Jean Beliveau. That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, what's the answer? Yarmer Yager. Yarmer Yager. Oh, yeah, really? sure. Yeah, he's been playing forever. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. That's a great question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because it came up last night with Washington because Ovechkin has scored on 160 different goalies so far. Yeah. Wow. And didn't he recently just pass Yager, I think, on the list of the uh, the goals? I think so. Yes, he did, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lee, what number do you like? The highest number you have. Mm-hmm. 19, I guess. Yep. Uh, great. Cecil B. DeMille directed the 1956 epic film The Ten Commandments. Who directed the silent version 33 years earlier? Do not know, but may I ask you a question? Well, wait, I have to give you the answer. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sorry. Wait, didn't you just ask us a question? You just asked us no, a question. I mean, uh, I want to do one of the starters. Oh, okay, well, okay. let me give you the answer to this one. It was all, it was also Cecil B. DeMille. Yeah, look, wow. <clears throat> 33 oh, years tr- earlier. That's a trick question. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> no. Don't be that way, Lee. Don't be that way. We don't like I'm that sorry. color on you. We don't like that color on you. <laughs> sorry, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of it. Okay, uh, go ahead. The starter question for the tennis? Yeah. Is it the bracelet? The bracelet? Oh, the tennis bracelet. Yeah. No, it is not. Wow. It's a good guess, okay. though. Very good guess. Thank, okay. th- thank you, Lee. You're welcome. Bye now. Uh, yeah, in the 1980s, uh, there are all kinds of uh, fashion trends, some of which have stood the test of time, others not so much. Which uh, trend was inspired by tennis? Yeah. All right. That's one of the starters. Another one. Uh, um, I throw out the one about uh, McDonald's again. Yeah, it was 1962, and uh, some McDonald's locations saw a drop-off in business. What did they do to bring the customers back? Mm-hmm. Off to NDG. Michael, hi. Hi, Michael. Hi guys, Hi. Uh, the tennis one. Yeah. I don't know if uh, it was answered, but uh, would it be the headband? Uh, a couple of other people have guessed the headband. Okay. It is incorrect. Good guess, but incorrect. Well, okay, sorry about that. No, um, it's all good. Long gone are the days of uh, you know, like uh, switchboard operators, milkman delivers, and so on. What job was a knocker upper? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean. It's Easter weekend. <laughs> no. Is it clean? Uh, it's clean. It's uh, very clean. Uh, knocker upper. I'm thinking uh, about the candle snuffer outer. It may help if I gave outer. you. It was before 1847. Okay. Let me, let me make a call. Um, would that be someone, like if you had an uh, animals trapped in your chimney, they would have to knock on the chimney and the animal? Oh, would... no, that's a good one. But no, that's yeah. not it. Knocker upper. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Knocker upper. Knocker upper. Prior to the 1870s. Just thinking of that Dom DeLuise movie where he talked about the candle snuffer outer. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm still thinking of Ernestine, the switchboard operator. One ringy dingy. <laughs> What's the answer, Mike? Give us the answer. Uh, people hired knocker uppers to help shoot peas at uh, their windows or tap the glass with long poles so they didn't oversleep. It's like uh, before the alarm clock. Really? Yes, and it was called uh, a knocker upper. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what number would you like? If number 10 exists, I'll take that one. Of course yep. it does. Yep. It's in between 9 and 11. Mm-hmm. What five line silly poem is named for a city in Ireland? Limerick? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, way to go, Mike. All right, Michael, thank you. Uh, don't hang up because uh, you're in the draw for the Barbie Barn. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Let me put them on hold. It's 10 45. We're going right to traffic, then we're coming back. With more of your calls, Dr. Joe's lined up for you at 11.05. We've got the slingshot round, more prizes on the way, some more music. And right now, a look at the roads. Sunday morning, here is Mark Shalhoub. Hey there, Ken. Outbound Champlain Bridge from the Nuns Island Bridge, 10 to 15 minutes until about midway across the span. They're gradually picking up the cones from the uh, two left lane closure. And this is for REM work. And you are allowed to use the reserve lane until this all wraps up. Outbound Victoria, no can do. Uh, it's only inbound is the span. One way traffic until 1.30. La Fontaine, it's getting into the act quite heavily, almost from Anjou. 20 to 25 minutes lost over there. 20 east through Ville St. Pierre, picking up some volume get off at first ab instead of curling back at clem on the 138 20 west one lane closed through the interchange and the exit for the mercier as well so curl back at first ab the new 2022 mazda cx5 signature edition sport design and Corolla edition with fuel efficient sky active technology and standard all-wheel drive are waiting at your mazda dealer today your next report at 11 o'clock 
Montreal's home for live sports and sports talk. TSN 690. Here's a chance. Caulfield scores. Joinier with a fantastic ball in. Ramel Kyoto able to get onto it. And he puts it in at the far post. When you need to know. When you need to get it off your chest. I'm not going to pretend it's not ugly and it's not embarrassing. He was the best goalie available and they got him. And they stole him away from Edmonton. Montreal's Major League Sports Talk lives on TSN 690. Hey Nissan, what's the word on the new 2022 kicks? There's two actually, best and best. Best and best, really? Yep, the 2022 car guy named it best buy in its category and it also has the best in-class fuel economy. Oh, I feel another best coming on. Yeah, right now you can lease a new 2022 kicks S for the equivalent of $62 a week for only 24 months. The best one of all. Until May 2nd, $272 a month, $1,495 down, retail value of $22,243 on approved credit details at Nissan.ca. Finally, it's spring when we can come out of hiding to start living again and loving every moment. With Clip Bassin, book your place in the sun today with a new barbecue from the top brands. World King, Napoleon, Kamado Joe, and more. Plus, right now, save an unbeatable $90 off the Grill Pro 4 Burner Barbecue. Now only $279.99. Clip Bassin, it's us time. Last year, I had an accident at work and nearly died. Since then, I've learned to live without walking. I've also learned to live without my trade. I've learned to live without my colleagues. I've even learned to live without going on hikes with my daughter. The fact is, I've learned to live without a lot of things. But some people have to learn to live without even more, like their loved ones. April 28th is a day of mourning in memory of the victims of workplace accidents and occupational diseases. Let's pay tribute to them by talking about workplace health and safety. A message from the CNESST. Hi, this is Caroline of Bon Cibon with a message all about the gift of time because we know that your time is precious. And as the good times roll in, you can count on Bon Cibon to deliver quality fresh meals to your door every week, giving you time to do the important things, time to spend with your family, time to do what you love, time to take a break, time to be a better you. Get back to doing what you love and let Bon Cibon take care of dinner. Isn't it about time? B-O-N-C-B-O-N dot com. Ringo Starr and his all-star band with friends Steve Lukather from Toto, from Men at Work, Colin Hay, from Edgar Winter Band, Edgar Winter, from Average White Band, Hamish Stewart. September 26th, 8 p.m., Plus Bell. On sale now at PlusBell.ca. There's two things everyone hates, sleepless nights and taxes. That's why right now in all 18 Mazda Banana locations, you'll see the equivalent of both taxes on all locally made Z-Bed mattresses. Plus, all CAA members get an additional 5% off. MathLabBanana.ca When the time comes to choose a Honda, never compromise on quality. Buy or lease your new Honda from Spinelli Honda. It's the Honda Checkered Flag event at Spinelli Honda. Lease the all-new 2022 Civic LX sedan. Starting at $77 weekly for $16 months at 3.99% with zero cash down. A completely redesigned model starting at $27,265. Speed up to good weather. Order your Honda at Spinelli. Spinelli Honda, the address of choice for all automotive services. CTV's Domino Masters, the competition series you can't help falling for. That was awesome! Eric Stone Street hosts Domino Masters. All new Wednesday at 9, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. When these guys get together, they raise a lot of questions. The Trivia Show with Ken and Dan on CJAD 800. You mentioned Trouble, the uh, old board game. Yeah. I had to play it. Pop-o-matic Trouble. <laughs>
you can clearly hear the huge influence the Beach Boys had on Lindsey Buckingham when he was a kid. With those backing <laughs> vocals there, right? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, solo hit for Lindsey. 1051. We have time for a few more calls here in the showdown round. Let's uh, go in order and say hi to Brian out in Roxborough. Hiya, Brian. Hello. Hi. How are you? Happy Easter, gentlemen. And to you. Yeah. What do you have for okay. us, Brian? Uh, I have, um, you know, Father Emmett John. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, way back in 1968, we used to call him uh, Brother Emmett. Okay. Anyways, uh, he kind of kept us out of trouble, <laughs> organized dances and and um, floor hockey. Yeah, what high school was that? Ooh, I don't know. What high school? Give us, yeah, we're not going to get it. Give us a hint. What part of town? Lachine. Lachine. Lachine High. No. <laughs> Close, though. <laughs> Which one? Bishop Whalen High School. Oh, Bishop Whalen, eh? Yeah. Just oh. down the street, sure, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what number would you like? Number nine? Yeah. Number nine, what folk duo from Atlanta, Georgia, comprised of Amy Ray and Emily Sailors, had a song called Land of Canaan? Oh, no idea, man. Thanks. Land, <laughs> Land of Canaan, it's a Passover question. Okay. It was the Indigo Girls. Indigo Girls. That's oh, right. yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. Brian, <laughs> but you got us, so we're going to put you in the draw. Can I give a shout-out? Yeah, Sure. I'd like to give a shout out to Fran Breck, going on forty four years of the same bar. Nice. Which bar? Uh, bar Monty's in Roxboro. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Fr- Used to call Bar Salon and the Fair Rouge. Yeah. Fran. It's on Gway. Right on. And nice. Fran. Yeah, it's right. been there that long. Good. Actually longer. Excellent. Still doing business. Yes. Excellent. Still hanging in there. Excellent. Uh Brian, don't hang up. We're gonna put you in the draw for the price. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, next up on my list is Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. No, sorry, it's Mike. Oh. Tina, you're next. Hi, Hi Mike. Mike. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Happy Easter. You to too. You. Uh, I was want to take a shot at the tennis question. Yeah. Is it the brim hat? Oh. No, it is not the uh, brim hat. Wimbledon, strawberries and uh, ice cream or whatever it is. Right what on, are they strawberries serving? and cream. And cream, yeah. Very good guess, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, I... Um, how about the showdown? How about it? You have a question for us? Yes. In uh, the first John Wick movie, hey. <laughs> Keanu Reeves drives three different cars in the movie. The first one is the Mustang. Yeah, yeah. That is stolen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The second one is the Chevelle. Yeah. That he gets from the body shop. Yeah. What's the last car he drives? The last car is a 2008 <laughs> Nissan Sentra. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a micro, to be honest with you, but no. <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, any other guess? No. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're all like, yeah, yeah. Like, I got this. Yeah, I got it. Stand back, then. I got this. <laughs> uh, what's the answer? It's a Dodge Charger. A Dodge Charger, eh? Nice. Yes. How many Wick movies have there been? I don't know. Uh, I think two or three. Three, I think, no? That's like another franchise for him after The Matrix. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I know there's at least two. Yeah. What number would you like? Uh, let's go with number 16. Yeah. All right. What children's books is... Sorry. Yeah. What children's book is Forrest Gump's favorite? Oh. Mentions it in the movie, eh? Yeah. 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 I remember reading it. Yeah. Or his mom reading it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Curious George. Curious George. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah, Mike, you got us. So we're going to put you in the draw for the certificate for the Barbie barn. All right, perfect. Thank you. Good call. Hang on. Uh, Ten fifty four. Mm-hmm. Curious George. Say hi to James out in Ganawagi. Hi, James. Hey, happy Easter, guys. How are and you? And to you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, my question for you today: If you're in the Navy or Marine Corps and you're assigned scullery duty what would you be doing well you're in the kitchen more specific uh you're the cook dishwasher yeah, yeah. dishwasher oh, okay what number do you want james uh give me any one okay. we have to choose one i i don't know what's open 12 huh? 12 through 15 12 12 all right what comic book villainous had been played in the movies by zoe kravitz most recently also by anne hathaway michelle pfeiffer and lee merriweather Catwoman. Yes, of course. Way to go, James. <clears throat> I love it. Right. I, love it. I want that Barbie barn. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Get in line. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not eligible. I'm gonna put you in the draw. Good luck. Hang on. 
Good luck. He wishes me luck. I can't win. I can't win. <laughs> Tina, hi. Thanks for waiting. Hi. Hi, Tina. I'm calling for two starters. Yeah. Yes. The tennis one. Right. Okay, I have two answers for that one. Okay. Is it the, the visor? Or? Or the Adidas gym bag? Neither one. Mm, good okay. ones, yeah. Uh, the other one, the other starter is, well... This, my brother texted me this answer from Toronto. Okay, <laughs> it's about the Easter Bunny. Yes. Yeah. What do you What do you not do so you don't you know uh, give away the illusion? So he said, "Well, I'll read you the text message." He says, "Happy Easter to me, of course." And he says, "By the way, an Easter Bunny mascot can't get feet wet because human shoe prints will appear." You cannot walk on wet grass. Most bunny suits he are worn it. with oh regular God. street shoes. <laughs> and if you step on anything wet, you end up making human footprints. <laughs> What's your brother's name? Sal. Sal. Call Sal. Sal. <laughs> you know, he could call from Toronto. We have a long yeah, distance toll free he, number. He doesn't. I, yeah. He knows I listen. I guess he listens to me when I. Right. I'm on air. Sal. Yeah. You got it, Sal. Go, Sal. Has Sal ever hey. been in an Easter bunny costume? Uh, I don't think so. He's, He's in foot. one right now. He's six foot two. I don't think. I think uh, no, it would be a scary one, I guess. Oh, all right. Um, uh, so, what were, the, what were the two things called for? The uh, Easter Bunny? Oh, the other one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the tennis. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, Tina, I'm going to put you on hold, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Cheers. All right. Put her in the draw. Uh, we have time for one more, don't we? I think so. There's always room for Jello. I think so. Uh, Nick in Anjou. Hiya, Nick. I, I had the Adidas, but it's not the answer, so I'm going to try to stump you guys. Yeah, okay. okay. In the Muppet Show, there was the Manumana song. <laughs> yeah. Where did that, what movie did that song originate from? First of all, it was on Sesame Street way Sesame before Street it was first, on, yes. b- yeah. way before it was on the Muppet Show. Um, I don't, that's a great question. Manumana. It was in a movie? Yes. Crap. An Italian movie, actually. What? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, Italian movie. So what year? What years are we talking about here? Nineteen fifties, I think. I'm not sure about the. Wasn't part of my question. <laughs> or the early sixties. What's the I one think, with? I uh, think it was the sixties. What's the one with uh, um, Sofia Loren and Marcello Mastro Antonio? Yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. the the with the thing and the dude. Yeah. It was 1968, gentlemen. 68. How do you say "sweet life" in Italian? La vita. La, la, vi, la, vi, la dolce vita. Dolce vita. No. Oh. It was a movie called Sweden, Heaven, and Hell. What? And, uh, yeah, the movie was about a lot of debauchery in Sweden, about prostitutes and addicts. Jeez. And it, was, uh, it was really... Uh, <laughs> so your feel-good family movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Nick, what number would you like? Three available or eleven? No, no. Uh, no. Yeah, I have eight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. 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 Number eighteen. What do you call a group of laughing? This is multiple choice. What do you call a group of laughing hyenas? A chuckle, a chortle, a cackle, or a giggle? Cackle. Yes. <laughs> Who gets credit there in the background? Come on, fess up. She had it wrong. I, I, I trumped her. <laughs> What's her name? Edith. I Very nice. Edith. Nice. All right. Uh, don't hang up, Nick. We're going to put you in the draw. It's 1059. Muse is next. Burley Mart knows four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh... Hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Broly Martino is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Broly Martino, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. The heart, the mind, and the Toyota Cor- Corolla. Corolla, for all my destinations, you are my destiny. Uh, excuse me, I wasn't finished. You must forgive him. He's rather excited about red tag days. Hatchback, hybrid, cross sedan. Which will I drive into the sunset? You sure he's okay? Red tag days. Red like my passion for you, Corolla. <sighs> Awkward. Heart or mind? Order your Corolla during Toyota's red tag days. This newscast brought to you by Renofco Fire and Flood Restoration Specialists. They work for you. 514-856-9993. Renofco.com.
Good morning. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Don Kagan Fleming with your CTV News Update. It's four degrees right now. Your full forecast coming up in just minutes. Here's what's making news. Montreal sees its seventh murder of the year after a gunshot victim dies. No sign of surrender among Ukrainian troops. And Montreal's emergency rooms are packed. First, though, with the latest from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, Mark Shalhoub, how are things looking out there? Well, pretty packed on two South Shore routes, Don. Outbound La Fontaine backing towards Anjou, pushing a half an hour. Inbound, also some volume from Is Charon until you hit the MTL. Outbound Champlain, two lanes knocked out for rim work until noon. They gradually started picking the cones up, but it takes a while, and you're still looking at 15 minutes down the drain from Gaetan La Belge. You cannot use the Victoria Bridge as an escape hatch. At this stage, it's only Montreal-bound one-way traffic until 1.30, at which time you'll be able to head to the South Shore. 20 east and west through Ville St. Pierre with roadwork eastbound full closure, westbound one out of two lanes plus the Mercier Bridge exit, no more than five minutes lost through there. Celebrate Easter with deliciously fresh meats from Marche Adonis until April 20th. The beef tenderloin is $10.99 per pound at Marche Adonis. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJA D800 next at 11.15. In the news, gunshots rang out for a second night in a row, leaving one man dead. So police officers entered a call concerning a man that was shot near the intersection of Saint-Laurent and Jean Talon in the borough of Little Italy. Police found a 46-year-old victim shot in the upper body. He was taken to hospital but pronounced dead this morning, marking the seventh murder of the year in Montreal. There's no sign of surrender in the besieged port city of Mariupol despite a Russian ultimatum. Ukrainian troops were still holding out past a deadline for surrender set by Moscow. Ukrainian officials say the port city has been 95% destroyed and tens of thousands killed by constant Russian attacks. Mariupol would be the first major city to fall since the war began in February if it did so. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called conditions in the city, quote, inhuman. Health authorities are asking Montrealers to avoid emergency rooms for minor issues this holiday weekend. All the R's in the greater Montreal area are reporting heavy traffic, with the sixth wave hitting hospitals hard right now. Local health authorities suggest people call the 811 Info Santé line or consult a pharmacist for issues when possible, only going to ERs for urgent issues. Newly disclosed documents reveal the breach of an internal computer network at Rideau Hall was described to senior government officials as, quote, a sophisticated cyber incident in the days before the public was told of the security lapse. Internal government emails obtained by the Canadian press through the Access to Information Act also say officials were unable to confirm the full extent of the information that was accessed. As a result, the Office of the Secretary to the Governor-General was looking to make credit monitoring services available to employees due to concerns that sensitive personal information might have been pilfered. All managers were encouraged to reflect on the information holdings they manage in their respective units and raise any concerns they might have. Rob Westgate, the Canadian Press. Quebec farmers are fed up with turkeys. With wild turkey populations coming into Quebec from Ontario and the United States more and more, farmers say the birds are killing their crops. One eastern township's farmer told La Presse between pecked land, eaten soybeans, and damage to hay bales, wild turkeys are costing him five to $10,000 a year. Another farmer in the Outaouais said he's losing about 10% of his crop every year. Many farmers are calling for more turkey hunting to help the issue, while biologists studying the species say they're being blamed for problems caused often by deer. And a 60-year-old New Jersey man is recovering after he says he spent three days trapped in a dumpster. The man says he fell in a dumpster in Clifton, New Jersey, after seeing a chair he wanted, and then he couldn't get out. His screams for help were heard by a resident in an apartment complex. Police were unable to verify how long he was actually in the dumpster, but he was treated for minor injuries. No word on how he smelled afterwards. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at CJAD800. And now your Dormevu Weather Center forecast. We've got a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7 degrees. The skies will be clearing tonight with an overnight low of minus 3. But then warming tomorrow, we've got a sunny day and a high of 10, but an early morning wind chill of minus 7. It's four degrees downtown right now. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJAD 800. Your next CTV News update is at 1130.
What do you know? It's the Sunday Morning Trivia Show on News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Certainly is not a bad-looking Sunday morning, heading for a high of 7, as Don just mentioned. We're getting there. It's uh, 11.06. Dr. Joe Schwartz is on the phone. Hi, Joe. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello. Okay. Joe, um, I don't know if you checked your TV guide, but this is kind of cool. Uh, tomorrow on Jeopardy, when Matea goes for win number 10, first of all, uh, there's going to be three uh, female contestants, and it's unusual that they have three guys or three girls. You know, it's usually a, a mix of genders. So there's three women on the show, and there's another Canadian going up against her, a woman from B.C. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, two Canucks. Yeah, well, you know, 10 is already noteworthy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. she's she's got nine, right? She if she's gonna hopefully she wins tomorrow. She hits ten. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a look tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was thinking about you because one of the categories, either Thursday or Friday, was Canadian science. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of very good Canadian science for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I um, mean, you know, we've had Nobel Prize winners. Uh, actually, you know, probably out of proportion to our population. Hey. You know, so yeah. Source of pride. Absolutely. Canadian science is is, is good. Yeah. Right. Uh, Canadian uh, hockey, something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the transition. Nice segue. <laughs> nice segue. What did you think of Kerry back in the goal on Saturday? Well I got to see him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got to see him uh, and uh all we got to do now is put some players in front of him. Yeah, you know what? I didn't. I, I had forgotten about this, and I forget uh, um, who posted it. But the late Mike Bossy used to do some work. Was it on CJD as a uh, doing yeah. some sports analysis? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, on the morning show or afternoon show? I can't remember. During the morning show, yeah. I remember he would come in. Yeah, absolutely. Very sad. Yeah, quite tragic. He was yeah. only sixty five. Sixty five. Yeah, just terrible. Yeah, right. and lung cancer. Mm, yeah, I, I don't know if he was a smoker. Yeah, apparently, he was. He was a, but in 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 those days, uh, yeah. it wasn't so uncommon. Not for at all. Athlete to smoke. No. I mean, you know that that uh, Guy Lafleur used to smoke between periods. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Seriously. Yeah. yeah in yeah. the room. Yeah. In the room, the dressing room, Dan had a non-smoking section. <laughs> <laughs> smoking or non-smoking, sir. <laughs> yeah. Didn't, and didn't by by the way, Joe, Joe, his goal scoring ability. What's that? It didn't impair. No, not, not at, at all. all. Or speed on the ice, right? Yeah. I'm just thinking about it now. You know, the image of someone smoking there in the dressing room. But maybe they stepped out because Joe, as you know, the um, and they even have a. Uh, they've rebuilt. They've rebuilt it for the Bell Center. The original Montreal form dressing room was tiny. Tiny, tiny. Like now, they're so spacious and huge with all these new arenas. But it was a right. very small room, and the players liked it that way because they said, "You know what? You, th- when it was close like that, you could look a guy in the eye who wasn't performing and say, hey, step it up.' Yeah, you know, it wasn't like halfway across uh, on the other side of the room. All right, Joe. Uh, enough hockey and Jeopardy talk. How about your question? All right, uh, we're looking for a chemical link, and uh, I'm I'm trying to to come up with something that can't be so easily Googled. <laughs> Because yeah. people have been getting it like right away, mm. right? which is, is, I guess, it's kind of okay because I designed these questions because they have interesting stories behind them that I can yeah. tell anyway. Mm. All right, but this perhaps would be a bit more difficult. We're looking for the chemical link between Ronald Reagan and spoiled milk in Victorian England. Hmm. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Yeah. <laughs> The, the man who, uh, the Gipper. Uh, of yeah. course, uh, was the 40th president of the U.S., mm-hmm. and prior to that, he was governor of California. That's right. Uh, and prior to that? He was, he was not alive in Victorian England. But uh, there's a link between Ronald Reagan and spoiled milk in Victorian England. Does it have anything to do with a monkey? Bedtime for Bonzo. Right on. <laughs> no. Okay, then. No. Uh should I give a little bit of a clue? Ooh, what? Is it our birthday, uh, Joe? You're giving us a clue? All right. It oh. has to do with Death Rally Days. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. All right. All right. That, that should send people yeah. uh, in the right direction. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Very nice. Uh, Joe, what else is coming up at 3 o'clock? All right. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, we, we still can't get her to talk about uh, whether or not people should be getting the fourth dose of a uh, vaccine. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we'll uh, talk a little bit about uh, that. And uh, also, uh, it is Passover. Yep. Yep. And it is Easter, so we'll have some Passover and some Easter stories. Nice. Love it. Love it. By the way, if you answer Dr. Joe's question correctly, you're getting a $75 certificate for the LaSalle Drive-In. Oh, uh, yeah. fantastic. Well, there. Joe, have a terrific show. 
Thank you very much. Dr. Joe Schwartz with us every Sunday morning for a pop in 1110. Let's go right back to the phone. Say hi to Alana. Hello, Alana. Hi, good morning, Hello, gentlemen. Alana, Happy Easter. Happy you Easter too. to you out St. Lazar. I'm trying the tennis question. Yes. Could it possibly be that they were allowed to wear colored uniforms? No, that's oh, an darn. excellent okay. question. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah. Well, thank you anyways. Have a great afternoon. Thanks, you too. Yeah. Take care. When I think of the headband, which has been a popular guest for this question, um, I think of B- Bjorn Borg. Because he, yeah. he had kind of long hair, and I, I, I picture him wearing that headband. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you're just joining us, by the way, um, uh, the tennis question. Uh, you know, going back to the 80s, all kinds of different fashion trends, some of which have stood the test of time, as Dan mentions. Uh, some of them have not. They become kind of laughing stocks. So we're looking for the uh, the trend that uh, was inspired, fashion trend, inspired by tennis. Yeah. Right. And that McDonald's question is still out there. goes back to 1962. Some locations saw a drop-off in business. What did they do to bring its cu- bring customers back? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Wayne, is that you? It sure is. Hi, Wayne. You're taking a crack at this tennis question? Oh, the shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The shame. And, you know, uh, well, first of all, you just mentioned Bjorn Borg, and so it's the Borg bag. He, he uh, had the tennis uh, head cover bag, and then he went into uh, handbags after that. He has a pretty good business going. Ah, okay. Uh, but no, that is incorrect. You're kidding me. No, I oh, never wow. kid about something as serious <laughs> as this. Hey, so baseball is back in town. Is it? And, well, it is in uh, the oh, Bronx. Yeah. Anyway. Don't, don't tease us. <laughs> it is in the Bronx. Yeah. The uh, late, great broadcast, well, not broadcaster, but the announcer that uh, their cheater used, only cheater, um, in his uh, last years. Who was he? What do you mean by only cheater? Only Jeter used this announcer to uh, bring him to the plate. Really? So one guy would grab the mic just when Jeter went up to bat? Well, uh, one late man, actually. Wow. So he would, where? He was just handy in the bro- oh, They would play a tape he on was, the box. He was the former Yankee house announcer. Face <laughs> Yeah, you got me. Who is it? Bob Shepard. Bob Shepard. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Wayne, always good to hear from you. Thank you for the call. You bet. Bye now. Bye bye. Um, I'm just laughing. When I was a kid, here's a little story about my childhood. Yeah, I grew up uh, with Ray Bork, the Boston Bruins. Right. And we used to play tennis uh, at this court that was up the street from our house. It was on uh, Cardinal. Cardinal. If you know Sailor, I was on Cardinal. Okay. Um, at the corner of Tassay. Anyways, uh, you know when you're kids, you you know, or you're playing baseball or hockey, you you, you adapt someone's persona, right? Of a yeah, of course. And so I was Jimmy Connors, <laughs> the tennis <laughs> player, and Ray was Bjorn Bork. <laughs> 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 and uh, we spent hours and hours playing tennis. Nice. Eleven thirteen. We have time for one more. Uh, so we're going to John, who's in Villa Mart. Hi there, John. Hi. Hi. Talking about Doctor Joe's question. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure, but that clue, Death Valley Days, was uh, sponsored by uh, Twenty Mule Team Borax, <laughs> which is a chemical. <laughs> Has anything to do with borax? Yeah, absolutely. I knew no, we sh- shouldn't have kidding. given a hint. They would put borax into the milk in Victorian times, so like when yeah. it went bad, you couldn't tell, yeah. which is gross. And yeah, Ronald Reagan, uh, he did the commercial for borax. Yeah. John and Villamard, way to go. Thank you. Uh, you're picking up this certificate for uh, the LaSalle Drive-In. they got a great menu, all kinds of great things sure, to eat. Sure, it's, it's yours. Been there a few times. Yeah, huh? Excellent. Yeah, they've been yeah. around forever, eh? Good. Okay, I have a question for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Jerry Lee Lewis. Yep, go on. Famous early rocker there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. What do they have in common? It has nothing to do with their art. Edgar Allan Poe. And Jerry Lee, and Jerry Lee Lewis. Lewis. They have something in common. It has to do with their lives. Did they both marry their cousins? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Uh, quite younger, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. 13 yeah. years old, both of them. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, John, nicely done. Good call. Don't hang up so we can take care of your prize, okay? Will do. Thank you. Cool. Put them on hold. 1115. 
off to the road Sunday morning, uh, approaching the noon hour. Good morning, Mark Shalhoub. Good morning, Ken. We have some slowdowns heading to the south shore via the Champlain Bridge. 15 minutes from Wellington. Two lanes knocked out until noon, according to the schedule. They always wrap it up early, but it's still a gradual reopening process. You're allowed to use the reserve lane until this all wraps up. Outbound left on 10, 25, 30 minutes, almost from the Anjou Interchange. Five minutes lost, both sides of the 20 through Ville Saint-Pierre. Eastbound, a full closure. Westbound, one out of two lanes, plus the exit for the Mercier Bridge. In both cases, it's going to reopen as of Tuesday morning. Celebrate Easter with deliciously fresh meats from Marche Adonis until April 20th. The beef tenderloin is $10.99 per pound at Marche Adonis. Let us know what you see on the roads. Call in your tips to Star 800. Your next report at 1130. When a story needs to be told, when you need to be heard, reach out to CJAD 800 and let us do the talking. Tell us about it through your story at CJAD800.com. Because we're listening to the voice of the community, the voice of Montreal, CJAD 800. You can create a happier, healthier lifestyle for you and your family. Montréal en Santé, in partnership with the MUHC, is Quebec's only bilingual health and wellness magazine, giving you breaking medical news and stories that will help you live a more active, healthy lifestyle. Look for Valerie Plante, Mayor of Montreal, on the front cover. You can pick up your free copy of Montréal en Santé magazine at pharmacies, grocery stores, and health food chains island-wide. Or read us online at montréalensanté.com. Montréal en Santé magazine, your guide to living well. How can you be sure you're making the best choice when you're buying a car? That's easy. Just pick a Mazda. Because when you decide to experience the driving pleasure of a Mazda 3, the versatility of the Mazda CX-3, the agility of a CX-30, or the refinement of a CX-5, you're making a best pick according to the experts at Protégé Vu. You're also choosing the performance of Mazda's fuel-efficient Skyactiv engine. Get behind the wheel of a Protégé Vu best pick. Visit your Mazda dealer today. Time to escape and get away to your favorite destination for fun. Aquasasne Mohawk Casino Resort. Whatever you're in the mood for, we've got it all. And just last month, lucky winning guests discovered 2.5 million reasons to come visit. And don't forget about your favorite ways to unwind. Book a relaxing stay at our hotel. Take a dip in the pool. Enjoy live entertainment and grab a bite at Maple Steak and Ale. We can't wait to share winning moments with you again. Aquasasne Mohawk Casino Resort. Home of the every day winner. Broey Martino's four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh, hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Broey Martino is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Broey Martino, about a quality and price. Selected brands and models. At Les Fondations Nouvelle Génération, we repair interior and exterior cracks all year long. Cracks in your foundation put your home at risk for dampness, water infiltration, and mold. Get your cracks repaired today. Visit www.protectyourinvestment.ca. HSBC Bank has one of Canada's best mortgage offers. Right now, get our five-year fixed close term rate for seven years. Ooh, that's two extra years of peace of mind. Oh, wait your turn, legal. <clears throat> get the security of our five-year rate for seven years. With no surprises. Surprises are bad. Yeah, and interruptions are bad. Protect yourself from rate hikes and shocks. Stop it. Oh, I can't. There's no appraisal fee either. Just remember that rates are subject to change without notice. Get pre-qualified in just a few clicks today at hsbc.ca slash mortgage. HSBC Bank, opening up a world of opportunity. The MUHC Foundation and CJAD 800 present Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, featuring the health experts who are transforming medicine and the patients whose lives they have changed. This week on Health Matters, it sounds like it's right out of a science fiction book. Learn about the innovative Heart in a Dish research project and the patients who are benefiting. Health Matters, today at noon on CJAD 800. My dad's stronger than your dad. Yeah? Well, is your dad capable of 460 pound-feet of torque, get 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway, and can he tow up to 13,300 pounds like the optional Duramax turbo diesel engine in the redesigned 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500? Uh, no. Yeah? Well, tell your dad to order a new Silverado, then come see me. Visit your Chevrolet dealer for details. At Walmart, prices are always low. 
Save $1.80 on one and a half liter jugs of Simply Orange Juice or Lemonade. Now only $2.97. When this is on, you realize you were going. I said, "Yeah, I know." I said, "You realize I'm listening to fully completely by the hip." I don't think so, pal. <laughs> so heavy foot when that song comes on. It's, it's one of those great driving songs. Good song. Be that as it may, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the car. Uh, welcome back. 11:22. Uh, let's say hi to uh, Diego. Who's on the phone? Diego. Good morning, Hello, Diego. Good morning. Happy Easter and. Uh... Sameach Pesach. Ah, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And to you as well. Thank you. Diego, uh, can you uh, take care of this uh, tennis question for, uh, for us? I'm, ho- I'm hoping. Well, listen, if it's not the headband, I'm assuming the headband and the wristband go together, right? The sweatband. Right. And if it's not that, I would say the bobby socks? No, not the bobby mm-hmm. socks. No. Mm-hmm. no. Or the sweat socks. Uh, I'll, I'll give it over to someone else, but can I try and stump you? Sure. Sure. Uh, all right. Back in the 70s, there was a um, studio musician who toured as a keyboardist with the Beach Boys. He couldn't go on tour one time, and so he suggested uh, what later became someone who took over uh, on tour with the uh, Beach Boys, and she later became his wife. And they went on to form one of the biggest duos in music history. Uh, back in the 70s. Diego, you phrased your question beautifully, presented it expertly. It's uh, Daryl Dragon right. and uh, Captain Antonio. Wonderful. Yeah. You guys got me. Have a great day. Cheers. G- Diego, love will keep us together. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> bye bye. 1123. Yeah, she. Uh, um, Tony Tennille mm-hmm. is one of the three uh, backing vocalists on "Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me." Well, right? Yeah, she's a great. She did yeah. a lot of session work back in the day too. Uh, who's next? Oh, out to Centerville, where it's beautiful. Anders, hi, Good Anders. Good morning and happy Easter. Happy and to Easter. you, thank you. Are you outside right now? Uh, yeah, taking a drive in the country. Nice, very nice. nice. Yeah. nice. What do you have yeah. for us? Uh, well, I wanted to answer the McDonald's question, if possible. Do you mind right. if I just repeat it in case people Absolutely. are just joining us? Um, yep. In 1962, some McDonald's locations saw a drop-off in business. What did they do to bring the customers back? Uh, two possibilities. One would be they either instituted the Happy Meal, but I think that came later. Would it be self-serve drinks? Neither one, sir. Hmm. May I May I try to stump you? Yeah, sure. Okay, there was a almost maybe... Uh, super group in the early 70s and it was supposed to have three well-known members so richie blackmore from deep purple ian pace the drummer from deep purple and phil lineup from um uh, thin lizzie mm-hmm. what would have been the name of that group oh gosh <laughs> wow uh thin sabbath <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, yeah i'll go with that that's a great question what, what would have okay. been the name Babyface. Wow. wow! There you go. And Have did a they, great Sunday. Did it not happen because uh, because Phil Line had passed on? Uh, I didn't make it to the end of the article. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right. All right. Thank you. Bye now. Eleven twenty-five. Uh, Jonathan's calling for the tennis question. Hi there, Jonathan. Hi. Good morning. Morning. I'm wondering if it would be shirts with little alligators on it. <laughs> you are in the ball p- or on the tennis court. What? 
Close. Yeah, close. Flirting with it. <laughs> All right. Can I also try for the McDonald's? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's the introduction of the filet fish Can you explain why? That's crucial. It was uh, during, I, I'm assuming, the month of Lent that people didn't eat meat. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Catholic population in Cincinnati. And they were abstaining from meat on Fridays. And they said, well, we got to bring them back in. So they came up with the filet of fish Way to go. That's nicely done. Yeah. Jonathan, good call. And you're in the draw. And there's not too many names in the draw right now to win that uh, certificate of coffee from the Coffee Gourmet Center in Dorval. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to yeah. put you on hold. Let's go to... Um, Gary, who's in Point St. Charles. Hi, yeah. Gary. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I think that Jerry Lee Lewis question, he should have included Rudy Giuliani. Huh? He married his cousin. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. my second cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try the tennis, but with that last hint now, I, maybe I have a couple of guesses if that's possible. Sure. First, I was going to say the squirt. Nope. Somebody, someone else already guessed that oh, as well. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah. And the other one would be short sleeves. Mm. No. Why did they wear long sleeves? Before? Well, no, with the with the Lacoste. Uh, oh, I see. That's closer. Sure? Yeah, that's closer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Bye. Now. Bye. All right. Uh, sorry, that was Jonathan. Um, let me put that down. All right. What? Uh, uh, sorry, there's Gary. Never mind. I'm talking out loud. <laughs> Got a busy board here in front of me. Hi, Johnny. How you doing, guys? Hi there, Johnny. Easter. Yeah, you too. I was calling about the tennis one, but uh, I think I'm way off because you guys are mentioning the shirt. Is it the uh, golf shirt? Like the collared golf shirt then? Well, it's a tennis shirt, not a golf shirt. Well, yeah, but it's a <laughs> collared short sleeve shirt. Um, as I say, that's close. Okay, well, I was way off on my other guest then. Remember yeah. that it was the 1980s. Oh, I know. I was going to say the leg warmer. That's not even no, close. No, they didn't wear those in tennis. I didn't know where they came from. Yeah, it, it came from aerobics. At one point. Came from aerobics. Okay. I wore them in tennis, if it matters. <laughs> <laughs> All Different right, story. Day, guys. Cheers. Too. You too. 514-790-0800. Um, yeah, the McDonald's, right? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Way to go, Jonathan and DDO. Very impressed. Oh, the leftover. Go ahead with that leftover. Yeah, in the wake of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, how are some governments attempting to prevent the spread of disease like Zika virus and others? Okay. All right. Uh, 514-790-0800. Uh, we're going to go to the phone as soon as I... Uh, hi. hi, good morning. Hello. Hello, trivia show. Trivia show. Go hi. hi, who's this? It's Manon. Hi, Manon. I'm on the way to, on the way to Mont Laurier. Very I'm nice. Nice. <laughs> going to go see my dad. Um, I was going for the tennis question, and everybody got my answers, but I'm going to try one. All right. And I think I have the McDonald ones, if it hasn't been guessed. Yeah, it was just guessed. What were you going to oh, say? I was going to say the McDonald gang. The oh, Ronald nice. McDonald gang yeah. with a hamburger and stuff there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Oh. And for the tennis question, yeah. um, the polo shirts. Again, very close. I'm looking oh, for something. I'm looking for something very specific. Tommy Hilfiger shirts. <laughs> no. <laughs> not that. Not that specific. <laughs> All right. Can I try and stump you with a McDonald's question? Sure. All right. In 1980. In the on the island of Montreal, a McDonald was being built, and after they put up the first brick wall, it fell down. Where was this McDonald restaurant? It fell down. The wall fell the fell wall. over. Wow. You know what? This kind of this sounds familiar. Really? Yes, it, it was in the news and everything, and I it was in my front yard. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, then it wasn't the one <laughs> uh, on at, on Atwater. No. Oh, my. We're going to have to go, Mano, because news is standing by. What's the answer? It's on Peanut and Flurry. Peanut and Flurry? Mm. You know what? My wife worked Peanut at that McDonald's. Peanut and Flurry. My wife worked at that McDonald's. <laughs> oh, did she? <you? laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mano, thanks for the call. We have to go. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. It's 1129. News is standing by. Then the slingshot round 514 790 0800. In life, there are the adventurers and the homebodies, extroverts and introverts, creatives and scientists, the urbanites and the nature lovers, the loners and those who ride with the gang. And then there are those who are a bit of all of these at once. 
For every lifestyle and personality, there's a Ford Escape, Edge, or Explorer. Bring on the future now. Visit your local Ford retailer to discover the new 2022 Ford SUVs. This newscast brought to you by Harina Optometrists. Eye exam, lens repair, ocular emergency. Harina Optometrists will be your best eye care experience ever. Harina.ca. 514-HARINA-1. Good morning, it's 11.30. I'm Dean Bertoya with a CTV News Update. Here's what's making news right now. Prominent Montreal lawyer Harvey Yarosky, who, who led a multitude of high-profile cases across Canada and sometimes internationally, has died. Yarosky represented Brian Mulroney in the Airbus case and Romeo Dallaire as he fought for justice in the Rwandan genocide before criminal tribunals. Between 205,000 and 415,000 Quebecers caught COVID this week, according to new estimates from Intergovernmental Research Centre, Serrano. The estimate of up to 60,000 people infected per day is 52% higher than just a week ago. Researchers say they're waiting now to see how Easter gatherings affect the situation. And Montrealers are being asked to avoid emergency rooms for minor issues this Easter weekend. All of the ERs in the Greater Montreal area are reporting full waiting rooms, leading lo local health authorities to suggest that people call the 811 Info Santé line or consult a pharmacist for issues that aren't urgent to avoid overloading hospitals. With the latest from the CJD 800 Traffic Center, here's Mark Shalhoub. Heading to the south shore, we have some slowdown. Champlain Bridge, two lanes knocked out for REM work on the left side. They're gradually, slowly but surely picking up the cones, but you feel it for 10, 15 minutes from Wellington. Victoria Bridge is boarded up heading to the south shore. One-way traffic until 1.30 heading into the city outbound. Lafontaine backing you to Anjou for some 25 minutes, losing 5 to 10 westbound 20 through Ville Saint-Pierre from Angrignon with one out of two lanes knocked out until Tuesday morning along with the exit for the Mercier Bridge. So you have to curl back at First Ave where you should get off if you're rolling eastbound with the full closure in the interchange until Tuesday morning. Celebrate Easter with deliciously fresh meats from Marche Adonis. Until April 20th, the beef tenderloin is $10.99 per pound at Marche Adonis. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJAD 800, your next report at 1145. Your Dorm Avery Weather Center forecast, a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7 degrees. The skies will be clearing tonight with an overnight low of minus 3, but warming up tomorrow for a sunny day with a high of 10, early morning wind chill of minus 7 though. It's 5 degrees downtown right now. Your next CTV News update is at noon. Finally, it's spring when we can come out of hiding to start living again and loving every moment with Clipmasin your place in the sun today by saving the equivalent of both taxes on our gorgeous garden furniture collection and our above ground pools. The best part is that it'll be installed and ready to enjoy before the first day of summer. Guaranteed. Clip us in. It's us time. It pays to plan your summer outings with Shopico.ca. Enjoy the enchanting decor of the magnificent St. Gringoire Golf Club. Perfect for beginners and experts alike for a fraction of the price. Or take on the Lachine Rapids with Saute Mouton and experience an adventure full of thrills for 50% off. Perfect for everyone who's not afraid to get wet. Find these and other great local deals at Shopico.ca. Hi, Justin here from Res AV. If you're building or renovating, I suggest you run all your wires now, before you close your walls. Even with Wi-Fi, you still have to hardwire your home as the foundation for most electronic platforms. The best wireless homes start as well-wired homes. Let Res AV show you how with a free consultation and design estimate. Best of all, we come to you. We're Res AV. Call us at 514-439-3901 or visit resav.ca. So, a stranger approaches you on social media with investment advice. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. So, this new cryptocurrency is promising sky-high returns. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. There's no time to waste. Live in the moment and ride with us. Ride a Lexus Laval. Lease the 2022 Lexus RX Hybrid 450H demo for $499.99 bi-weekly. Certain conditions apply. Ride with us. Ride at Delari. 
ElectroAid has always been an essential service. The current crisis is no exception. So, of course, they're still there for you in case of emergency. Since you're spending so much time at home with the family, the last thing you want to be doing is arguing over who's too hot, who's too cold, who needs to go get a sweater. Let ElectroAid work that out. Call them at 514-333-7460. They're a Lennox Premier dealer, but they'll service your system no matter who put it in. For repairs and service, call 514-333-7460. ElectroAid.ca It's the hottest show on TV. Rob Lowe. 911 Lone Star. Canada's number one drama. Get into it. All new. Monday at 9, 10 Mountain. Only on CTV. Then stream anytime. Starters, slingshots, phone calls, and cool prizes. If it's Sunday morning, it's CJAD 800 Trivia Show with Ken Connors and Dan Laxer. Lighthouse. Is it a fine enough morning to play that song? It's always a good time to play that song. All right, so that makes the sun come out. Slingshot round. By the way, the prize, the prize, if you win the prize on the slingshot round, it's going to take you right to the corner of Sherbrooke and Hampton, which is wet. Chang Kang by Yangtze. Oh, yeah, nice. Shout out to Mario and the team. $75 uh, in a certificate. Uh, crispy egg rolls, wonton soup, oh. garlic spare ribs, barbecue pork, service with a smile. The egg rolls are so good. Check out their menu on Facebook. Right? Sherbrooke at Hampton. All right. Let's do this. You're sure you want to go through with this? Because one wrong answer, I'm going to take you down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Takes two correct answers to qualify for the prize. 514-790-0800. Call now. Dan, buckle up. We're going to Pierrefonds. Oh, uh oh. We're going to Pierrefonds. It's a bumpy ride. All right. Hi, Josie. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good. Happy Easter. Happy to you Easter as well. to you. Yes. Yeah. I just wanted uh, to answer the question about the shirt or the. the yeah, the tennis the, question. The, the tennis, tennis, yeah. uh, tennis question. Yeah. Well, it's the polo shirt, the actual symbol on the. On the uh, polo shirt, the logo. So I would the call logo. it a polo shirt that yeah. they wear. It is not the logo. It's an excellent it's, guess because polo was huge in the 1980s. Yeah. Yes. The shirts and the cologne, but or no. the the shirt or the polo shirt or the t-shirt, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. No. Good try though, Josie. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye -bye. Recently, a guy walked by me down the street. He was wearing polo, and I wanted to say, hey, the 80s called. They want their aroma back. <laughs> uh, who's on the line from Verdun? Is that you, Anne? This is me. How Hello. are you today? Oh, good, good to Happy hear from Easter you. Happy Easter to you all. And to you good as well. You. And I think the answer for the tennis is the wristband. It is not the wristband. It's not the wristband. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Oh, I'm so sorry. are we. We want to give you the prize. Right? Well, I wish I was helping, so. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. You too. All right. Um, we're going to Oakville for Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good, good. man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really enjoy your show. Um, Thank you. Well, I think my answer after listening to the last few, maybe you gave a hint, which I missed, uh, regarding uh, tennis apparel or whatever, but I think of significance what happened back in those days was they introduced the tiebreaker. The what? The tiebreaker in tennis. Tennis used to, if you play tennis, oh. used to continue on, you would have to win a set, play two yeah. games. And no, I remember... The question was all about fashion trends. Yeah, it's a okay, fashion, I fashion trend. Part. Oh, yeah, I yeah. thought it had to do just simply do with uh, no. what happened in tennis back no. in those days. No. Anyways, that was a pretty significant change. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks, thanks, for the, thanks. thanks for the call, Dan. Um, let's go to Phil up in St. Silver. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning. Right. Happy Easter. Happy you Passover. You too. To you. I mean, and you I'll too. try the... Uh, and you seem to be zeroing in on the uh, polo shirt. So is it the flipped up collar? Why the flipped up collar? Uh, I guess it was cool. I was too cool for that. But, <laughs> um, 
um, I don't know. I just it was never it was never up, and that seemed to become a trend. But you're asking the why. Well, I'll give it to you. You've got, that's the answer. It's the flipped up collar. Mm -hmm. Started in tennis because it was a way to prevent the back of your neck from getting sunburned. Ah. Yeah. No more rednecks. Exactly. <laughs> no more rednecks, yeah. I still uh, have the collar up a lot of times, but it's my tribute to Fonzie. Of course. <laughs> a different story. Uh, Not what? to Tom Cruise and Risky Business. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Phil, nicely done. Can we sling you? Yes, please. Okay. All right, Phil, what fast food staple has the same name in French as a hockey puck? Rondelle? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. this, has been, this has been in the basket for like two years, and I can't <laughs> believe no one's got it until today. I'm glad There's it's There's a you. piece of gum on the bottom of it. Exactly. It's been in there for so long. Uh, who was the first Beatle to leave the group? Stu Sutcliffe. No. Oh. But don't hang up, Phil. We're going to put you in the draw. Hey, cool. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Uh, he's in the draw for answering one of the starters correctly. Uh, let me go to Holly. Is this Holly? Hi, Holly. Hello. How are you? Good. Holly and St. Henry. Holly, before we proceed, may I say something? Of course. Uh, Dan, do you mind if I talk to Holly in private? By all means. <laughs> in Italian? Oh. Holly, uh -oh. uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had our three yeah. weeks ago, we had our Godfather thing, you were right and I was wrong. I, I, and I heard you did correct it after, so I do appreciate that. Uh, you were oh, right. It was, uh, you. it was about the final the final word spoken. Final word, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know what? I, I missed it. You know, I, Holly, I, I was putting together the uh, quiz at the time. I remember I was drinking a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Italian wine, I hope. It was Italian. It was an Italian red. Uh, so I wanted to mention that. You were right. I was Fair right. enough. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, all right. Let's sling her. Um, Holly, oh my God, it's an Al Pacino question. No. I swear. No. I swear I just pulled it out of the thing. What movie has Al Pacino shouting the iconic line, Attica! Attica! Serpico? No. I, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, now I know what it is. I won't say it. All Thanks, right. Holly. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Eddie, hi. Hi, Eddie. Hello there. That's okay? Yeah, some, one of you come to the phone. We're okay. both at the phone. Okay. All right, hi. Happy Passover to you both. And, and to you. you. All right. All right, guys, in 1934, the Dion quintuplets were born. Yvonne, Annette, Cecile, Marie, and Emily. What set Emily apart from her sisters? She's, well, she was left-handed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what Montreal rocker and model had Taylor Hawkins played drums for? Alanis Morissette. No. Oh, darn. He did play with her, but I said, what Montreal artist? Oh, oh. Now I know. Thanks, guys. And my wife is shouting at me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She's going to be shouting at you for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you. Bye now. Uh, hi, Stephen. Hi, has the Easter Bunny question been answered? Yes. Yeah. Did you know it? I was going to say, when he looks at kids, he should... Not look at him in such a way they can tell he's not really looking through the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true because they look through the mouth or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, was that the answer? No, no. It was. Um, you can't walk on wet grass. On white grass. Wet, 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 wet grass. Because, because oh. then you end up making human footprints. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, here's here's my question now. In the Josie comics, Valerie did not exist until the Pussycats became a group. Why did they need her? Because they needed a keyboard player, yeah, yeah. and they didn't have one. Yeah. He said, let's get Valerie. She plays keyboards. No, no. That's not it? No. no. Because she, was she because they wanted an African-American character? No. Oh. Hmm. You got us. What is it, Stephen? Originally, it was supposed to be Josie, Melody, and Alexandra, but Alexandra tried to blackmail them by saying she won't play with the group unless they change her name to Alexandra's Cool Time Cat. <sighs> and so, so Alex knew Valerie and got her and spoiled the plan. And Alexander was trying to make trouble for the group ever since. It's what happened in Jim and the Holograms and Anne and Nancy Wilson. <laughs> Stephen? Yeah? You ready for a question? Sure. Okay. Stephen, what cocktail contains vodka, lime juice, and triple sec? A Harvey Wallbanger? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stephen, have a great I know week. it contains vodka because when Archie Bunker tried to make one and he failed, he found out <laughs> it was in the... In, ha in Harry's Bartender's Guide under V for Vodka. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Okay, bye. Bye. It's 1145.
Right back. Hey, no one's qualified yet. So what? this yeah, the certificates up for grabs. My goodness. Call now. Grab a line 514-790-0800. Mark Shaloub, hello. Hey there, Ken. Looks like they're putting the finishing touches to picking up the cones outbound Champlain Bridge down to six, seven minutes from Wellington until soon after boarding the span. Victoria Bridge to the South Shore, no go. It's only heading to Montreal until 1.30. Then you can go to CN Alberta. They'll flip it around for you. The Lafontaine Tunnel, you feel it from the 40 all the way into the tunnel for some 25 minutes. Met westbound picking up some more volume now between the 215s as it's to carry northbound from Monkland until Cote St. Catherine. 20 West, Saint-Guignon through Ville Saint-Pierre. Five to ten minutes lost with one lane closed, as well as the exit for the Mercier Bridge. Curl back at First Ave, where I'd get off if you're rolling 20 east with full closure through the interchange until Tuesday morning. Celebrate Easter with deliciously fresh meats from Marché Adonis until April 20th. The beef tenderloin is $10.99 per pound at Marché Adonis. There's no easy on the roads. Calling your tips to Star 800. Your next report at 12.03. Rock marks moments in time. And only one radio station has been doing it in Montreal for over 50 years. Get your rock fix from the spirit of rock. Shom 97.7. No, 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 no. Don't open the oh, shed door. No more space in your shed. The solution. Garage Fontaine. Quality. It's a word that gets tossed around loosely. Everyone claims they have it. Many can't back it up but Ram can. According to J.D. Power, Ram's new vehicle quality ranks number one in the automotive industry. Number one in new quality. How's that for proof? The month of Ram is here. Select owners get up to $4,000 in total discounts on most 2022 models. Choose from the largest Ram inventory on dealer lots in over 18 months. See your Ram dealer for details. Broly Mart knows four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh, hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Broly Martineau is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Broly Martineau, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. If it appears that COVID-19 symptoms like cough, fever, sore throat, and loss of taste and smell are beginning to present themselves, you can begin to self-isolate and take a rapid test at home. After getting your test results, you can learn more about proper self-isolation guidelines by visiting quebec.ca slash self-isolating. This information is there to help protect you and everyone living under the same roof. All of us can make a difference, so let's keep making sure all of us are safe. A message from the Gouvernement du Québec. Find it. Everything you were looking for? I sure did. What? Oh, those are the Inspire points. You earn them with your extra offer, just for you. That's a lot. And with this bottle, how many do I get? Huh, let's see. It's raining Inspire points at the SAQ during the extra offer. Check your exclusive offer on the app or with an in-store advisor. SAQ, the spirit of sharing. Must be 18 years and over. Details at saq.com. Beneva is more than just a new player in the home and car insurance world. They're really good people, too. Like Carl, who talks a little louder to his client who's been front row center at too many rock shows. That's really nice. Or Anne, who speaks Middle English to her client who loves medieval stuff. Gee, that's so nice. Or Marie, who listens to her client's weird dream involving Corey Hart. Now you're talking nice. With such good people, you know you're covered. You bet. For your home and car insurance, compare us. It's worth it. Beneva. Barbie Bar, the place to go for mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs, and the chicken's so tasty, and the crust. Check out Sports Plus and free parking. The Barbie Barn on Sources in DDO. At the Barbie Barn, at the Barbie Barn, at the Barbie Barn, at the Barbie Barn. If you or someone you know has a problem with drugs or alcohol, you're not alone. We can help. Call Andy's house at 514-738-ANDY. That's 514-738-2639. Call today. CTV's The Good Doctor is all new Monday. Change is pushing the team to the edge. I can't trust you. Get into an all new episode of The Good Doctor. Monday at 10, only on CTV. Then stream any.
Chattagay, can we sling you? Um, yeah, I, I, um, to me, I went out for a second. I didn't get the answer to McDonald's question. I thought I would have had it, but... What was your guess? The drive through No, it was the filet of fish because it was Lent and people stopped eating oh, meat. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, right. Here we go. Um, what American port city got its name for its once abundant oyster beds? New York? No. Mm -hmm. Thanks, oh. Brian. All right. Bye now. Hi, Tina. Hi. Hi there. Can you sling me? Of course. What is the highest mountain in Canada and where is it? Uh, Logan, Mount Logan. In? Oh, God. I'll give it to you. It's the Yukon. That's the Yukon. I'll give it to you. Giving it to you. All right. Um, Australian singer, lawyer, and activist Peter Garrett just celebrated a birthday. What band is he the lead singer of? Men at work? I don't know. No. No. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Bye. Bye. Hello, Kevin. Hi, guys. Let's go. Kevin, what uh, carbonated mixer is flavored with quinine? No idea. All righty then. All right. No one has qualified. We need two correct answers, and you get the certificate for a great meal at Yangtze, uh, Hampstead, and Sherbrooke in NDG. Yeah. I got that right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're regular. You got a tab there. Uh, hi, Steve. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. Hi, good. All right. Slingshot. What Beautiful. rock? What rock goddess from the 1970s and 80s was born Patricia May Andrzejewski? Wow, uh, Pat Benatar. Yes, yes, of thank you, thank you. Yeah. Been in the basket for three years. That question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many people used to put benzoic sulfamide in their coffee before it was deemed carcinogenic in the 1970s. What was it better known as? Saccharin. Yes, two. Our qualifier. Two. <clears throat> uh, what? Roll it up. What church-based expression means you're trying to convince somebody who already agrees with you? to the choir. Yep. Three. On August 21st, 1911, Vincenzo Perugia walked out of the Louvre Museum in Paris with what under his arm? The Mona Lisa. Yep. Four. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> what in, uh, no, in 19th century Europe, so many were dying of consumption, also known as what? Tuberculosis? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like he's reading over my shoulder. Someone's walking out with a certificate under it's his creepy. arm. In 2003, McDonald's sued both the Oxford English Dictionary and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Both had included a term used in pop culture to describe a dead-end job. What was the word? McJob. Yep. <laughs> Six. This one's upside down. Ah, who are the original drummer and bass player of the Beatles? Uh, Stu Sutcliffe and uh, Best. Oh, I'll give Pete it Best. to you. Pete Best. Mm -hmm. How many is that now? Seven. What? It's ridiculous. What is Captain America's secret identity? Steve Rogers. Yep. Also pitched for the Expos. <laughs> Blue, Blue Monday, guys. Blue Monday. Oh, don't bring it up. I still cry. What? <laughs> Uh, whose first meal included bacon squares, sugar cookie cubes, fruit juice, and coffee? Oh, you got me. All right, then. Eight. Nice run, Steve. Wow. Thanks. All right. Uh, do not hang up. Steve out in Point Claire. Okay. Uh, let's take another call here. This is Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hi. Good morning. Good I feel like morning. I'm going to beat that, but you, you can never bring me anyway. Confidence. I'm already hurting. Go Con ahead. How many syllables are there in total in a basic haiku? I'm going to say five. No. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank Have you, a Sonia. great week. You too. Thank you, Sonia. Yep. All right. Hi, Debbie. Debbie? Hi, Debbie? Hi. Hi. Hi, Deb. How are you? I'm still... I was debating hanging up after that guy's run. Oh, oh come glad, on. It glad didn't glad you, take him long. I'm glad you stuck around to say hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you both. Oh, Bay Durfee. Let me, let, let's, let's start with one question. All right. What Michael Keaton movie from 1988 is named for a star in the constellation Orion the Hunter? Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great week, Debbie. You too. Bye-bye. Bye now. Uh, Caroline's on the line. Hello, yes, Caroline. Yes. Hi. Okay, wish me luck. All right. Yeah. What literary classic by American novelist Herman Melville partially inspired the naming of Starbucks? Oh, my goodness. Literature? No. Can't. Don't know. All right, then. I hear you. Thanks, Caroline. Oh. 
Bye Thank now. you. Bye. You're welcome. 514-790-0800-1156. Uh, let's say hi to, uh, I guess, Blair. Hi, Blair. Hi, Blair. Oh. Blair? Blair? Yes, we're here. Hi. 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 Another Al Pacino question for some reason. What movie has Al Pacino saying hua and dancing the tango? Um, Shark Tales. No. (laughs) (laughs) All right, thanks, guys. Robert De De Niro was in that. What? Shark Tales. Oh, I, I thought he just made that up. No. Because I, I do that when we're watching Jeopardy at home. I just shut up. I make things up <laughs> for answers. Shark Tales. <laughs> uh, out to beautiful Hudson where we find Dave. Hi, Dave. Gentlemen. Yeah. What a great show today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I would love to ask you a question, but just let her, let her rip. All Can right. You? According to an old Daffy Duck Porky Pig cartoon, what was the name and occupation of the Shropshire Slasher? I'm sunk. <laughs> okay. Have a great weekend. Thank you, you too. Dave. You too. Uh, yeah, we're closing in on the uh, top of the hour here. I think we have time to maybe squeeze in another call or two. 514-790-0800. Uh, the leftover is still out there, right, about the virus? Yeah, that's right. In the yeah. wake of the COVID pandemic, how are some governments... Sorry. <laughs> it's scroll up scroll down this over how are some governments attempting to prevent the spread of disease like the zika virus somebody came close last week when they guessed something about pond water yeah yeah all right uh off to laval hi isabella hello isabella hi i'm here with my family oh. Passover. <laughs> Th- and to you thank you name some names lisa isabella vito alessandro Jeez, that's a big car. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those little smart cars. They're a Cirque, no. Cirque du Soleil. They're a family of clowns. Isabella, here's question number one for you. Strictly yeah. strictly speaking, what does a cavalry refer to? Military. Not close enough, sir. Could you have asked around the car before you answered? Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Hey, thanks for calling and thanks for listening bon, to the show. Bona Pasqua. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> oh, and there's the music. Oh, way to go. Steve out in Point Claire with eight. Nice run of Jeez. eights. Crazy eights. I'm telling you. Uh, he picks up that certificate for Yangtze uh, in NDG. Thank you to all our players, all our winners. Uh, it was a great three hours. Um, our CJD 800 trivia show, written and compiled by the guy sitting opposite me, Dan Laxer. Yeah, blame me. Ken Connors puts together the audio quiz. And that there's Ben Lange at Trivia Control. And David Trinidui in the return performance in uh, Trivia Control on the phones. That's a guy with his own beer, too. Mm-hmm. Next week, the Beatles almost get back together. And Paul McCartney comes back to life. L'chaim. That's what I said. Th- I said L'chaim. And I said back to life. I'm confused. I don't even know what we're talking about. So w- what do we do now? Go home. All right, then. See you next week. Mom, see you next Sunday. Ah, ha, ah, ha. When the time comes to buy or lease a Mazda, never compromise on quality. Get your Mazda from Spinelli Mazda. This season, the choice is yours at Spinelli Mazda. Get a Mazda Credit Plus iActive all-wheel drive, now standard on all 2022 CX-5 models. And enjoy Remote Star, included in a two-year trial of Mazda-connected services on select models. Speed up to good weather. Come to Spinelli Mazda today. Spinelli Mazda in Lachine, the address of choice for all automotive services. You're listening to The Voice of Montreal. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800, an iHeart radio station. This newscast is brought to you by 1 800 Got Junk. No contact junk removal from 1 800 Got Junk. All you have to do is point. Gentlemen, are we having trouble in the bedroom? It can be hard, so to speak, to talk about intimacy issues. Or maybe it's not hard, as it were. If you feel like it's all happening too fast, consider a visit to Elna Sexual Wellness. Talk about it with your partner. That's the most important part. And then book a consultation at elnasexualwellness.com. Even if it's medical treatments, help is available. Always with respect and discretion. Take a break from your usual online activity and visit elnasexualwellness.com. 
Uh, hi there, Ken Connors. With a word for Electrica, and naturally the warmer weather is going to have us spending more time relaxing and entertaining on the deck or on the pool. Well, with an eye on the outside of your home, one of the many services that Electrica provides is landscape lighting. Professionally designed and, of course, expertly installed, landscape lighting will make the outside of your home great. So take advantage of every minute of the warmer weather while it's here with help from the company that can light up your home inside and out. 514-768-7778. That's Electrica with a K.ca. Good afternoon. It's 12 o'clock. I'm Dean Bertoya with your CTV News Update. It's currently 5 degrees. More weather details in minutes. Here's what's making news right now. The Journal de Montréal is reporting that as high as gas prices are now, they're set to skyrocket even higher this summer. Today, gas prices are sitting just $0.07 cents under $2 a litre, which is a $0.24 cent increase per liter in just the past three days. Canadians for Affordable Energy President Dan McTeague says if those prices shock you, just wait till summer demand rolls around. McTeague explains that every year there's a change from winter gas to summer gas. Winter gasoline uses butane, which is cheaper to produce and fires engines faster in the cold, while summer blends use more expensive materials more often found in premium gas. This switch alone usually costs consumers five to eight cents more per liter. Any other events, such as natural disasters that disrupt the supply chain, would bump prices Prices even higher. Ukraine's Prime Minister says the besieged city of Mariupol hasn't yet fallen to Russia and the Ukrainian forces there will fight to the end. Prime Minister Denis Shmihal has appealed for help for the approximately 100,000 Ukrainians who remain trapped in the eastern city without food, water, heat or electricity. We need more uh, money for uh, executing of our humanitarian and social obligations from side of our country. Capturing the city would give Moscow a crucial success in Ukraine following a botched attempt to storm the capital and the loss of the Russian Navy's Black Sea flagship. And the U.S. Space Force, meantime, is on alert for a potential threat to Elon Musk's Starlink satellite network. A month ago, Starlink reportedly began sending thousands of Starlink antennas to Ukraine. Just three days ago, Russia's warship in the Black Sea sank. Russia's concern now may be that Starlink satellites could have helped Ukrainian forces direct missiles. Experts who monitor space debris in orbit tell ABC News that striking the Starlink satellites would be close to an act of war and Russia previously proving it is capable of destroying a satellite in orbit. In a weapons test last November, Russia blew up an old orbiting satellite. The resulting debris forced the crew of the International Space Station to shelter in capsules for a couple of hours. The Starlink network has thousands of small satellites in orbit, which could eventually provide internet access to the entire world. Follow us on Twitter at CJD800. And now with the latest from the CJD 800 Traffic Center, here's Mark Shalhoub. Some good news, Dean. Outbound Champlain Bridge, the REM work has wrapped up, free-flowing over there. Victoria Bridge to the South Shore remains closed until 1.30 with only inbound traffic until then. LaFontaine Tunnel, slight improvement, still 25 minutes, but from Beaubien to the Anjou Interchange. Inbound, some resistance in the Sherbrooke to Beaubien sectors. Met West, just some volume between the two fifteens. Southbound side of the expressway, top third sluggishness, northbound, off and on, Monkland to the top, 10 minutes, 20 west. Angrignol through Ville Saint-Pierre with one lane closed until Tuesday morning, along with the exit for the Mercier Bridge. Curl back at First Ave, where you should get off if you're rolling 20 east with a full closure in VSP. Rubber meets road at Canadian Tires. Big spring tire sale now until April 28th. Save up to 25% on select trusted top brands. Details online. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJAD 800. Next 1250. Your Dorm Avery Weather Center forecast, a mix of sun and cloud today with a high of 7 degrees. The skies will be clearing tonight, but temperatures dropping significantly with an overnight low of minus 3. Warming up again tomorrow with a sunny day and a high of 10 degrees, but an early morning wind chill will feel like minus 7. It's 5 degrees downtown right now. For all the news during the day, stream us on your smart speaker. Just say, play CJD 800. Your next CTV News update is at 1 o'clock. The opinions expressed in the following program are provided for general information purposes only and should not be construed as advice from CJ8800 or Bell Media. Listeners should always consult their own qualified healthcare provider with medical questions or concerns. The following is sponsored content. Welcome to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. 
Supporting innovative research in healthcare is an important pillar for the MUHC Foundation. On today's show, we speak with Dr. Nadia Gianetti about an innovative cardiac research project that is as fascinating as it sounds futuristic. It involves developing a miniature model of a patient's heart in a dish. And we speak to a patient whose treatment has been helped by this research. But first, we have tremendous gratitude for nurses. Nurses have made countless sacrifices in unimaginable circumstances, including putting their own health at risk to care for patients with COVID-19. Nurses are an invaluable part of an extraordinary community at the MUHC under the careful leadership of my first guest. Chantal Souligny is the Director of Nursing at the MUHC. She has recently retired after many long years, and we are thrilled to have her on the show. Hello, Chantal. Hello, Tara. Thank you. Thank you and for welcoming me. Let's go back a little bit. When did you start your career as a nurse? Um, I started at the Royal Victoria Hospital um, uh, in August 1983 as a brand new registered nurse. <laughs> Incredible. So how many, I'm trying to do math really quickly now and I'm not doing very well. How many years ago is that? Uh, 38 years. 38 years. So much must have changed in that time. Tell us about some of the changes you've seen. Um, for sure, um, one of the major change is um, uh, the, 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 the appearance of um, health conditions that are more chronic, you know, so people uh, who do now with technology and advancement of therapy uh, live, uh, you know, a, a productive life uh, with certain chronic disease, but some disease like uh, cancer um, requires some intensive treatment and the uh, patient have longer stay in the hospital. I mean, I've been in a tertiary, tertiary meaning a super hosp uh, specialized hospital all my career. So I've mostly seen the sickest of the patient, but over time, these disease uh, progress in a way that patients can receive more treatment at home, more self-manage their disease, and live a more productive life. And nursing has contributed to this immensely. Absolutely. I almost also think many changes must have been around gender. When you started 38 years ago, it must have been an exclusively female career. And now there are so many men in this career now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, our um, uh, male colleagues, yes, there, there's, there's been a lot more um, interest uh, for our male colleagues. And in fact, uh, the the person uh, who is replacing me now is going to be a man, director of nursing, and it's a first at the MUHC. Incredible. Changes <laughs> upon changes. How, ma how many nurses work at the MUHC? How many staff have you been overseeing over these years? Oh, um, if I just uh, just nurses, it's about three thousand yeah. uh, five hundred, and then we have nursing assistants. So it it can go up to with the patient attendant, it can be a team of six to seven thousand employees. We are speaking with Chantal Souligny, Director of Nursing at the MUHC, which is an enormous job. What have you, I mean, you just announced your retirement. You've, I think you've been retired for three days now. Um, what has been some of the most memorable moments for you in your job? Uh, the most memorable moment is um, the many opportunities I had uh, in my organization to um, to be able to uh, advance my career and knowledge, you know, with many opportunities to uh, to study and, um, you know, do my master's degree and uh, continue my professional development. And then to realize that um, an ultra-specialized sec sector of care is really where I feel I thrive, especially when I work at the Montreal Chess Institute, which is part of the MUHC. It's an ultra-specialized hospital for respiratory care. And to be able to collaborate with my medical colleagues and allied health colleagues 
in um, the development of specialized program with people with respiratory disease. This was these were amazing twenty years where you know you you become an expert in a area of care, and and these were very very special moments. And my last special moment was the move in a ultra modernized hospital at mm-hmm. the Glen. This this was the ultimate dream because we work for so long in um you know um establishment that that are old and dealing with you know many obstacles uh, and challenges with ventilation, air conditioning, mm-hmm. etc and you know, having to deal with that and try to have our patients and staff comfortable. But now working in a brand new, clean establishment with new equipment, that was the highlight, uh, really. um, This this was great. But the most part for me is the team, is to be able to enjoy working with your team for like 38 years. There's people I've known there for Mm -hmm. 38 years and are still there. And it's like a family. And for me, even if it's like hundreds of people like that, it it was um these were all my highlights is, is the organization as a whole and everything that it allowed me to do. A very, very big family. We are speaking with Chantal Souligny, Director of Nursing at the MUHC, retired only a few days now from an extraordinary career, leaving uh, an incredibly important job. What do you think will be the impact that you will be leaving behind, Chantal, as you move on to the next phase of your life? Well, I think I it I really realize and it confirmed uh, during my farewell a few days ago where people remember me as um, a person as much when I was a nurse than when I became a nurse manager and a director is that in, in order for us to do well in helping our patients is to try for you know, all the time improving and and have a focus on quality of care and quality of service to our patients and family, but also to take care of our staff. And mm. I think during the pandemic, this became so obvious um, if we wanted to do well. And, and I'm very proud at, at what we have done. I think we've done very well and we've done as as much as we could to try to take care of our staff at the same time as responding to this public health emergency and i think this is what people have expressed that they felt it was unique what they saw in me is my deep deep concern for these um, three um, important uh, elements Wow, what a wonderful legacy to be leaving behind. A director of nursing at the MUHC is a big enough and a tough enough job as it is. It must have been unimaginable, really, for, for most of us, what that was like during the pandemic. Can you share a little bit of that? Sure, I can certainly uh, share a little bit of that. Um, I think the pandemic, uh, which we knew was going to come, and we were prepared at a certain level, but never um, because every pandemic, you don't know, you know, how a virus will react. And for us, um, we needed to really, really transform quickly the hospital uh, to become a hospital that can offer a much higher level of care, especially in respiratory care and ICU. And um, we needed to be very creative in finding solutions to um, to uh, to preserve a uh, protection for uh, equipment for our staff, um, to be able to stay in touch with families because families couldn't visit anymore. For us, this was like such a a different way of functioning, not allowing any visitors. And uh, and uh, mostly it's the, the staffing response. You know, we, we lost so much staff. And at the same time, I needed to, within weeks, to train over, I would say, you know, 200 nurses in, in wow. higher intensity care and ICU care. And um, so we all work very intensely. Believe me, this was a 24-hour day job. I think uh, most of us yeah. have no trouble believing that, Chantal. Yeah, yeah. 
What does um, life look like for you post an incredibly busy and no doubt rewarding job? What 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 are your plans for the next few years? Uh, my plans. Well, I'm my plans, and it's hard to say that when I see <laughs> my colleagues working so hard. But it is too rough. Yeah. <laughs> Come focus more on my family because in the last two years, uh, my family has been very supportive, but I didn't see many of them. And, Mm -hmm. you know, my son's getting married and all that. So spend more time with my family and coming back to these basic. And um, and then we will see we will see what what uh, the months and 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 you know, years ahead, but I'm still a nurse at heart. So I know myself, I will want to go and help um, in some way. And we will see. I have no doubt, Chantal. Chantal Sunini, Director of Nursing at the MUHC, retired only a few year, few days now after 38 years. Chantal, it has been absolutely wonderful speaking with you. Congratulations uh, on everything that you've accomplished and, and everything that, that lies ahead. I thank you very much, Tara, for for giving me this opportunity and also how highlighting how important uh, for the public now more than ever um, uh, how important it is uh, uh, nursing care, you know, for our community. And you can be reassured that nurses are there and they will continue to be there to to protect and help our population. I have no doubt. Thank you so much, Chantal. Next up on Health Matters, compassionate care is imperative when it comes to palliative care. Hear how staff at the MUHC bear witness to so much more than suffering. Now an update from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. So give yourself a few extra minutes on this Easter Sunday slash pass over Sunday as well. And we have volume 20 west, 10 minutes en grignon through Ville Saint-Pierre. One out of two lanes knocked out until Tuesday morning, along with the exit for the Mercier Bridge closed off the 20 west. Curl back at first half where I'd suggest exiting with the full closure through Ville Saint-Pierre instead of doubling back at Clem off the 138 to carry northbound stop and go. Coat St. Luke to the top. It's manageable, as is the southbound side over the top third in the Met West with a few extra vehicles there now between Stinson and the carry up on La Fontaine, your heaviest spot out there, about 25 minutes from Beaubien through the tunnel to Il Charon. Order the redesign 2022 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 now with the optional turbo diesel engine that gets 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. I'm Mark Shalhoub with your next CJAD 800 traffic and transit report at 1230. Anytime news breaks, CJAD 800 has it. 62-year-old Frank James appeared in court with two federal defenders and will be held on a permanent order of detention on terror charges. On the air, on Twitter, email to your inbox. Up to the minute. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. CJAD 800 would like to put a little extra cash in your pocket. Just listen to the Andrew Carter Morning Show to play the Can't Lose Quiz and win $100 to spend at CNN Textiles. Do it once, do it right. With locations in Montreal, Laval, Brossard, and Ottawa. See their products at cmtextiles.com. The Can't Lose Quiz. You don't even really have to know stuff. Well, maybe a little. On News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. Now there's more choice than ever at your Mazda dealer with the luxurious CX-5 Signature Edition. Ooh, I think I'll get that one. The powerful Mazda CX-5 Sport Design. Ah, maybe I'll get that one. And the elegant CX-5 Kuro Edition. Elegant, that's the one. Visit your Mazda dealer today to get the redesigned 2022 CX-5 of your choice, complete with fuel-efficient Skyactiv technology and standard iActive all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, too? That's choice. I'm coming. Burley Martino's four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh, hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Burley Martino is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Burley Martino, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. So, catchy ads and influencers are pushing a crypto. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. 
So, here's a crypto investment opportunity from a person or platform that's not registered with the AMF. Interested in crypto? So are scammers. Learn how to spot and avoid their traps on the Autorité des Marchés Financiers website. Commemorating the 30th anniversary of her iconic album, Lorena McKinnett, The Visit Revisited. Sunday, October 2nd at Sal Wilfred Peltier. Performing The Visit in its entirety, plus many more favorites. Don't miss Lorena McKinnett. Tickets on sale now at Plastezard.com. A Ruben Fogel production. Welcome to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. If you have had a loved one go into palliative care, it can be a very emotional time. Families hope their loved one is not in pain and dealing with the grief of end of life. The MUHC is fortunate to have many compassionate care health workers who specialize in palliative care. Dr. Justin Sanders is the director and the Cappy and Eric M. Flanders chair in palliative care at McGill. He is also the research director. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, Dr. Sanders. Thank you so much for having me, Tara. I think we all understand palliative care to a certain degree, but perhaps you could begin by being more specific about what it involves. Sure. Palliative care is a medical specialty that involves uh, caring for people who are experiencing life-limiting or life-threatening illness. And uh, that involves um, managing their symptoms, uh, which could be pain or nausea, either as a result of the, the disease itself or the treatment, um, as well as the emotional support uh, to help people cope with serious illness. How important is it for families to have discussions about palliative care and end-of-life care? I think it's critically important for families and patients to have conversations about um, what they uh, understand about the illness as it exists, um, as it advances, um, and to think about together what kinds of, um, what kinds of uh, care they would want to receive that reflect the things that are most important to them. And what kind of staff work in palliative care? I always imagine it must be a very, you know, a certain type of person that can do that day in and day out. What do you think about that? Well, I think there's something about the, um, the type of person that goes into palliative care, and then there's something about right. the way in which we practice palliative care. So, um, for example, I, at the core of palliative care is the idea of interdisciplinarity or interprofessionalism, and so critical to the delivery of palliative care is the involvement of physicians, nurses, um, art and music therapists, social workers, and this full team comes together to really support patients and families and address um, the, multiple, um, the multiple ways in which people suffer in the face of serious illness. I think when you think about the type of person that goes into palliative care, certainly I'll speak for myself as, as a physician mm -hmm. and those with whom I work, I think we're, um, we are concerned about the relationships that we have um, in, in healthcare and in medicine, and, and we really um, are people, who I think, who seek the, um, the emotional um, satisfaction and um, enrichment of the kinds of uh, engagement that we have with patients and their families in this really critical time of their lives. Is that why you decided to pursue a career in palliative care, or did it come from something else, and how long ago was that? So I started my palliative care career in 2013, I would say, when I when I was completed started a fellowship in palliative care at, um, at Harvard Medical School. Um, the I think the origin of my work in this palliative care was much earlier and probably started um, at the bedside of my um, best and oldest friend um, who died of ovarian cancer at the age of 21, and mm. who I had the privilege of being with uh, in those last. Uh, in the last day and moments of her life. Uh, and I, I think very early on after, after that, I knew um, from my first days in medical school that, um, that palliative care was the, uh, was the field that I would pursue uh, when I graduated. Wow, that's incredible. We are speaking with Dr. Justin Sanders, and we are talking about palliative care. Um, prior to us starting this interview, Dr. Sanders, we talked, I mentioned to you that my mom worked in palliative care during her long career mm -hmm. as a nurse. And in one of the articles I read about you, there was a quote that, that was said about those working in palliative care. And, and I really loved it. And you mentioned the word suffering. The quote was that 
you know, people who work in palliative care bear witness to so much more than suffering. And I thought it was so beautiful and it felt so true. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's interesting because for a long time and nearly four decades now, medicine and in particular palliative care has been concerned with human suffering, um, which is which was an innovation in and of itself in a um, and was something that Eric Cassell, for example, wrote uh, wrote about um, a lot four decades ago uh, and subsequently. But I think that there's something that we bear witness to uh, in the form of joy and healing that is actually mm. um, just as important. Um, I liken it to uh, the, the address of the redress of suffering as sort of pulling weeds in a garden. But I think that there's some there are seeds that we plant as well, and I think the radical idea at the center of um, at the at the sort of origin of palliative care is this idea that people and their loved ones can experience healing um, throughout the course of serious illness and even up to and beyond um, dying. And I think that's incredibly important because it gives us an opportunity to really value this time of serious illness in people's lives in new ways and think about it as a time of growth, not simply a time in which we're trying to stamp out uh, suffering in its multiple forms. I also imagine you would add, like, it can be a very beautiful time, a very peaceful time. And also, would you put acceptance in there, that sort of road to acceptance that when people are finally ready to go, that there is that sort of that letting go, that acceptance period? You know, there's something really special, of course, when someone has uh, the opportunity to approach their um, final days and their death with equanimity and with, with what mm-hmm. we think of as acceptance. On the other hand, I think it's a, it becomes sort of a, uh, it can be something that makes people suffer in new ways when we sort of hold them to this standard of acceptance. Right. And I think that there's a lot of people who, um, don't want to accept the fact that they're dying. And I think that we need to be okay with that and to meet people where they are. Um, And so I think that the the dialogue about acceptance has been one that's been present for for years and has accompanied a sort of greater discussion about how if we only accepted death more and talked about it more, that everything would be better. And I think that that's kind of a failed hypothesis. What do you think is the better trajectory for that then? I think we need to think about how um, this time is important in all the ways that people come into it um, and that recognize that there are lots of reasons why people don't want to talk about dying and that really we should be focusing on life and focusing on how to make sure that every, um, every lived moment is as rich as possible and reflects the values and goals of the people who are in it at that time. Uh, I think that that would be a more productive discussion and it actually would lead people to palliative care much earlier Um, because if palliative care is only about dying, then I think we really miss out the opportunity and the benefit that, uh, that I think the literature promises. That's an interesting point. If we only think about it as dying, is it, is it because people in your opinion are, I don't want, are put into or transferred into palliative care too late that they're only transferred in there when they say, look, there's nothing else that we can do for you. You're going to go here now. Is that what you think needs to change? That's right. Because the problem with the, the problem with the the tight association between palliative care and end of life care alone is that patients and families are sort of left at the whim of whoever decides that it's the end of life. And people differ in that clinicians differ in that. Is it the last two days? Is it the last two weeks? Is it the last two months? And I think when we leave people in that situation, um, they end up suffering and they end up coming to palliative care um, too late. We are talking about palliative care and we're speaking with Dr. Justin Sanders. If you have a message to convey to the people who are listening to us today about palliative care, what would you like them to know? So I think the most important thing to know about palliative care, and this is backed up by a growing body of research, is that if you have a serious illness, meaning that you're experiencing advanced cancer or end-stage organ disease, um, no matter what, uh, at what point in the trajectory of that advanced illness, if you're not having access to palliative care or the principles by which it's informed, you're not getting the best care. And so I think that what we really need is patients and their loved ones to demand palliative care in this community and to recognize, you know, based on the recognition that it's not something uh, that they're not receiving the most benefit if it's something that they only have access to in the last few days of life. 
Have there been enough changes in this field, do you think, over the last years or decades? Or do you think it has stayed sort of as this idea of you're only going to palliative care when you're at the very end? Well, I actually think that the, 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 this idea that it's only at the very end is one that's reinforced by the sort of structures of care. Um, I think mm-hmm. that one of the things that's been great about palliative care evolution over the last several decades is that, or the last few decades, um, is that we've just generated a huge evidence base that allows us to care better for people, to, to address their suffering um, in multiple ways, um, and, uh, and, and that's been really powerful. I think what happens... Um, in settings like um, Quebec and other places where resources are limited is that the sort of um, uh, we are put in a position where palliative care can only be received at the end of life and the resources aren't put there. And I actually think that does not reflect what we know, um, what we know about the true benefits of palliative care for people across the course of serious illness. Justin Sanders, Dr. Justin Sanders is the director and the Cappy and Eric M. Flanders chair in palliative care at McGill. Uh, Dr. Sanders, such a fascinating conversation. I could talk about this all day. I find it really interesting and, and so important. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us on Health Matters today. I'm so grateful for the time. Thank you. Next up, growing a heart in a dish to help personalize patient treatment. Now an update from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. Lafontaine Tunnel to the South Shore. Yes, it has that single lane closed from Sherbrooke through the tunnel until the end of the year. And that's why you're losing some 20 to 25 minutes from Beaubien. All other routes to the shore are in good shape, save for the Victoria Bridge, which is closed until 1.30. Access to Montreal only until that time. Then you'll be able to drive to St. Aubert until 5 tomorrow morning once 1.30 kicks around our way to carry north off and on from snowden to the top southbound some volume over the top third as is the case intermittently met west between rockland and to carry 20 west 10 minutes from Montagnol through phil st pierre with one lane closed until tuesday morning along with the exit for the outbound Mercier bridge the new 2022 mazda cx5 signature edition sport design and Kuro edition with fuel efficient sky active technology and standard all-wheel driver waiting at your mazda dealer today i'm mark shalou with your next cjad 800 traffic and transit report at 12 12 40 You're listening to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. You have a renovation project, but you don't know where to start? I recommend Reno Assistance by Desjardins. A renovation advisor will assist you and provide up to three quotes from verified contractors. All this at no cost or obligation. Your only challenge is to remember what I just said. To help you, I'll sing it. La la la. Reno Assistance, Reno Assistance.ca. I'm not a singer, and you probably figured that out. There's no time to waste. Live in the moment and ride with us. Ride a Lexus Laval. Lease the 2022 Lexus RX Hybrid 450H demo for $499.99 bi weekly. Certain conditions apply. Ride with us. Ride a Delari. I'm going to Shokutsu for the great Air Miles offer. Maybe get a couple extra Easter chocolates while I'm at it. We've got tons of chocolates. Well, not tons. Besides, the Easter Bunny's got to make sure there's enough for everyone. Uh-huh, including the Easter Bunny himself, right? And Mrs. Easter Bunny. This Saturday and Sunday at Jean Kutsu, get 50 Air Miles bonus miles when you spend $75 on almost anything. It's the perfect time to stock up on last-minute chocolates for your Easter egg hunt. And you're sure to find something sweet for all your sweeties. Details at JeanCoutsu.com. The heart, the mind, and the Toyota RAV4. Heart, the RAV4's many power options must have you all pumped up. You know it, mind. The kick sensor power back door, clunk, it opens by itself. The power moonroof, the power heated front seats, I'm so happy, it tingles. You also have the power to control your emotions. Yes, of course I can control my... No, no, I can't. I'm way too excited. Heart or mind, order your RAV4 during Toyota's Red Tag Days. Montrealer's favorite fine furniture store is Mobile Art Decor. For over 30 years, Mobile Art has been the best source of exceptional, top quality luxury furniture, custom upholstery, and accessories for lighting and design that will inspire and motivate you. Imported from Europe and around the world for every room and every taste. For a truly unique experience, professional interior design advice, and great service, visit Mobile Art, 8260 Devonshire, west of DeCary. MobileArt.ca. 
Shatter Mobile has nationwide prepaid plans with nationwide coverage from only $15 a month. That's really, really, really affordable. At Shatter, there's no credit checks, no term contracts, no commitment. So it's easy to say yes, yes, yes. And Chatter Mobile is Canada's number one prepaid mobile provider because Chatter is very, very, very good at what they do. With Chatter Mobile, now you make the call. Visit your local store or chattermobile.com today. We need to sell the house. It's great that we have multiple offers, but I don't know how to do this. It's too much. How are we supposed to coordinate it all? You're not. That's our job. I'm Terry Kilakos, president and founder of Northeast. Taking the worry off of your shoulders is what we do. When you list your home with Northeast, you join a team of expert realtors who will handle the sale of your home beginning to end. So stop worrying. Let Terry and his team make your dreams come true. Call Northeast today at 514 680 674. You're listening to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz, brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. Personalized care is a bit of a buzzword in the medical world right now, and for good reason. It's one of the ways doctors and researchers at the MUHC and the Research Institute at the MUHC are working toward improving treatments and outcomes for patients. One project is called Heart in a Dish. It's all about personalized treatment, and it's also really, really cool. Dr. Nadia Gianetti is the director of the Heart Failure and Heart Transplant Program at the McGill University Health Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Tara, for having me. I love the Heart in a Dish project. It is so fascinating. It really is a heart in a dish. Tell us more. So the Heart in a Dish is a large team initiative, and it stems from the Courtois Cardiovascular Signature Program, which was made possible through a large donation to the MUHC by the Courtois Foundation. What this is, is a project that's looking at a particular kind of cardiac pathology called dilated cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy is really a disease of the heart muscle, where the heart muscle is weak so the cardio is heart, pathy is weak, and myo is muscle. So cardiomyopathy is weak heart muscle. And that's really, we're trying to understand the cause of cardiomyopathy in our patients so that we can then personalize the treatment uh, for those patients. So do you take a portion of someone's heart and put it in a dish to study it and, and help find personalized treatment? Tell us about that angle. So the, fast, the fascinating thing about Heart in a Dish is this is done with just a simple blood test. So we take blood from patients, a sort of a standard amount of blood, and a routine kind of poke for a blood test. The blood is then processed in the lab of my colleague, Dr. Renzo Ciceri. And in that lab, they, they, they process the blood, and it takes, it takes a few weeks, and they're able to create what are called stem cells. This is in particular kind of stem cells, which are pluripotential stem cells, which means that they are stem cells that can differentiate into different cells. So the blood in Dr. Chacheri's lab is transformed into stem cells. From that lab, we send the blood to the campus, McGill campus, the lab of my other colleague, Dr. Terry Hébert. And in his, in his lab, they take the stem cells and they create cardiomyocytes in the dish. So that means that we go from blood to stem cells to muscle cells in a dish. The cardiomyocytes in the dish are literally muscle cells in a dish of the one particular individual. And we see them in the dish and they're actually contracting as uh, cardiac muscle cells do. Cardiac muscle cells contract. That's part of the, a particular feature of, of a heart muscle cell. And we can see them beating in the dish, which is what, really what is so fascinating about this, pro this project. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure, because, you know, when you were talking about contracting, I really wanted to jump in and say, okay, Dr. Gianetti, this heart muscle is quite literally beating in a dish. That's right. That's right. So we can see the heartbeat of this, this cardiac muscle. And, and this allows us to look much more closely. Again, this is done in Dr. Ebel's lab where they look much more closely at the cellular level, at what is happening, the pathways, the biochemical pathways at the cellular level. And, and once you identify sort of changes within the pathway at the cellular level, then you can imagine a scenario where we would, we, you would try different therapeutic options. Okay. So different medications 
on directly on that particular person's muscle cells in a lab. So that the plan or, or the ultimate goal is to take, you know, to take at one individual, take their blood, process their blood, create muscle cells, and then see what the what the problem is with the muscle cell and what in particular that muscle cell responds to in terms of therapy to improve the function or normalize the function of that muscle contraction. Absolutely fascinating. We are speaking with Betty. We're talking about personalized medicine and one in particular called heart in a dish. So how many hearts in a dish have you studied right now? How many patients have benefited so from this project have... so far? So we have about 150 uh, patients enrolled, and we're continuing to continue to enroll patients. And these are processed through. Not all 150 are at that point yet. It's, it's a it's a timely and and costly endeavor. So we're moving forward. So at this present time, we have about 25 patients whose hearts are who have heart muscles in a dish, uh, and and we're going to con- we're continuing to process the other patients. And 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 we're finding things, and I'm. Gonna, you know, I'm not at the point yet when I can, when I can, you know, that I can tell you what exactly we're finding, but we are finding there, uh, you know, uh, variants in the different kind of muscle cells that are being tested, that are being uh, analyzed, and 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 uh, it's really actually a very exciting project, and I'm hoping that within a year or so, or so we'll have really reasonable results. And, and reproducible results to start uh, to start talking about our findings, um, and 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 really we hope that in the near future, then as I mentioned, we'll be able to really start personalizing the the way that we treat people with weak heart muscles. So so I'm very optimistic that this project is going to yield some very interesting results. Twenty five hearts that are currently beating in a dish, and how long does it take from? A blood test to growing the stem cells to growing heart muscle that is beating in a dish. What is that time frame? It's about it's somewhere between eight and twelve weeks, and and and, and it so, has to be done in a very very precise, very meticulous manner. And there's a whole team of people. I mentioned my colleagues that I work with, but they have they each have you know large teams. This is a really large team effort. From the start at the MUHC where we're recruiting participants, we have a team here. There's a team in Dr. Tachery's lab, a team in Dr. Ebert's lab. So there's really working on this project, just sort of just this project. There are currently about 30 to 40 people working just on this project. So so the, 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 the scope is, 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 is enormous. You mentioned that you're still not at the the point where you can talk about you know results and findings, but but when do you think you might be able to? When when is the, what are the next steps for this this so project? So I'm hoping. In terms of who uh, I'm benefit? hoping within. That's a good question. So I look forward to talking about results and findings. So whenever we have findings, we want to make sure they're reproducible. So just to give you an example, we're seeing differences in males and females in terms of some responses oh. to, to sort of stimulus. Okay, so that'll be very interesting to be able to show that. But before we start talking about results, we want to reproduce this in, in, a, in a large group, not just sort of have one or two, uh, you know, patient cells. So, so we're looking sort of, you know, to be able to show that these, these, uh, these results are robust and reproducible and before we share our findings with everyone. But I expect that we'll be able to share our findings within, with, certainly within the year, we'll have some interesting findings that we will be, you know, presenting the, the, the goal is to then, you know, present this at meetings and, 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 and peer review with, with other colleagues and eventually write up in, 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 in journals. Again, this is peer reviewed. So this data, you know, has to be uh, peer reviewed, re, you know, meaning that it's reviewed by, by, uh, by other scientists and, and that it's reproducible. Uh, so, so I'm hoping that within, within a year, we will be able to really divulge some of the very interesting results that we are finding. So it's very exciting. I, I'm I'm very excited, and I'll tell you, Tara. The reason that we got involved in this is that we see, in my role as the as the medical director of the heart failure program here and and heart transplant program at here at the MUHC, we see a lot of patients that are coming to us to the hospital. We're a large referral center for patients with 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 serious you know medical issues and in and, and in my case serious cardiovascular issues and we see a lot of patient com- patients coming to our door who have what's called dilated cardiomyopathy some are very young some are older some it's because perhaps they've had chemotherapy that has affected their heart some it's a familial some it's completely unknown some it could be a virus 
many remain kind of unknown and unexplained and and they come to our doorstep into the hospital and some are really critically ill some of these patients that need to have a transplant down the line some of them are living with mechanical hearts so there's a really um you know as as somebody who takes care of patients and see patients you know this is something that i i feel very strongly about of trying to understand why this is happening to some, to to people who are otherwise healthy why they are developing cardiomyopathy why are they coming to us in cardiogenic shock why do they need transplants and mechanical hearts so really in in some cases it's a very serious cardiac condition and we really need to find answers and that's really why you know to me who takes care of patients why this is so important we are talking about personalized medicine, hearts in a dish with the MUHC's Dr. Nadia Gianetti. Dr. Gianetti, I have just a few moments left, and I just want to ask you one question. Is this one of the most interesting science fiction-y projects you've worked on, or is this, you know, part of the day's work for you? This is this within the scope of the Courtois Cardiovascular Signature Program, because this is one of the studies within the Signature Program. Uh, is by far the most exciting thing that, I, <laughs> that I'm doing as a, as a clinician, as a clinician researcher at the MUHC. Uh, definitely, um, and, and and the most exciting thing I've done in my you know 20 year career. So and I, you know, so we're moving forward. We're very optimistic, and obviously we could not do it without the support of the Courtois Foundation, the MUHC Foundation, all the members of our team. This is really I, I, you know, I can't emphasize enough how much this is a team effort and how many people are involved to make this happen. We're very, very fortunate to be at this point. Absolutely. Cannot wait to hear more about this project. Dr. Nadia Gianetti, thank you so much for joining us on Health Matters. Thank you, Tara. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. Next up, hear from a patient with personal experience with the Heart in a Dish Project. Now an update from the CJAD 800 Traffic Center. It's a long weekend, and that's when the SQ is always out in force. As for the LaFontaine Tunnel, you're going nowhere fast. That's 15 to 20 minutes from Beaubien through the tunnel, with one lane cut down to traffic, Sherbrooke through the tunnel, until the end of the year. But at least they didn't board it up all weekend, as is the case through Tuesday, 20 west in one out of two lanes, and your exit for the Mercier Bridge. Double back at First Ave, losing 10 minutes over there through Ville St. Pierre if you're staying on the 20 west from Enguignon. And the eastbound side of the 20, handful of minutes lost from the First Avenue exit, which I would take instead of curl back. Back, curling back at the 138 at Clemont. They carry north, stop and go. Code St. Luke to the top. Southbound is manageable along with the Met West. The Mazda 3, CX3, CX30, and CX5 are all protege vous. Best choices again this year. Visit your Mazda dealer and get behind the wheel of the best choice for you. Let us know what you see on the roads. Calling your tips to Star 800. I'm Mark Shalhoub. Your next report at 103. Welcome to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz. Brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. Hey, Nissan. What's the word on the new 2022 kicks? There's two, actually. Best and best. Best and best. Really? Yep. The 2022 car guy named it best buy in its category, and it also has the best in-class fuel economy. Oh, I feel another best coming on. Yeah, right now you can lease a new 2022 Kicks S for the equivalent of $62 a week for only 24 months. The best one of all. Until May 2nd, $272 a month, $1,495 down, retail value of $22,243 on approved credit details at Nissan.ca. This season of CTV's The Masked Singer has some epic battles of celebrity showdowns. First, they face off. Then, they face the music. Get into The Masked Singer, all new, Wednesday at 8, only on CTV. Then stream anytime. Switching your car and home insurance to Bel Air Direct with an online quote could save you up to $500. So, you can get up to 30 days of takeout. Or maybe up to four different streaming services. Or even up to half a laptop? It's 500. It's up to you. Bel Air Direct. Conditions apply. You're listening to Health Matters with Tara Schwartz. Brought to you by the McGill University Health Center Foundation. When the time comes to choose a new Toyota, never compromise on quality. Buy or lease your new Toyota at Spinelli Toyota. It's red tag days at Spinelli Toyota. Lease a 2022 Corolla L from $68 a week for 60 months with a $0 down payment at 3.99%. A great vehicle with an all-in price from $23,469. Spinelli Toyota, the address of choice for all automotive services in Lachine and Point Claire. To reconnect Martha. Hey, how's it going? And Karim. Great, thanks. It's been forever. To the library. Oops, sorry. The SDM. The best way to reconnect. Broly Mart knows four-day sale is like an Easter egg hunt for grown-ups. Look at that. They're paying the two taxes on that sofa. Nice. 
Oh, and right over here, a 4K TV and a sound bar. They're paying the two taxes. Must be some more. Uh, hey, paying the two taxes on a fridge and range set. Hey, this is fun. You too can find some good eggs. Broly Martino is paying the two taxes on loads of products. It's Easter. Treat yourself. Broly Martino, about equality and price. Selected brands and models. How Bell makes the internet better. Did you know the cheetah is the fastest mammal on earth? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet is the fastest internet technology? Well, did you know the fastest person ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds? Well, did you know Bell Pure Fiber Internet has total download speeds of up to 1.5 gigabits per second? You just switched to Bell, didn't you? Yep. Want to come over Friday? Definitely. Switch to Pure Fiber Internet, the fastest internet technology. Call 310 Bell or visit a Bell store to check availability. Bell, being on. Line、just got better. Are your fence drains working properly? Does your property even have a fence drain? Basements are prone to flooding, water damage, and mold. Avoid these problems with the installation of a fence drain system by Les Fondations Nouvelle Génération. Visit www.protectyourinvestment.ca. In a world of more, there's more, and there's Toyota Service More. Not just a free pizza topping when you buy a large pizza more. Not buy six kitchen knives and get a seventh knife free more. At Toyota Service Centers, you get more of what matters, like Toyota factory trained technicians installing Toyota genuine parts for all your maintenance and repair needs, and more. They'll even offer a price match promise on a new set of tires. Terms and conditions apply. Get more for your Toyota this spring. Book an appointment today at your Quebec Toyota dealer or shoptoyota.ca. Lives on Virgin Radio, home of the biggest artists. Boost your mood with Montreal's number one hit music station, 95.9 Virgin Radio. Wow, this room looks gorgeous. Thanks. Come on in. Take a closer look. Should I take off my shoes? Why? This is the garage. Imagine a new decorative coating for your garage floor, and make it happen with Premier Sealer's epoxy floor coatings. Reduces dust. Easy to maintain. You choose the color for an attractive, durable finish. Find out more about it and their other services at PremierSealers.com. CAA recommended. Seal you later. CTV's Domino Masters, the competition series you can't help falling for. Well, 